If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hello, I'm Adele Rowland. You may have seen me on shows already. My passion is in dressmaking. I've been sewing now for about four years, completely self-taught. I've actually learnt a lot from the mistakes that I've made. In my normal day job, I'm actually a secondary school science teacher. And one of the things that dressmaking has brought is the conversation starter with my students about the dresses, the tops, everything that I've made. I have two young daughters and a wonderful husband as well. One secret or surprising fact about me is that I actually have a silver world medal for Irish dancing. My dressmaking tip, top tip is always remember your notches. Don't skip that part with dressmaking because those notches are very important to line up all of your seams. I can't wait to bring more dressmaking projects to you and get more people sewing. Yes. Hello, 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 have you got me? Good morning, everybody. Um, welcome to Sewing Street. It's gonna be an amazing day today. It's all go, 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 go here. All go, go, go. As we've got two guests and uh, no pressure, Robin, but it's me, Robin and Paul today. So anything could happen. We've been let loose on a Saturday afternoon. Elliot is here though. And um, yeah, he's he's been doing a bit of all sorts this morning. So he's he's been out to nip and get us batteries. He's gone everywhere. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah, he's been helping us set up the shows. He's been making me posh coffee. Uh, we're going to start with the early bird and then I'll talk you through everything that's going on today, including, can I just say, I feel like I've literally had a dress made to measure. <gasps> this is a dress, just a, I thought I'd do a little twirl. Um, a dress that Adele's made. We're going to do it on the show today and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's lined with bamboo fabric. It's gorgeous. So that's coming up. First early bird though, we've got three early birds. Um, so we've got a bundle and then we've got them individually. We're going to start with the early bird bundle as you are really saving. And let's face it, the winter nights are drawing in. Uh, the early morning, I mean, it's still so dark. It's so bizarre that we had this as an early bird today. Last night, I wonder if my sister's watching. She texts me saying, Vic, I really need one of those lights, desk lights that you have at work because by five o'clock, um, um, yeah, losing light. These are brilliant. They come in a little box and we thought, if I'm being honest, we thought, right, 
they're going to be tiny, like cracker style lights. Whereas actually, they fold down so beautifully. So you can pull it all open to make it as tall as you want. You can manipulate it and bend it across your laptop or, or your book because also it has a magnifying glass on it. How amazing is this for things like painting your nails, for doing any nail art? How good is this for doing, uh, reading any instructions, any small labels, things like that, that you can keep in your bag, that you could even take to a supermarket to read the fine print? It's not only the magnifying, it's got the button on the bottom there, which also has four, uh, four of your LED um, lights here. So it takes three AAA batteries. It's got the magnifier as well as the four little lights here. Oh, in fact, look, you've got two different positions. So you can see, if I press it once, you've got the light here. Press it again, then you've got four lights there. So depending on where you want your light shining, I suppose. Now, is it just the one? You get it in white and in black. So we've got two of your uh, desk lamps, nice and compact, and today, going lower as an early bird price. Are you ready? This is the bundle. We have got them individually, remember, but if you want a bundle, big saving today. I'm thinking gift ideas for Christmas. Anybody who you know um, may be working from home still or just needs a bit more light on a train, maybe. This is great for transport, even on a plane. How nice and compact is that to put in your hand luggage if anybody's traveling? £14.98. Brilliant, brilliant value for money, especially when you know, obviously, how, how much you can pay for, um, for desk lights like this. It's nice that you don't have to plug it in. It's nice and uh, compact. It's lightweight, and you don't need to worry about plugging it in to charge it. Hi, my Tom. How are you? I had a really bad day yesterday, and Tom messaged me. I said, look, I'm a new person tomorrow. I'll speak to you tomorrow. So, yes, good morning, Tom. Thank you for my messages. Hi, Leslie. Uh, Susan said, good morning, Vixen, everybody. Bright morning here in Derbyshire. Looking forward to seeing Sally Ann. Sally Ann has got an amazing quilt for us as well. Oh, and those of you that follow her on Instagram, have you seen the uh, sewing box cases? These are coming up as well. I'll show you them in a moment. Susan, thank you. She says, I love your dress. Half the stock of the bundles are already gone straight into baskets. Remember, you do have to check out to uh, receive your order. You do have to check out. £14.98 for both, both of your desk lamps. And remember, look how nice and easily these pack down into a really light, compact pouch. Also has your magnifying glass on there. £14.98 for both of your magnetic, um, your, your uh, desk lamps. Half the stock in baskets. Check out, check out, check out. This is going to sell out. Um, should we do them individually? So, I'm presuming the white means white base with the, uh, the black uh, top. There we go. We'll do the, uh, the white first. Now, we've got Donna saying, hi, morning, Vixen, everyone. Have a great day. We've got a really, really jam-packed day today. Really busy. Um, I'm thinking this would be good to help thread my needle. I never can see it. That's a brilliant way of using this, actually. If you struggle to thread needles or if you're doing any cross-stitch or hand-stitching projects, it doesn't always necessarily mean you're doing a whole uh, hand-stitching piece. With Sally Ann's uh, little sewing boxes today, there's just a little bit of hand sewing at the end. If you really struggle with hand sewing, these would be brilliant. Good idea, threading your needle it gets really difficult, especially this time of year. So, £9.99 will be the price going forward. As of tomorrow, it will be £9.99. Today, oh my, I've got the sound on here. I thought I could hear myself echoing. Let me turn this off. Sorry. Um, Special early bird price, brand new in today. There is a queue, it's $7.99 if you just want the one. Maybe on a coach journey, um, just to have on a little lap tray if you're doing, uh, even, I'm thinking, anybody who's got grandchildren or wants to do little nail art, painting your nails, I really struggle to see, especially again in this light. We are more limited on them individually. Obviously, we've put so many into the bundle. Half the stock on this is gone has gone. So if you do want the white on its own, do check out. £7.99. It's good that it's really flexible. So you can, um, of course, manipulate it to move it to wherever you want. Uh, £7.99. Remember, two lights, magnifying glass as well, all for £7.99. Right, final one. 
I like as well that they, um, they're really nice and not lightweight. You could just literally keep this in your handbag, compact. So the black. Hello everyone on Facebook, how are you all? I've got a bit of a sniffle today. I beg, I'm sorry that if I keep sniffling. Um, we've got Pam saying hello. My grandson Cookie is here watching for the first time. Hello, hello lovely Cookie. Um, we've also got Pam saying, oh yeah, that's Pam. Um, early bird lights, fab Christmas gift for my dad. Brilliant, great idea. I'd stock up, there's so many different people I'm thinking of for Christmas. Only £7.99. Once it's got the magnifying glass there. It's got the two different lights. And they're nice bright LEDs, aren't they? Just with the on-off switch. Really nice and simple. Great to keep on the move. As I said, I'd just have one of these in your handbag. Half the stock in basket straight away. Hi, Lynn. She's put hi there, Vic. And rest of the gang, we've got Paul in the hot seat producing today. Little Paul's here. Uh, we've got Robin as well, who's directing. First time being let loose on his own. So no pressure, Robin, but anything could happen today. It's going to be um, manic. Oh, yeah, Robin, can you just show the gallery cam to show you off? No, only joking. There is no gallery cam. Don't worry. Not here. Hilda, good morning, Vicky and crew from sunny Ro uh, Rochester. Off to have my hair cut today, but we'll record everything. Trust me, get onto the website and have a look before you go, Hilda, just at everything that we've got kits because I've got a feeling Adele's dressmaking patterns I know are going to sell out. Um, all of the kits that we've got uh, for the, the, the lovely sewing pouches as well, they'll be really, really popular. Have a look through, but yeah, it's going to be a good show to watch back. Hi, Susan. Good morning, Lynn. Oh, I love that when everyone's saying hello to everybody else as well. So the final one, this is your black compact desk lamp. At a special price of £7.99. Just comes in a nice little tub like this. Um, three times magnification on your magnifying glass. Nice and compact. Great that it folds. It's got five LED lights at the top and then four further LED lights at the side. Um, you can obviously just keep pressing the, 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 the power button to, to rotate through those lights. Five of those left. They're about to sell out. Uh, okay. Bundles now sold out. The white, there's, there's still chances on the white. There's a, only a few of the black though. Okay, today's show. Now you've all opened your order nice and early, you may as well stay with us. We've got loads going on. Sally Ann's going to be joining me from nine. This first hour though, we've got everything under 15 pounds. Uh, under 15 pounds, we've got fabrics. We've got marking tools, we've got clasps, we've got more clasps ready for the uh, the 11 o'clock show, in fact, actually. So that's this first hour. Nine o'clock. Robin, have you got the picture of the quilt, the pieced sunflower quilt? It looks absolutely amazing. Now, there are different ways of doing this because there's different size flowers. So in the Annie's Quilting Book, which is brand new, um, there are lots of different ways of, of, vary, of uh, different variations of how you can do it. But it looks amazing, doesn't it? We've got Sally Ann joining us, showing us how, how to piece that together. That's at nine o'clock. 10 o'clock. Adele Rowland is back. I haven't seen her for so, so long. The Georgie dress is the one I'm wearing today. It's a really lovely, flattering wrap dress. It fits like perfection and it's lined. So it's so, so soft. Um, it's just by chance, actually, this morning that uh, Adele bought this in. I said, I absolutely love that. I said, I'm going to try it on. And it literally fits like a glove. It's so, oh, it's so comfy. It's all jersey as well, so it's nice and stretchy. Great for all your Christmas parties. Nicely just wear in the winter, especially as it's got that lovely bamboo lining. It's so soft. So that's coming up at 10 o'clock. We've got loads of different fabrics and bundle options. Plus, if you have a look on pre-order, in that hour, so there, you'll also see the Pussy, plow, uh, pussy Bow blouse back in stock, the pattern. Um, it's sold out last time. It is back available if you want it. So that's at 10 o'clock. 11 o'clock, we've got the purse clasps, which I did just show you on Sally Ann's Instagram. They've been going wild. Lots of people loving them. So you've got the squeezy um, glasses case, and you've also got the sewing pouch, uh, which is coming up with Sally Ann at 11. This is it. I love how it's sort of retro, 70s vibe that is. I just love it. Antiquey with those lovely scissors as well. Um, 
personalise it, of course, with uh, your bits and bobs. We were saying that would make a nice little makeup pouch, actually. And then, coming up later on, at 12 o'clock, we've got Adele Roland back, and she's going to be bringing us another amazing Sew Over It pattern, uh, which is the Heather dress. In fact, Adele's wearing that. She's got it in a gorgeous sparkly pink jersey. There it is. Oh, see, that looks so comfy, doesn't it, as well? She rocks them, doesn't she? Oh, no, she's great. She does the most amazing reels as well on her Instagram. I still haven't managed to know her. I haven't, I'm not done with the kids. I don't know how to do it. She's got a 12-year-old daughter, though, who shows her how to do all the Instagramming. Um, right. Should we get going? If you want to get in touch with us, a couple of ways of doing it. Sewing at Street email address is on your screen. It's studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Why not send in any pictures? Have you made the pussy bow blouse yet? Send in any of your photographs for Sally Ann as well. Or you can get me on Facebook. I am live on the Facebook Live. It's Sewing Street TV. Come say hello to us. Has everyone got a cup of coffee? There was fireworks this morning here in Redditch. This morning, Paul was watching the fireworks display because it was still really dark when we came in. Uh, right, where do you want to start, Paul? Yeah, let's do it because everyone needs to stock off on these now, ready for the 11 o'clock show. So, coming up at 11 o'clock, we've got bundles, which include your instructions, one clasp, and your fat quarter fabrics. Um, we also have the instructions with one clasp on their own. If you want to make multiple bags, these are perfect. The smaller ones are great for your glasses cases. You could do a knitting needle case, couldn't you? You could just do lovely long fabric, even just a back quarter would be fine. Uh, we've also got the medium size uh, clasp as well, which is great for purses. And then we've also got the larger one, which is perfect for what Sally Ann used in her sewing bag. So let me show you, hang on. So this one, Obviously, this one's slightly chunkier, but you could do a very, very similar pouch like this again once you've got your instructions with this one. Um, look, you could make the glasses case with this if you want. This one's got a snap fastening, which comes with the instructions. But then if you're purchasing the bundle, you could make extra. I would definitely be stocking up because surely that's making a saving. That's £8.97. They're eight, nine, and 13 centimeters. Um, so yes, you can absolutely make loads of your lovely clasp purses with these. Uh, we have got the HT2 glue that's coming up. You don't need to sew these in. You can literally just glue them in. And in fact, Sally Ann would really, really recommend the HT2 glue as it's got a really lovely long nozzle that gets perfectly into all of these clasps. So have a watch out for that. It is on pre-order if you want it, but it's coming up later on at 11 o'clock. Uh, morning, everybody. Looking forward to watching this morning until my neighbour uh, is ready to go for a coffee. Oh, yes. Uh, it's, it's just that sort of day-to-day, -day, isn't it? Where you just a nice cup of coffee, a little bit of cake. Enjoy the show this morning. We've got loads of great bargains for you this first hour. Bundles under £15. Go on. Yeah? It's all under 15. Obviously, under 15 with our lamps as well. Sold out. First bundle of the day sold out. This one, I know, will sell out. If it's not going to be this hour, it will definitely be by 11 o'clock when you see how amazing and how useful they are for lots of different purses, bags, clutch bags. We do love this little pouch, though. Look at that. That's ideal to put your makeup in, isn't it? And that's just with um, some H640 or some uh, fusible lining usable fleece. Just £8.97 for your 8, 9 and 13 centimetre. So we've got some other lovely little gift ideas for people. If we are doing our shopping for Christmas now, I don't want to scare anybody, but isn't it something stupid like 40 something days now to Christmas? I know. I know. So these tins are gorgeous. You get all three in the bundle. Really ideal to keep Things like your safety pins, any little buttons. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Right, we also have the so lovely one with a really nice little sewing machine. They're designed by Moda. In fact, actually, is it paper and cloth who design lots of lovely stationery? Yeah, paper and cloth for Moda. They designed stationery for lots of different high street stationery stores that are very, very famous. Uh, they're very, very trendy. They're lovely. So, 
You've got all three of your tins for £14.97. One second. I'm just going to grab a bit of tissue. Uh, £14.97. These are lovely for gifts as well. You could fill them with little buttons or pins, couldn't you? £14.97 is, is a brilliant price, which is under £15. We've done it. But because everybody who missed out on the early bird... This is why it's brilliant to tune in on a Saturday, especially when Paul's producing. Because he said, you know what? I can actually take a couple of pounds off these. £12.97. pence. It's nice that they're sewing related as well. Just to keep a little hand sewing kit in your, um, in your car. Little hand sewing kit buttons, safety pins, your magic pins. Instead of, if you've got any paws or little hands that tend to, uh, tend to be around, instead of having a pin cushion, you can just have a nice little tin. They're nice and sturdy and they're lovely designs on there. Everybody will pay the final low price. So don't worry, if you've already checked out at £14.97, you're just saving £2. It will come off your order. You don't need to do anything. You don't need to call the customer service team. It's there. Hi, lovely Geraldine. Geraldine says, morning, Maisie's mum. That's hilarious. We were having this conversation this morning and I said, um, that's it now, Maisie's mum forever. I went swimming and they, they said, oh no, we don't need to know your name, just Maisie's mum. And I'm Maisie's mum wherever I go. So actually, I love coming to work where I'm Vicks. But though, Geraldine's like, no, you're Maisie's mum. You're Maisie's mum now. Um, she's, um, she's had really bad trouble sleeping the last few weeks and it was the first night last night that she's slept and I'm so relieved because I would have I would have been a mess today. I'd have just not been very good at talking for for luckily we've got Sally Anna and we've got Adele who are both very, very good at talking. Um uh, morning Maisie's mum. Um you look fabulous. By the way, the small mirror um could be glued to the pouch. Um are you thinking the compact mirror? Which one are you thinking? The small mirror? A small mirror. You're thinking a small mirror could be glued to the, the pouch, just in general. Good idea, good idea. Especially, yeah, if you're doing it as a little makeup bag, a little toiletry bag, that's perfect, isn't it? Okay. Thanks, Paul, for the little cheeky two pounds off. He says, that's what I do. That's what I'm here for, to give you the, uh, the laughs and the savings. All the puns. We haven't had any jokes today. It's got to be all serious because Robin's in the gallery, being professional. Um, right. Sh should we do the friction pens? I can't say it. I know I have to say it like our, our lovely uh, Yvonne. <laughs> Yvonne McAtamney, obviously, she's from Belfast, and I just love the way she says friction pens. Uh, so we've got... I know, that was quite Welsh, wasn't it? Sorry, Yvonne, not very good. Uh, and John Scott's better at doing it. This is £11.97. Is it? Paul, you've set the standards now. He's set the bar, hasn't he? I love a friction pen. Can I just tell you for why? It's like a biro. It writes like a biro. You can write on paper. You can write on your patterns. You can also write on fabric. It erases with the rubber on the end, but it also erases with heat. If you've never used a friction pen before, woohoo! That is thanks to Paul. We're not in clearance anymore, Paul. He missed out on the Halloween event. He says, I'll do what I want. I'm a rebel. I'm a rebel. For anybody who's never tried friction pens, these are nice colours for Christmas as well. You've got the green, you've got the blue, and then this one looks like your fine tip as well in purple. That is gorgeous. Pack of three pens. Now, if you have a look on a stationery shop when, uh, website, either the one that begins with WH or the one that begins with paper, <laughs> Have a look in those stores. Your friction pens are normally, I think, about £3.99 each. Each. So for less than £8, you can get your violet, your green and your blue. I do love the, the fact that you can just use it. Shall I show you? Shall we get a bit of paper and I can show you how it erases? Bear with. I'm going to plug the iron in because this is so good. Paul, can I borrow a bit of paper, please? A bit of paper. I want to show everybody how it erases. I'm also going to get myself a little pressing board. So, 
I actually would go as far as saying these are my favourite marking tools. There are lots of different marking tools. We also have the water or wipe off ones. Um, but the great thing about these is that quite often we are going to press our work at the end of it, which means all your markings will disappear. Um, you can also use it for... Uh, of course, all of your applique projects, we often use it. Just be aware, obviously, if you are doing any of uh, Delphine's, don't trace out all of your uh, all of your templates with one because as soon as you press your Bonder web on, it will go. So this is the blue. It literally looks like a biro. I wrote all of my wedding invitations with these, just in case I made mistakes. Do you know if you're doing any important documents? It's great to, to use as a biro as well. As you can see, it rubs out. It wasn't initially designed for sewers, which I love when we find something that we all adopt. So easy enough to erase on paper. Obviously the great thing, always test it out. I'm gonna try it on one of the bundles. Give it a test and check that you're happy with how it erases. I'm gonna do a little bit of a squiggle with my green. So you can see there's the green. This is my indigo. Different colours, obviously, are going to show up better on different fabrics. This is a blue fabric. So then you've also got the, the blue. And then with my iron, let me just check I'm on. Are you ready for the magic, Robin? As soon as you iron it, it will disappear. The only way it will come back is if it's in extreme cold temperatures. So just be aware, if you're taking it on a plane and putting it in the hold, um, we ha the only reason we know this is somebody, uh, a lady who had a quilt in a competition and it went abroad and she put it in the plane and all of the, the markings came back when she got back, uh, when she got off the plane. Also, if you're putting it through a laminator, obviously be aware the heat will erase all of your homework or all of your work. Um, good morning, Claire, who makes things? She just put, good morning, Vicky, I've ordered the tins. I'm going to put them in my advent calendar. Brilliant, brilliant idea. How are you, Claire? I've not seen you for ages, ages and ages. Okay, so we've also got a hand sewing needles bundle. Now, if you've managed to get your desk lamps or if you managed to get your tins, these might be nice to put in the tins. Uh, we're all talking about doing a little bit of hand sewing in front of the fire. Uh, as it's getting winter, it's nice to just sit and do a bit of sociable sewing, finishing off your, your binding maybe. Now, we've got needles for everything. So we've got sharps, we've got leather needles, we've got long darners, We've got embroidery needles. Do you know what I'd have to do is make one of those books like Rebecca Reed has that has the labels embroidery and you keep them all in a nice little pouch so you know which ones are which. You've got your embroidery needles. You've also got beading needles, tapestry needles, milliner's needles. You've got chenille needles. And you've also got betweens. You've got quilting needles, the nice little short ones. All of those for $13.99. I think it's something we forget about. When you're sewing on your sewing machine, we always talk about changing your needle. When we're cutting out fabric, we always talk about having a nice sharp rotary blade or a nice sharp pair of scissors. When you're hand sewing, how long have you had your hand sewing needles? Ask yourself that question. Because quite often I was talking to Janice about it and she was saying, I've had these pins for about 20 years. She says they're not very sharp anymore. Or I've had these hand sewing needles for years and years and they're, they're just not quite uh, going through the fabric as they used to, gliding through. So it might be time to stock up and and upgrade your sewing machine or your sewing machine needles and your hand sewing needles that you've already got. So a pack of nine for £13.99. That is a brilliant price for all nine, isn't it? £13.99. Amazing price for all of those. Should we do some fabric? Shall we do some fabric? It's busy, busy, busy today. Well done, everybody stocking up on their bundles under 15. Um, we've got the poplin weight stars. I love these because I think these are lovely for baby makes. How cute. You've got your yellow, blue, grey and pink. Four half metres. Very limited already, it's been selling on pre-order. It's a poplin weight cotton, so slightly lighter, but if you are still using it for bags, it's fine. Uh, just obviously think about what interfacings you're using. Uh, you could use this for, as I say, I think this would be lovely for a children's bedroom 
for wash bins or storage boxes for toys. You could do lovely bunting with it. There's a lot that you could do with four half meters. Remember, they come pre-cut into half meter pieces, which look like this. I'll open it out. 44 wide, lovely bright colour, isn't it? Nice and bright yellow. You've also got your grey, your blue and your pink. All four, under £15. Brilliant price point per half metre. Remember, if you're multi-buying, they come cut into half metre pieces. These would be lovely still for quilting. You can still use it with the regular quilting weight cottons. Just be aware they're slightly lighter weight. Eight bundles left in stock. That is it. Eight bundles left. Right, we'll move on because there's a lot of you have got that in your basket. I also love the children's makes, the handprint one. Now, when I had this with uh, Kat, I think it was, we made this bundle. We were so excited about it. And then for some reason, this fabric, um, we couldn't air. So I've never actually, I've seen the fabric, I've never actually played it. And this bundle is brilliant because we've matched in the colours. So you've got the lovely pink, you've got the green, you've got the yellow and you've got the blue. Right, now this is a really special one, under £15. What does that make our price per half metre, Paul? I'm getting him to do the maths at half eight in the morning. What am I like? Cruel, aren't I? I've got five half metres here. This is, I think, the biggest bundle that you will see. Gotta be. I'm just having a look. There is nothing else that's got five fabrics in for less than £15. Look, you're saving £3.46, so I think you're getting one half metre for free in this. Um, let's say you're getting your, your design, or in fact, actually, that is a designer fabric. That one's normally... This one's extra wide, I think. <gasps> it is! Look at how much fabric you're getting. Extra wide. Extra wide. Quilting weight fabric. All of your complementing fabrics as well. I do love that. How about doing a lovely um, big storage box for all of your messy play, your paints and things like that. Folders, you can keep all your drawings. Uh, remember, the only bundle, the biggest bundle that we can offer you under £15 is held on your screen. Loads going straight into baskets. £14.99. Did you work out what that makes you price per half metre? <gasps> what? £2.98 each. That's £1.50 a fat quarter. Less than one fifty a fat quarter. And that one is extra wide as well. Oh, I tell you what, that is ridiculous. That's beyond clearance. Those of you that watched the clearance event, you wouldn't have even seen our core fabrics as well. This isn't crafting cotton. This is quilting weight cotton. This is absolutely beautiful quality. Rose and Hubble, our staple. Just at a crazy, crazy price today. You can thank Paul for these. Is that going to sell out? Check out, check out, check out. Just be careful, Paul saying, check out. I'll come back to that if there's any left. Uh, yellow, pink and blue are really lovely, cool, rose and hubble fabrics are such beautiful quality. They're 100% cotton, machine washable. Uh, they're lovely, vivid colours. 10 99 These prices are ridiculous aren't they? Way under 15 today, way under 15, 10 pounds 99 for a metre and a half. Sunshine yellow, do you know what these colours are called Paul? We've got that lovely gold, we've got the nice blue and we've got the magenta all for 10 pounds 99, a metre and a half Quilting weight cotton down to just £10.99. By the way, on pre order, loads is selling ahead of the show. So if you do want to get the kits for Sally Ann's show, if you want to get the pattern for my dress, um, that's on pre order as well. It's definitely worth shopping ahead on pre order today because it's very busy. So you've got candy blue, corn yellow, and raspberry. All for £10.99. That's a lovely bundle, isn't it? Very nice. Very nice, says Paul. That was a very good impression of you, wasn't it? 
to pounds 99 for a meter and a half once again your price per half meter is crazy 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 oh i'm ever so sniffly today i'm so sorry uh okay <gasps> If you're multiplying, remember they come cut already into half meter pieces. Oh, look at this. The mermaid. I love this fabric. This is so beautiful. Two complementing solids to go with it as well. And oh, that is just gorgeous. It's under 10 pounds. I'd get this with the clasps. And you could do these lovely baskets. I mean, there's so many you'd be able to make because these just take fat quarters. So remember, you've got two fat quarters here, two fat quarters here, two fat quarters here. And this one, I think as well, is extra wide. It looks like it is. Oh, no! Right, this is really, really popular. Less than nine. Seven remaining. That's it. Seven remaining. Look at that on screen. I've not seen that before. Seven goes to six. If you want one, please do be quick. These bundles are beautiful. And look at how perfect the colours are matched in. Under £10 today, which again, doesn't sound right, does it? Look at the little seahorses. You could fussy cut these, couldn't you? You could fussy cut these. You've got all your little jellyfish, your seahorse. Oh no, right, we're oversubscribed. If you've got it in your basket, there's more of you who've got it in your basket than we have availability. Just be aware, it's not yours until you check out. Thanks, Paul, he said he'll update us. Okay, right, we have got Moda. Oh, Moda under 15. Two Moda fabrics under 15 pounds. Are they both from the Starflower range? This one's lovely. Yeah, they're both from the Starflower range. Look at that. Oh, that is stunning. It looks like it's a piece of artwork, doesn't it? And with as well, your blue. I'm seeing a bag. I think this would be the lining. Cushion front, cushion back. You could make a few cushions, couldn't you, with these bundles? 14 pounds and 98 pence for a meter of Moda fabric. And it is stunning quality. Oh, it's called Christmas. I suppose they're Ponsettias, aren't they? It's not screaming, it's Christmas, like Noddy Holder though, is it? Um, it's more like you're a, well, it's quite wintry. This looks like it's a batik, it's not, it's printed as you can see, but from there, it looks like a boutique fabric, doesn't it? Oh, we've got new bidders in today. Hello, everybody who's joining us for the first time. It's so easy to shop with us. If you want to speak to the customer service team, then they're really, really friendly, very, very helpful, and it's free to call. Uh, alternatively, you can jump to the web. You can go onto the app, which is uh, Sewing Street in your app store, and that's very quick. That is definitely the way that I would shop. Um, you can watch us, browse the pre-order and check out without missing anything on the show. Uh, this is lovely though. It does look like a batik, doesn't it? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh no! Jill's just said that her sewing street has disappeared from her TV. It automatically retunes. 72's gone. Oh no, right. This happened on my telly, but it was when I moved house. It's, it's nothing to do with our end. It's um, it just try and I know my telly retunes it automatically, but I went into the settings and retuned it again and it came back. So have a, have a go at that is my recommendation, Jill. I hope you get us back on your telly. But remember, loads of ways of watching us. Loads of ways. £14.98 not only gets you that lovely blue. That is gorgeous, isn't it? You also have the Ponsettia fabric from Moda. Your lovely wintry poinsettia plants. It's nice though that you've got the aqua still in there and the blues and the festive greens. I've never seen this fabric before. It's a new bundle to me. It's a new fabric collection. It's called uh, Starflower Christmas. Starflower Christmas, £14.98 from Moda. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. I might need to um, just blend my nose in a moment. Thank you. Uh, so, we also have 
our panel bundles. Should we do the French Bulldog first? This one, extra wide, linen look, and it also comes with a complementing teal fabric. So this would be really, really nice for um, cushions, bags, all sorts. Eight pounds and 48 pence for half a meter of your blue which is i think teal and then let me show you how much of the french bulldog fabric you get oh i've got so many friends who've got french bulldogs my um best friend cherry she's got little arthur he's a french bulldog um my well kieran's uncles have got um two french bulldogs one called gino and one called elsa and they're gorgeous go on paul Eight. Um. Oh, there is another one with a panel. There is another one with a panel. Is that the one that you want to do? Sorry, right, this one's slightly different. So this one, you get the same fabric, don't worry. You still get the, but instead of the solid, you get this. We'll do the other one after, it's fine. So this one, you get your French Bulldog and then the big French Bulldog print, which is perfect for a cushion front, isn't it? Brilliant for a tote bag. This is the one that you'll be getting. We will do the other one now if you want to swap over. It's up to you. Um, okay, so the other one still comes with the Bulldog fabrics. It just comes also with your half a metre of teal also. £7.48. pence. Saving £2. It's jade, sorry, not teal. Saving £2 today. Hi Anne, Anne's on Facebook, she just put morning all, lovely to have Paul back. Are you going to come and give us a wave, Paul? He will in a bit, he will in a bit. He said, um, I love the dress on you, Vicky. Honestly, it fits so perfectly. I um, absolutely love it. And I was saying to Adele, when I saw it, I thought I didn't know whether it was going to be too low on me. I'm not not keen on quite a low neckline. Um, but actually, it's because of the lining and the way it sits with the uh, elastic, which Adele will explain, it's really snug. It fits perfectly. Don't feel like I'm going to fall out. <laughs> Feels really secure. I love it. Thank you, Anne. Um, it's, the pattern is available, by the way. It's coming up later on at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock today. What's the pattern called on pre-order for my dress, out of curiosity? What's the pattern called on pre-order for my dress? Georgie. Georgie dress. 10 o'clock. Coming up at 10 o'clock. You can get it on pre-order. You can get it on pre-order. Right, so we've done the French Bulldog. Should we do the Dalmatian? We've got two bundles again. So we've got the bundle which has got the panel and we've got the bundle with the half metre. So the one with all of the Dalmatians. And let me show you how wide these are. A lot of fabric. Pre-cut already. Pre-cut ready into half metre pieces. If you buy multiple units, you'll get them already cut for you. Um, then you also have the little Dalmatian in his cool, groovy blue shades and oversized dicky bow. Have you watched Cruella yet, by the way? I shouldn't really mention the word Cruella around this one, should I? But, um, oh, it's great. Yeah! Jill said, thanks, Vicky. I've manually retuned and it's back. Oh, I'm so pleased. It's the same happened with me. And I couldn't get my head around it because I've got one of these smart TVs that's supposed to retune itself automatically. Uh, but I did just have to go into the settings myself. So I'm pleased that we can still do it ourselves. If I could do it, Jill, I'm the least technical person ever. So there you go. You can see you've got your half a metre. I'd definitely do a cushion and a tote bag. Cushion and a tote bag. I mean, if you're multi-barring on these kits, this, you could make lots of lovely projects. £8.48. So if you do want this fabric, but with a complementing blue, this is another option. And it is a complementing beautiful blue, isn't it? That's only £7.98. Tell you what, your value for money on this is really good. It is saving two pounds. Saving two pounds with your sapphire blue. Half a metre of your cotton. 
the bag maybe and the lining, cushion front, cushion back. You could do, um, yeah, a nice, I'm thinking like a nice backpack to take on dog walks or um, one of those sort of, what's it called? Like a bum bag that you can put your doggy bags and stuff in. Perfect for that. It is lovely quality. It's called Linen Look. It really feels as well. It's, it's very structured. It's almost like you can canvas. £7.98. <laughs> £7.98 for two, uh, well, saving two pounds on a metre of your Dalmatian all over linen look fabric. I've got gingerbread men. Yeah. We're whizzing through these, Paul. Aren't we? We've got gingerbread men. He's like, I oh, know. Everything's going really great. This one's cool, isn't it? So... Right, I was having this conversation with Jan the other day about making reusable gift bags that um, people can gift their gifts in instead of using wrapping paper, but also with the intent that your recipient will use the fabric or use it as, um, uh, if you make it into a tote bag, then they're going to reuse it again. Obviously great for sustainability and thinking of the environment. And I think this would be absolutely perfect for your for your gift wraps. And as, a, as I say, I mean to, to gift to then reuse again, not for somebody to then throw it away, obviously. Um, isn't it gorgeous? You could do lots of embellishing on this with some beads, couldn't you? You could put a pom-pom trim. I love a pom-pom trim. And Kerry living in loveliness. What about adding some bells? What about adding some bells? Oh, and Amanda, I'm trying to think whether we did. We had loads of the dog panels. She's just put Vicky. I really wish you had a Wyatt Fox Terrier in that fabric. I'd buy loads. I feel like we had a terrier. It was a little one. It almost looked like a... Um, oh, what, sorry? Did we have a Jack Russell? I don't think know if we did have a wire, um, like a wire fox terrier. I'm not quite sure. But it's worth having a look on the website. If you um, type in linen look, that will probably come up with all of them. This is just a little selection. But how perfect. You've got to start thinking about Christmas. I hate to panic people, but it is creeping upon us, isn't it? Christmas sack drawstring bags in fact we've done a drawstring bag with this we've done one there's one in the studio somewhere and it looked lovely with a white pom-pom trim it looked great there was a yorkshire terrier eight pounds and 48 pence that's all we can find there's a yorkshire terrier amanda just have a look if you type in linen look there's all the different fabrics that we have with all of the dogs or all the different linen look panels that we have available so Hopefully, Amanda, you'll find one that suits, that suits. Um, right, so that's your gingerbread man. Oh, it's limited now, Paul's saying. Limited, limited. Okay. Winter Wonderland. The Winter Wonderland fabric has been so popular as well. If you're thinking of doing Christmas stockings, maybe. Your own Christmas crackers with your linen look. It's lovely, isn't it, with your pine cone, your candy canes, your gingerbread man. And actually, you wouldn't, if you are thinking of doing Christmas stockings, I wouldn't necessarily need to line it because it's, it's really nice and structured. It's got great structure to it. You could. Been on air twice before, today £8.48, and that's for half a metre of your candy cane, gingerbread man, pine cone, spruce, bit of spruce. Have you ever made your own wreaths before? You could do your own little decorations with these, couldn't you, to kind of wreath? Just eight pounds, 48 pence, half a metre extra wide, half a metre of your winter wonderland. And then you also get your panel. Cushion front, cushion back, little bags, little purses, Christmas stockings. Oh, you could absolutely make, um, little drawstring bags I'm thinking with sweets in you could have them as table gifts as opposed to having crackers or make your own crackers your crackers Elliot yeah, yeah. oh he's a good egg what time are you here until about nine 
So I better get another coffee in before then. Elliot's got the fancy coffee today um, with the filter paper and everything. They're lovely, really nice. If we get our orders in before you get home, is that okay? <laughs> oh, he's, he said, I'll, I'll replenish your stock, your coffee stock. I will. It's posh coffee, you see, from home. Um, right, half a metre of your gingerbread man and half a metre, <coughs> excuse me, of your candy canes. I've woken up this morning. Has anybody else got a sniffle at home? Is anybody else? Oh, it's this time of year, isn't it? I've done my lateral flows. I'm absolutely fine. Just got a runny nose. Oh, gosh. Hang on. I haven't finished this one. Thank you, Elliot. In fact, I haven't finished that one. I'll finish it. Don't stand and watch me finish it. Thank you. Uh, Eight pounds and 48 pence, and that's for both your half meter and your panel. Very, very popular indeed. This is Paul's favorite. Don't let that put you off. He has got taste. He's got good taste. He's got good taste in shirts. The amount of times I often ask, well, I speak to Paul and he'll send me pictures like, what do you think of this shirt? I'm gutted that you sent back the leopard print one. Isn't it amazing, the leopard print shirt that you sent me? You sent it back. It was really nice. We had a tiger day yesterday, didn't we? We had a tiger day. Yeah. Did John wear a tiger? Um, I wonder whether John wore his tiger print shirt yesterday. Were you here for tiger day? Did John wear a tiger print shirt? No. no. I was going to say, you could have lent John yours. Okay. Right, where are we going now? Um, apparently, I've got a mask making kit. Is it these? So, you've got here the nose strips. What else should I have in here? I'm guessing fabric. So, you've got here the nose strips so that it's all nice and concealed. Let's face it, I know that masks aren't necessarily... Um, they're not needed all the time, but personally, especially this time of year, when you're prone to getting all of these different colds, and obviously COVID is still around, it's worth, I think, I'm certainly someone who wears my um, my mask in the supermarkets and busy places, um, and it's, it's nice to have ones that are going to be suitable for different events and different seasons. So if we are going out for, for dinner, which fingers crossed we'd be able to do some nice Christmas parties, maybe a nice sparkly mask or maybe one with Christmas fabric would be gorgeous, the Moser Christmas fabric, <gasps> be amazing. So, with this, you get your nose strips, which are aluminium strips, like you get in the, the blue face masks. You also get the silicon cord locks. You get two packs of those. Oh, sorry, well, one pack of the, uh, the cord locks, uh, which are um, circular like this. And then the other ones are little discs. You can see they both work in the same way, but you get different shapes. 48 of those and 48 of those. 48 of those ones and 48 of the round ones. And then you also get the Visaline product. Now the Visaline product is an official product. It's what um, Visaline recommends to put in the layers of your fabric. So have a look on the Visaline website or on our website uh, if you want any extra information. But if you do want to give yourself extra protection this winter, then how much of the Visaline do you get? I haven't got it here, you see. Oh, you get 24. Half a metre, sorry. You get half a metre. Um, I'll show you on the picture again. So you get half a metre of your Visaline, which is the official mask inner that they, they've produced. Then you also get your cord ends and the nose strips. So all you need to add is your fabrics, which it would be so lovely to add some sparkly fabrics. It'd be lovely to add some wintry fabrics, Christmassy fabrics, nine pounds and 99 pence. You're saving four pound 47, which is the perfect time of year to be making your own masks again, ready for the winter. Because as I said, we're all prone to be getting these sniffly noses. And if any extra protection is gonna help, remember not only do you get 24 of the strips, 48 of the cord ends, another 48 and you get your Visaline line interlining as well. I would personally still use two, um, two layers of fabric and use the Visaline in between there as well just to give you extra protection. 
Hi, Anne. And do you know what? I have got one. Elliot's only here till nine o'clock, so I'm going to save my hot honey and lemon until later. But I have got a lemon sit with me. Uh, Geraldine said, I made Halloween mask for last week. I used the Visaline um, and the pack that I'd previously bought. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. This is going to last you ages as well, isn't it? You can make 48 with those cord ends. You've got 24 of the aluminium strips, so there's loads and loads. Um, Halloween one's a good idea. This is the great thing, isn't it? You can now make them sort of seasonal, do some nice Christmassy ones. It's gorgeous fabrics for Christmas. Right. Don't worry, my spelling's never good, Geraldine. I've got a hemline marker bundle. So, we all like different, uh, we all have different preferences when it comes to choosing our marking tools. We had the friction pens earlier on. These ones, if you prefer to use a, a wash off marker, if you are using maybe heat a lot and you don't want it to disappear straight away, then these are ideal. They're from Hemline. And if you buy three, you have to check out on three, you'll, pay, you'll only pay for two. Is that right? You get all three. So it's not like on Lifestyle where if you buy three, you'll pay for two. There you go. It's bundled for you. It's £4.98 for all three and you only pay for two. That's good, isn't it? Paul doubted it when I said bundle. He went, oh, no, it's only one. There you go. You get all three, £4.98. Already gone into loads of baskets on pre-order. Well done if you managed to get it. £4.98. I must say, Elliot is, an, is a good egg, isn't he? He's set up on egg show for us. I know. Isn't he lovely? What a legend. £4.98. He's uh, amazing. So you get all three... I said you buy three, you pay for two. I said you buy three, you pay for two. <laughs> I would show you how they work, but I don't know if I've got an open one here, but they literally just, uh, just if you're washing your fabric anyway, it will be removed. If you're using a spray bit on your iron, it will be removed, or a damp cloth, just give it a wipe and it will disappear. Right, update on the tins. Lovely Claire, she's using these for her advent calendar. Claire using these for uh, Advent Calendar, great idea. multi on these, absolutely gorgeous. Really, someone's bought four of these. Um, they're brilliant, aren't they? Absolutely brilliant. And they're lovely quality. As I said, they're designed by Paper and Cloth, who are very trendy designers in the stationery world. Designed for Moda. They are sturdy, quality tins. Lovely for gift ideas. Fill them up with uh, nice little sewing bits for friends. Maybe somebody who's always said to you that they want to get into sewing. You've got three tins here. You only need to fill one with some hand sewing needles, a little pair of snips, a bit of thread. They can get into sewing or a little project. What about as a little EPP tin if you do tiny little hexes on the go sewing? Nice to have in your handbag. It's always handy to have a pair of little scissors, uh, maybe some safety pins in there. You can have it as your little button stash, couldn't you? Always love rooting through, finding lots of little buttons. That's a nice little button tin. £12.97 for all three of those. And also, quick recap on the Moda Star. This is the Star Flower Christmas. Half a metre of each. Loads in baskets. That one is gorgeous. I've never seen this Ponsettia. It doesn't scream Christmas. Um, so you could actually just have this all winter, couldn't you? Georgina, thank you very, very much. Georgina just said on Facebook, morning, Vicky and team. I love the dress. It's coming up in today's show. It's actually the Georgia dress, uh, the sew over it, 10 o'clock. And believe it or not, it wasn't made for me, but it fits like a glove. So I'm, that's it, I bags in it. It's, um, it's so soft. It's got bamboo. It's got bamboo lining in the bodice here. And it's so, so soft against my skin. It's just nice and warm and it's comfy because it's stretchy, it's jersey. It's lovely, love it, love it, love it. Um, it's coming up at 10 with, uh, with a down. So, half a metre of your blue, half a metre. Can we go on pre-order and show you how you can get onto the um, the George dress? So you've also got your Ponsettia fabric, 
all for £14.98. So if you drop onto sewingstreet.com, click on pre-order, there it is, watch live. If you go below on the watch live, pre-order, then you can see, scroll down, um, these are all the fabrics for the next hour, and then there's the fabric I wear by the half metre, the sew over it dress, uh, you can see the size 18 to 30 where Paul's cursor is, and then next down, you've got it um, in sizes 6 to 20. You've also got the Percy Blow, uh, Bow Blouse back in stock, it's sold out first time round. The shift dress as well, back in stock. It's not a good day for me to be um, tongue-tied. You've also got all of those beautiful new jersey fabrics. The rest of the day's on there. You've got amazing kits. There you go. The sewing box, the kiss clasp. The kiss clasp kit. Easy for me to say. I know, I am in danger. <laughs> all those jerseys as well, all coming up. Best press in stock. Have a look through pre-order, don't go anywhere. Sally Ann, lovely Sally Ann is here. We've got an amazing quilt to show you. Sunflower quilt coming up with Sally Ann right after this. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. I'm Adele Rowland, you may have seen me on shows already. My passion is in dressmaking. I've been sewing now for about four years, completely self-taught. I've actually learnt a lot from the mistakes that I've made. In my normal day job, I'm actually a secondary school science teacher and one of the things that dressmaking has brought is the conversation starter with my students about the dresses, the tops, everything that I've made. I have two young daughters and a wonderful husband as well. One secret or surprising fact about me is that I actually have a silver world medal for Irish dancing. My dressmaking tip, top tip is always remember your notches. Don't skip that part with dressmaking because those notches are very important to line up all of your seams. I can't wait to bring more dressmaking projects to you and get more people sewing. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there!
Hello, welcome back, welcome back. Um, it's a lovely show today. We've got guests galore now for the rest of the day, so we can pop the kettle on, enjoy all the lovely demonstrations. Amazing kits as well. So, Robin, have you got the picture that Sally Ann sent in of all of the sunflowers together? So Sally Ann's made up a block. She's got this really whizzy thing on a computer where she can duplicate the block over and over so you can see what it looks like made up. This is the block that we're doing today, the quilt that we're working with, which is from an Annie's quilting book. Now we've got three lovely bundles to show you, but also let me just show you in the book how, I wouldn't say this is a beginner's project. Um, maybe if you've got a bit of an experience reading patterns and going through, it's all there, but Sally Ann's just said there's a lot of different shapes in here, and especially as you could do different size, shape um, sunflowers. So as you can see, Sally Ann did four large ones in a row but you've got here them alternating with different sizes as well which is brilliant so this is your pieced flowers quilt kit now it comes with all of the kits you can also get it on its own today we'll start though with one that you're unfortunately not going to see much of today because you're not demoing with the Riley Blake are you mm -hmm. so this one is gorgeous as well it comes with your two honeycomb fabrics which are both one meter pieces so you've got the meter of your lovely ochre ochre with that lovely honeycomb one whole meter you then also got which is riley blake gorgeousness one meter of your honeycomb in that sort of peachy coral then you've also got a meter and a half of this bee fabric, the queen bee fabric. How cool is this? Even if you're thinking for other quilt projects in the book or something else that you've got in mind, this fabric is gorgeous. I don't want this to let you uh, let it pass you by because in total you get eight and a half meters of fabric. It's new to me as well. I don't actually know whether we've even launched this fabric yet. It's stunning. Also comes with a meter and a half of another Riley Blake print, which is almost like your grass. That is so nice. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, and it's such gorgeous quality. It's so soft. Riley Blake is great fabric to sew with. Love, presses really well, washes really well, behaves itself in the machine. It's stunning. Um, and then also, three and a half meters of your background fabric, which is cream, uh, including your book, for all $107.99, or of course, definitely click the split payment option on the website and you'll get all of the fabrics plus your book for just £107.99, or you can start sewing with it at $53.99. Um, isn't that an amazing bundle? I just love all these colours complement each other. It would be perfect for the sunflower quilt, but I'm also thinking... I mean, there's, there's loads of quilts in here. Posy in the Pot is lovely. Spring Tulips. These would all be absolutely gorgeous with your Riley Blake fabrics. And because you've got eight and a half metres, let's face it, you're going to have enough fabric to sort of have the pick of the bunch, which one you want to do. They are stunning. Now, we've got Liberty. Can you believe it? Uh, this is the one that Sally Ann has already made up. You saw the block, the sunflower block, and it comes with your Wiltshire. One of the most iconic Liberty prints, without a doubt. It's one that, as soon as you see it, you recognise that as Liberty. It's stunning. So, you get a whole metre of your Liberty Wiltshire in red. You then also get a whole metre of your Liberty Wiltshire in sun... Oh, hang on, look at the price. This is 84 99 Eight and a half metres. I could have bet my bottom dollar that this would have been the most expensive. It features all that Liberty. I know that we've teamed it with our Rose and Hubble. That's why, I think it's because we've teamed it with Rose and Hubble that it's brought the price down, but it means that you are indulging in the most beautiful wheelchair fabrics. You've got that sunshine yellow uh, Liberty print as well, which you'll see. If you like the one that Sally Ann has made, um, this is the bundle to go with. You get a metre and a half of your green spot, a metre and a half of your brunette, and then you get three and a half metres of your background fabric. All you need to add is fabric for your, um, your backing, obviously, and you're getting the book. Now, this is, as far as I'm aware, a brand new book. Um, it's got nine different projects. 
Uh, it's really gorgeous. Oh, it has been on before. It's just new to us. New to me and Paul. Framed flowers. This is the one that we're working on today. No, new to me and Paul. £84.99. I do love the Annie's Quilting books because they're always very, very um, clear, very thorough. There's lots of pictures, diagrams. Uh, you get the templates to scale. You don't need to worry about uh, upsizing or um, making them larger, enlarging. You don't need to do any messing around. They're all there ready to go. It also does have a bit of quilting basics for those of you that are, are relatively new to piecing. Your Liberty Bundle, so is that, that's your Wiltshire. Finally, the one that Sally Ann's gonna be working with. They look like they're boutiques, they're not. They're printed fabrics, but they're lovely. They're perfect for this. And again, look at the price, 69.99 for the book, for all of your fabrics as well. <coughs> Excuse me, you've got three and a half meters, three and a half meters of your white, um, which is your background. You have a meter and a half of your green, a metre and a half of your brunette, a metre of your orange and a metre of your yellow. These are all lovely together as well. You've got lemon flutter, olive flutter. And these I'm guessing are going to be for the flower bit of your, um, of your sunflower. Obviously your brown then for the centre and your green for the stem. So it's all been thought out obviously, they all work really, really well. Same with your Liberty, same with your Riley Blake. There's plenty of fabric to be able to do the whole quilt. But it's up to you if you just want to do small sunflowers. Or uh, We'll talk to Sally Ann about it, but if you did just want to do as, sh as, um, as she's done the big sunflowers as well. There's lots of variations. You could even just do one block as a nice wall hanging, couldn't you? Now, if you love the book, if you've got lots of fabric in your stash and you want to have a play around, we have got the book individually. Nine different lovely floral quilts. But that, again, would make a great cushion front. That'd be beautiful. This is what I find crazy. The, I, I thought this would be 9 99 It's today 6 99 Great value. Oh, yes, look. So, similarly to the uh, sunflower, this is called Posy in a Pot, a wall hanging that you could bind and do the sunflower like Sally Ann has. When it launched, it was actually eight ninety nine. We've gone lower today. I think that might have stuck at an early bird price or something. That is very, 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 very low. Um, nothing to do with Paul. He can't claim that one as his own. Look at this one with the bees. He says, I'd like to claim it. You know me, he likes to offer a bargain, but he says, that isn't even me. That's, um, that's a, a glitch of the system, I think. That shouldn't still be at the early bird special price. Just £6.99 for the amount of projects you're getting. That is incredible. Uh, if you do just want the pattern on its own, it is there. Even for one pattern, that's a good price. This is the one that we're working from today, which is your sunflower. I like the magnolia as well. Sunflower meadow. Finished size of the quilt is 60 by 70 inches. So it's a big quilt, really big quilt. Now, obviously all that you need to add is your backing fabric and your wadding. We've got the queen size wadding, which is your 80-20. Um, this is your 80% cotton, 20% polyester. We do love an heirloom. It's lovely quality batting and it's all personal preference. Uh, I've had many conversations before with Sally Ann and I've always wanted to sort of demystify which one do you use? And it's always, well, it depends on what you're making, what you're using it for. But if you do want to uh, get your 80-20, I know this is one of the most popular that we stock on the website. It's 32 99 Brilliant. <coughs> Excuse me. We do also have it by the half metre. Uh, it's 80-20. It's a different one to the heirloom, but it's one that we have off the bolt. It's brilliant value for money. Great for smaller projects as well. It doesn't necessarily need to be for your largest quilt. It's just £6.99 for your 80-20. Whenever we get this in, this sells in the hundreds of units. Elliot is the best. Thank you, Elliot. He's bought me a nice cup of coffee. Right, hello, Sally Ann. How are you? Good, thank you. Jolly good. This is a lovely block, isn't it? Yes. Well, I say a block. Um, it, this would be a lovely wall hanging. Yeah, when you were talking, talking about it then, I was thinking, if you made two of these in the bigger size from the, from the book and put them end to end, so it would be either stem end to stem end or head to head, it'd make a great runner, oh, wouldn't it? Runner. For a, yeah. 
a bed runner or in a conservatory on a conservatory table. Perfect. Yeah. That'd be lovely. So is this a smaller sunflower you've done or the larger? So this is the bigger one. Right, okay. Yeah. So the, the quilt itself, I don't know if you can sort of zoom in on the picture. We got Robin in today. No pressure, Robin. Da -da -da. First done the job. He's done it. Right. So as you can see, so it's made up of four big sunflowers and six of the little ones. Okay. So and when it says it's 60 by 80, it's 60 across and 70 deep. And then at the bottom, you've got like a little checkerboard effect. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I it like looks like the um, under the soil, doesn't it? It does. It looks really cute, doesn't it? One thing I, I haven't, I'm not going to demo the checkerboard today, but one thing I would definitely say about making checkerboard is be careful with your quarter inch seam. You definitely want a scant quarter if you're going to make a checkerboard because you've got so many small pieces in such a, a short, um, short amount of fabric. That's what makes sense. Because if you make it, the way it works is if you make a slight error on the first one and you then multiply that up by the 20 pieces you're going to put in this checkerboard, yeah. by the time it gets to the end, you're looking sure. at move it, losing an inch. So do be careful of that. Okay, brilliant. Good tip. So we're going to look at constructing the, oh, um, the small. Yeah, so I'm going to look at the small flower. This was the big one. I don't know if do you want me to hold it up or. Oh, yes, please. Yeah. So um, your, your technical, uh, you're very good at doing all the technical bits of, of, of multiplying it to see what it looks like. So you could actually do as you've done. Yes, you and could And just do. make the large ones four in a row, like you've seen the picture. Yeah. Um, that would be perfect. So this one is, this is how, I, that's how I made the picture. So basically I made this and then I just repeated it with some computer software. So this is 30 inches. See, that looks so striking, doesn't it? Yeah. I love that. And that's with the, uh, the wheelchair, the Liberty Liberty fabrics as well, isn't it? Looks yes. Beautiful. Yeah, look really nice. beautiful. Um, okay, so we're working but, on the smaller one. Where, where on earth do you start with this? Okay, so the, as in all of the, the Annie's books, the instructions are really, really comprehensive. So this is going to be, I would say, and, it, and they say as well, intermediate level. So okay. it's not really suitable for a beginner yep. because it is quite intensive. Um, well, you say there's lots of different uh, stems to choose yes. from. Yes, so there's obviously the small flower and the larger sunflower head. And then there's a variety of different stem layouts as well. Okay. This is one where you would definitely need to spray everything with some spray starch or some best press before you start. Yep. Okay, because you're using small pieces um, in a small space and you don't want them to warp. So do you do the best press before you cut out? Yeah. yeah. So I sort of actually get the whole, you know, fabric and just waft it over and turn okay. it over and waft it over right and then get it on the ironing board and really get it in there okay you know you really need to do that we have got best press available um it just have curiosity paul is it the lavender one or is it the scent free uh, scent free okay. great scent free is available it's the big tub we haven't physically got it here it was something that sally ann recommended this morning so it is on the website it's there it's 11.99 if you want and it is very useful if you're working with bias edges isn't it yes yeah and small pieces as well because small pieces are likely to to warp, warp. More, e more easily okay yeah. thank you okay so sort of if you just have a quick look you can see in the book that it gives you all your cutting out to start off with for both the small and for the large would you do all your cutting first I don't. Do you do a block? I do a block. I always do that. I mean, I know a lot of people like to sit down and go, okay, I'm going to cut for the, the day or the morning yeah. and then I'll sew this afternoon. But I always like to make a block first mm -hmm. because I feel like if I've cut everything, then you, you know, it. And then you make, yeah, exactly. And then you make a block and you think, well, actually, I don't quite like that bit and that bit's a little bit, I wish I'd made it a bit bigger. You've got 60 more pieces that size. Yeah. So, yeah, I would Good advocate a test one. Yeah, so it's all sort of laid out for you, all the different sizes, and then she goes through the instructions, little pictures here and there, which help you along the way. Um, all the different stems and how to make the leaves. And then finally, the, the quilt assembly, which is actually in rows. I don't know if you can see. If you just show me it to your right slightly, yeah. that's perfect. Thank you. So they've just joined three little ah, flowers together. Two, wow. a three, and a two. So, nice. Yeah, again, you could just use three little flowers and make a nice runner, couldn't you? Because when I first looked at it, I thought, oh, that's plique on. But no, it's all paste. It seems quite daunting, doesn't it? But actually, no, yeah. seeing it in rows like that, how it's constructed. Yeah. Sorry, I'm getting 
sort of carried away with different ideas. I can see as well that you could do like three of the smaller flowers and then just to make it a little wider, put the checkerboard on either yeah. side again, that would make a great runner. Yeah, brilliant. Runner. Anyway, let's get started. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you're working with the... This is the smaller flower. Yeah. The, what's, the, what's the third bundle called, um, Paul? So there's the Wiltshire, there's the, the Riley Blake, and what's the one that Sally Ann's working with called? We'll bring the graphics live for it anyway. It's called Flutter Sunflower. Nice. They always look like batiks, don't they? They're not, but yeah, they've they got do. that sort of feel to them, the green especially. Okay. Right. So. so I've just got a background square cut, as they suggest in the book, and the four squares that I'm going to actually sew to make the corners. So I've actually just drawn a horizontal line. Not horizontal. For <laughs> diagonal. Diagonal line <laughs> across <laughs> them. Okay, and just... It's important that you line them up as best you can with the corner because you don't really want it to move around. Okay. Then I'm just going to sew just very slightly to the right of my line. A quarter it's of an inch to the right? No, just no. actually, a, just very slightly to the right. Almost, okay. well, almost so on it. Almost on it, yeah. It's just to give you that little extra bit of wriggle, wriggle room when you fold it back okay because you lose just a little bit when you do that every time okay. would you believe it I've come unthreaded Oops. that's a good tip actually because um, like you said it, even your pen marking can slightly throw you off slightly if you're using a thick nib or the way that you sew it. If you're sewing it just to the, the, the wrong side of the line, yeah. you can just lose a, a point of a millimetre and it makes all the difference, doesn't it, Then It does. So I'm just going to sew all four of them. So this is to do the corners of your main sunflower head, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, I'm with you. Sorry, my iPad died on Facebook. If you're messaging in, I will get your messages back in a second. Whoops, cheers. Oh, lots of people say hello to Sally Ann. I'll find the new guy. I'm up back and running. <laughs> um, good morning, Jan. Big wave, Sally Ann. Morning, Vix. Is she? Good morning, good morning. Uh, we've got Gerardine saying, hi, Sally Ann, I've not seen you for a while. Where have you been? <laughs> She's looking forward to your demos today. Have you not been Morning. in for a while, Sally Ann? Um, not since the 11th, I think, of October. Oh, gosh, yeah. yeah. That has been a while. Have you been busy? I have been busy. We're having um, an extension on our house. <gasps> oh, my word. Oh, gosh. Is it's it up like for? working in a sort of bomb site, really. Yeah, so it's just on the single store extension across the back. Okay. The idea being that it's going to give me a sewing room, a new sewing room. Brilliant. So, yeah, any ideas for a new sewing room? Keep them coming in. Fantastic. <laughs> so, yeah, more room is definitely called for. Yeah, so are you going to have all the sort of furniture that your sewing machine sits in? Or? Yes. Yeah, all yes. Lovely. I'm going to have that. And I hope to have, like I was just saying to Adele, a, like a, a cutting table for oh. a change. I usually sort of lean into my window and yeah. cut on the, in, my, in my bay window, but now I'm going to have a cutting table. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> oh, yeah, get in your uh, things. If you could have a sewing room, what things would you want in there? <laughs> oh, that's a good topic. Yeah. You need to have an aerial point to have a TV on the wall so you can oh, watch Oh, definitely. Us. You can have us on. <laughs> okay. Right, let's give this a little bit of a press. Sorry, I've probably moved everything around. No, we're all there. The, um, the kit that Sally Ann's working with is the most popular. I'm not surprised, actually. That price is very attractive to say you're getting your book as well as eight and a half metres of fabric. And it's really lovely quality fabric as well. It will go perfectly with the sunflower, but also it will fit nicely with all of the other um, patterns that you've got in the book. Kit, 69.99, that's what it looks like. Um, the yellow, the orange, the green, the brown, and three and a half metres of your background fabric. Really good price for how much fabric you're getting there. Oh, I've got a couple of irons here. Have you? Mm. <laughs> okay. Actually, I'll keep that here. 
So, I'm so just... you said good morning, Vicky and team. Lovely morning of good demos. Morning. And love Sally Ann and Adele. Good I know, morning. two great guests today. So are, we, are you cutting a quarter of an inch from the line that you yes, sewed? Yes, I am. Good job, you. Jumped I'm keeping on the ball yeah, today. keep on the ball. What do you do with those triangles, out of curiosity? Do you do anything with them? Um, no, unfortunately not. But you could do. You could stitch another Exactly, you could another stitch another line. line and keep them. And I've known people say that they've done that and then they go back to their box and they've put, got, got squares, loads of yeah. them. But, and also it's memories, isn't it? Yeah. Because you, when you get them out, well, that's why I made so-and-so. Oh, good yeah. idea. Well, then you've got loads of squares that you could just piece them all together and make another scrappy quilt, couldn't you? Yeah, you could do. Okay, so. This is our sunflower centre, taking shape. It's just the one corner, Paul. Paul's going, it's just coming together really quick, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Get in there, Paul. There we go. Okay. So. Oh, that sounds nice, Sue. Sue says, good morning. Hi. Everybody's gone sailing. So I'm dog sitting in sunny Cornwall. Oh, that sounds nice. Elliot's in the background going, oh, that sounds nice, that sounds nice, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it does sound really idyllic, doesn't it? Oh, thank you for your messages. Um, just build another house next door to Sally Ann's because the sewing room is going to soon <laughs> fill up, Geraldine said. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Back to you. Sorry, Sally Ann. That's yeah. all right. <laughs> um, so... Moving on, the next part of the process, I'm going to make the half square triangle units. Can you see there are eight of them that are attached to each flower head? Okay. So not the bits in between. Those are the quarter square triangle units, just the half square triangle units, all eight of them. Yeah. Now there's loads of different ways of doing this. Um, and we had a chat to beforehand. And on my website, so sallyannquilts.com, you will find a whole, there's a download, a free, completely free download. And in there, it gives you four different ways to make a half square triangle unit. Do you have a preferred way? Um, depends how many I'm making. Okay. okay. Do you need to make a lot for this project? You need to make a lot for this project. So there's four different ways in there. That the most obvious way being to cut a triangle and sew the two sides together to make a half square triangle unit. Um, there's also a link in there if you want to do the downloadable paper ones. Ah. Yeah? Yes. So this is similar to what we had in that big kit where we had them on a roll, which, yeah. which we've never had individually, actually. Yeah. So you can do that at home and yeah. print them off. Yes. Yeah, so in the um, download that I give you, there's a link to another place on the, on the internet yeah. where you can download free papers Fab. of varying sizes so like one inch triangles two inch three inch oh, that's good. It, it really goes, does go into that sort of depth and then you just print it on the carol doak yeah. paper you know? yeah yeah the foundation paper Found foundation it's like paper. thinner it's almost like sugar paper yeah. isn't it really thin sort of paper right and that's a good way of doing lots and lots in one go but the way i'm going to do it this morning is i'm going to do it using what's called a magic eight method. Well, right, so is this where you get a lot more triangles for your money basically? Yes, so basically I'm going to get, I know I'm going to get eight out of this. Okay. Okay, so and I don't know whether to go into all the dimensions. The dimensions are anyway, we're in the download. Yeah. So um, you sort of build it for there. So I'm going to make eight from these two pieces of fabric squares which are right sides together. Well, out of curiosity, which way, what does it suggest in the pattern to do? And they actually make half, you know, two squares, sew them together and then sew it either Which side. Which is fun, but you're just going to be doing that a lot. You're going to be time. doing that a lot. And also, with this magic eight method, you need eight for every sunflower. So that sort of makes Perfect. the math a bit easier instead yeah. of adding them all up and thinking oh, how idea. much in the papers. You know that one of these is going to perform eight. So. For, for a sunflower. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So, what I'm going to do, I've drawn a couple of diagonal lines across my square. And I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch away from each of those lines. So these are the diagonal lines. And I'm set the machine to a quarter of an inch away. Oops, it's moving a bit. Mm. 
Marilyn just said the offcuts would be perfect for a sweetie quilt. <laughs> yes. Yeah. They would be. <laughs> What's a sweetie quilt? I think <laughs> it's like a random or go on. I'm not sure whether she's because I, I actually do something called Sweetie Club Quilts. So yeah. What's um, I that? think so that's the sort of um, it's a series of six patterns that runs from January 2022 and they download them basically oh, and okay. we're all in a group and each yeah. little quilt relates to a suite. Oh, yeah. I see. So maybe that, yeah, I think that is what Marilyn <laughs> is talking about I then. I think so. So again, quarter of an inch away from the line. and then the same in the other direction on the diagonal. I don't think I've ever seen this magic ape <laughs> technique before. This is good, isn't it? Because like you said, there's a lot of patterns there's that a call lot for of, half square yeah. triangles. And quite often you read a pattern and it's daunting when it says, a hundred and so many of yeah, them. Yeah, exactly. Whereas if you do them in eight, that's a lot less daunting, yeah. isn't it? So you, again, you're stitching onto the, are you doing quarter of an inch away? Or yeah, you quarter of an that? inch away. Okay. So that's through the, the diagonal quarters, yeah. yeah. And now I'm going to cut. The square ruler is really useful yeah. for a project like this, isn't it? So it's going to cut on the other lines. I'm just going to cut along the diagonals to open up. Oh, I forgot my spinning mat. I forgot something. Would that be useful in this project? Yeah. Well, it's useful for everything, isn't it? You it love is, your rotating it's really mat. Good, yeah. I love the rotating mat. It's just my favourite. Okay. Yeah, Marilyn, it, it is what she was saying. She says, yes, read the Sweetie Club. She says, I'm looking forward to January. Oh, thank you. So any way that you need to press these? Okay, so if you want to put the, um, the yellow on top and press it that way, so set the seam and then just fold it back. Okay. Towards the yeah. yellow. So okay. basically you're just going to set the seam so if you always have the darker one on top, you're always, and you press it this way, you're always going to press towards the darker side. Does that make sense? Yeah. It took me a while to get my head it around does. that. <laughs> yeah, always have the fabric that you want what? to press towards on yeah, top. Yeah, top. Yeah. Okay. And obviously I want to press towards the yellow because I don't want to shadow, you know, because if I press towards the white, I get like a little shadow. Yeah. Just while Sally Ann's um, pressing the rest of those, the, the bundle that she's using is the, the one that we're about to put into the graphics. You get your book, you do get your full instructions, remember, plus another eight projects. There's nine projects in total. Uh, it's the most popular bundle and it is the lowest price. We have got the most amazing designer bundles, but if you do want your Flutter Sunflower, they're lovely quality fabric still. 69.99 is a absolutely brilliant price for eight and a half meters. A meter of your yellow, a metre of your orange, metre and a half of the brown, a metre and a half of the green, and then three and a half metres of your white for your background. So now, is this enough for the binding? Will I need to add fabric for binding, do you think? I wouldn't have thought so. I think it seems like loads. There. Yeah. yeah. It does feel like a lot of fabric. So I'm presuming you'll have enough in there to be able to do your binding as well, even if it's a scrappy one. Um, but you'll have all of that fabric plus your book for 69.99. Such amazing value. The one that Sally Ann made up earlier and sent the photo with all of the, the blocks joined together is with Wiltshire Liberty. 
needs no introduction, does it? It's absolutely <laughs> gorgeous. It's got the Wiltshire in red and yellow. You get a metre of each of those. Um, do you know, even for another quilt, if you've got in mind, it's a lovely quilt kit together, beautiful sunshine colours, perfect for the sunflower. Uh, you then also get a metre and a half of the green, metre and a half of the brown uh, for your stems, and then you also have three and a half metres of your cream for your background, plus your book, $84.99. Finally, we've got a Riley Blake brand new option. It comes with the book, don't forget, comes with the book. Also comes with three and a half metres of your background fabric and then all of these stunning Riley Blake designer prints. A metre and a half, a metre and a half of the green with the queen bee a metre of your honeycomb in coral and a metre of your honeycomb in gold. They are stunning. Oh, honestly, they're beautiful. And remember, this one is on split pay today. You can get it home and start sewing from 53.99. Remember, you don't need to pay, you won't pay interest on that. It's simply to make it uh, more manageable, especially this time of year. If we can offer you split pay, we will. But it means that you'll pay the first payment today, the first payment next month, but you don't have to wait to pay both payments to get them home, basically. You'll, you'll get it home straight away, which is brilliant. Um, the book on its own is available today for just, well, I'm gonna say it's an early bird price. It's definitely discounted. This is supposed to be 9.99. Um, today, it's six pounds 99. Brilliant value for nine projects. What does that make a price per quilt? Silly, silly <laughs> price. Not even gonna do the maths. Too low. Six nice are brilliant for one quilt pattern, let alone all nine of those. Um, lovely Christine's watching Sally Ann. She says, morning. Good morning, gorgeous Vicky and Sally Ann. You always make it look so easy, Sally Ann. Oh, good. <laughs> I hope I encourage people to have a go. And yeah, it's manageable, isn't it? I yeah. know you said this isn't necessarily for somebody who's never done a quilt before, but it's more because we don't want to put you off and you never make a quilt again because yeah. you're daunted by it. But go for it. Adventurous beginners, with Sally Ann's help, I'm sure we can, we can conquer yeah, it. Definitely. Okay, so here are my eight half square triangles. I don't know if you wanna. Oh, we're getting Ooh. there. Do I need to move it over a bit? Thank you. Yeah, down a bit. There we go. Yeah. Right, so they're the half square triangles. triangles. Yes. All in position. Yeah. The next units that need to go in are a quarter or square triangle units or hourglass units. And I've made three of these. So I'm just going to put those in there and I'm going to show you how to make one. Okay, so I'll put those in position. They all need to be the same, obviously. Yeah. Yes. That's it. Um, but one at the bottom, because it incorporates the stem, I'm going to make that one. And it's the same method for all of them. So basically, they actually tell you in the pattern what size If you just move that to up cut. to the right slightly. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So this is putting in the stem. Let's make sure I get this around the right way. So the stem needs to go at the bottom. So these are just cut triangles. Okay, and then that one is going to fit in there. Hopefully. Right. So I'm just going to sew them together using a quarter inch. It's always a good idea to lay it out to the side of your sewing machine, isn't it? Oh, I always do or pin it on a wall as I'm going so that you can sort of see what you're, where you're going with it. One. So you sew them into pairs first? Yes. In this case, I'm just going to finger press it, and I'm going to finger press it towards the yellow in each case. Is that so that they nest? So that they nest. See? Just like you were saying, Christine, <laughs> Sally makes it look so easy, but it all makes sense, everything that you're doing. Yeah. It makes sense, and you know why. The reason that you're pressing is for a reason. Bye, Elliot. He's off. Bye. You're having a weekend away from us. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. You'll miss us, won't you? <laughs>
Have you met Adele before, Sally Ann? No. <laughs> Haven't you heard us? We've been... Yeah, yeah that's yeah, what I yeah, thought. Yeah. I thought, oh, you're obviously like... Uh, oh, fucking long flames. You're, um, it's really unusual friends. for me to meet anybody because I'm generally on, on my own. Oh. Well, so to see another real live guest... Yeah. It's almost like sort of fan... Off the telly. It's like a fan thing. <laughs> yeah. you know, it's like, oh, my goodness, I've met Adele. <laughs> the Adele, right. obviously. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So kind of going to give this one a little press. So I would definitely only use um, a dry iron. I'm not a fan. Yeah, of you're not a fan of steam, no. are you? Well, again, if you're working with any bias edges, steam is just not going to be your your friend. It can warp no. it even more so, can't it? Okay, so I might need to straighten this one up a bit. So. Okay, see if I can move that sideways. Ah, okay. oh, he's gone now, Kate. I would have said. Kate just said, you do realise we've also shouted by Elia as though he's in the studio with you. <laughs> yeah, he's um he's gone now. He's gone. He heard you, Kate. He heard you. Okay, so I'm gonna square this up. So this is actually quite probably quite an interesting point. So I've got a square ruler with a diagonal on it. Yeah. The idea is that you're going to place the diagonal on the diagonal of your block. And at the point where it says one and a quarter, that one and a quarter, can you see that point? Yeah. There? That needs to be in the middle. Okay. Okay. So then I'm just going to trim off two edges. This is where your rotating mat would be good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just a slither, isn't it? Yes. Okay. And I'm going to turn it back the other way. I know that this needs to be two and a half. So I've just lined it up on the two and a half mark. And I'm just going to take off those two. So basically I cut two edges and then work from those the edges that I cut to cut the other two. That's what makes sense. Okay, so that one. And then go like that. Shift them along a bit. Okay, so we're now ready to assemble the flower. So I've got four. Oh, I love this. Yeah, then four of your, your background yeah. fabric. Okay. So I'm going to assemble that row of three and that row of three and then add them to either side of this, if that makes okay. sense. Okay, yeah. And then I'm going to assemble that as a row and that as a row. Right. So this, this is, is the bit I always find a bit discombobulating, is looking <laughs> at it and thinking, right, how is that going to go together? But like you said, the three attach them, three attach them. Yeah. You can sort of break it down, can't you, and make it less daunting. Christine says, that looks stunning, Sally-Ann. Oh, thank you. Shrosse said, bye, Elia. He's gone now. Have a lovely time. I don't know what he's doing today, but it, it wasn't... Um, yeah, he's just come in for a couple of hours. It's also said, well, you've done well presenting. I'm guessing that isn't for Elliot. That must be for Sally Ann, because <laughs> Elliot hasn't shown his face today on screen, has he? Oh, Geraldine says, oh, that looks gorgeous, doesn't it? That would even be a really lovely flower block on um, the centre of a cushion. You could just put borders around or a wall hanging, a, a tote bag. It would look so lovely in the centre of anything, even without your stem. Yeah, you could definitely modify it into some sort of cushion as well, couldn't you? Yeah, lots of love for that. I think there's lots of quilting opportunities as well with this. I was looking at it and thinking, you would want to do something here, wouldn't you? Because they're sort of fluffy in well, the middle. Well, that was what I thought. I thought it would look great with some embroidery on it. Yes. You could just do, you could do loads of French knots in the centre. Oh, yeah. That would look good. You could even, depending on how you're going to use it, but you could incorporate a few um, seed beads. Seed beads? Seed beads. You seed know, like beads. little oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. beading. Yeah, little tiny ones. Yeah, that would look amazing, mm. wouldn't it? Or even with you have quilting, once you've quilt, when you're quilting it, you could do some lovely free motion. It would just add more sort of texture, wouldn't it? Yes. So the three together, you're then... Are there any points to match on this bit? No. Okay. 
they should, there you go, they should just automatically match. We'll just go with it. <laughs> so all I've done is, again, I've, I've finger pressed it. Um, some, not just for speed, I do think that if you finger press as you go rather than ironing, again, you avoid warping. Right. So I tend to finger press as long as I can and then get the iron out. Right, okay. Oh, Christine, I heard that Elliot was producing John. Was it yesterday? I heard he did well. How about an applique bumblebee, said Kate. Oh, yes. <laughs> There's enough space fabulous. for it, isn't there? There would be, yeah. You could just do it. You don't need to do it on um, everyone. You could do it on alternate, um, alternate, or just add a butterfly on one, a little bee on another. That'd be lovely. Yeah. And the bee, I mean, bees are really in, aren't they, at the moment, on cushions and all sorts of stuff everywhere. Yeah, well, we've got to save the bees, haven't we? Yes. I have a couple of friends who are absolutely sunflower addicts. And saying that, my, where my son lives, it, the people that live over the back from him, they had loads of sunflowers this year in their garden. And you can just see them. He's got nothing in his oh. garden. But all these little sunflowers were peeping oh. over the hedge. So our new house that we've moved into, the guy who used to live there, he was oh, dedicated his life to his gardening. And he has the most amazing sunflowers, which <laughs> I've been told they will come back. It's not... Um, I was really terrified that I'd completely just ruined this garden. But, Paul, I haven't told you so. Because obviously it's getting into winter, I thought, right, I need to do all my turning of the soil, I need to do all my dirt. Turning. <laughs> it's quite a lot of plants in there. So we had somebody who was a friend of a friend who came to do it for us the other day. And I said, right, you're going to have to teach me in the spring because <laughs> I do want to get into it myself. But at the moment, I just haven't got time. And it's not very nice, is it, going and doing it in this weather? <laughs> do you know who it was, um, Paul? Do you know, remember Ronnie, who we used to work with? Ronnie. You never worked with Ronnie? It was Ronnie's mum. Ronnie's mum and step, um, stepdad, who we used to work with years ago. Small world. I was there in my dressing gown, it's quite early in the morning. They went, Vicky, books <laughs> ago. And I said, oh no. And I said, oh, Ronnie's mum. <laughs> I can't believe you don't know him, Paul. Always runs away. Oh, yeah, really? sorry, we've just... got about 10 minutes. <laughs> right, let's get it together. And I can yeah, we were saying, oh, not sure how much time we'll oh, probably yeah. have to talk about the yeah, quilting. Yeah, yeah. We'll talk about this, talk about that, but time does just run away with us. Thanks for your input today as well. Lots of lovely messages on the Facebook oh. Live. Yeah, thank you, everybody. Good to have your interaction. Spurs me on. Oh. <laughs> it's so kind of people, they're so nice. Right. So. I'm going to do a little bit of chain piecing now, sort of speed up the process. I'm just putting the white corners on now. Kit is the most popular on your screen. The one that Sally Ann's working with is the most popular. It's really good in terms of price. Eight and a half meters of fabric for 69.99. Remember, you get loads of fabric. Loads and loads of fabric. A metre of your, here's the whole kit, a metre of the yellow, a metre of the orange, a metre and a half of the brown, a metre and a half of the green, and three and a half metres of your background fabric and your book for This is quite a nice size quilt though if you want to quilt it yourself, especially if you're intermediate because it's not too big. Okay. 
Um, it's manageable on your domestic machine. Yes, and I, I mean, I spray baste everything that I make up to about 70 inches, and this is 60 to 70 inches, so it'd be perfect for a spray base. Nice, we've got June Taylor basting spray. Um, this is very similar to the 505, isn't it? Yeah. You use 505 uh, oh, or the June Taylor. Exactly, you don't miss yeah. the difference, honestly, I've used both. Um, yeah, they are brilliant. I think it's, do you spray it onto your wadding or onto the fabric? Onto the wadding, wadding. yeah. Okay, right, so now I'm just going to add my rows. So I'm going to nest my seams. Pin. Let me just see how they're going to nest. Oh, in fact, the um, June Taylor, I think, sold out on pre-order. Well, I don't know if you managed to get it earlier. We've got about five minutes. I hate okay. to do the whole sewing bee time count. Okay. Oh, I've just thought it's Saturday today, isn't it? I'm really addicted to Strictly this year. <laughs> and I get really excited like I'm in the show tonight. I get myself so hyped up. Oh, I'm so excited. Me going to any bonfire nights? No. It was noisy last night, though. It was this morning there were fireworks, Paul said. Yeah, hey. I heard him say that. Gosh. Yeah, there were a lot of fireworks last night where we live as well. I went to bed so early, I didn't see any. Terrified of not getting any sleep. You and Adele were both sort of, I don't mean laughing, but both like knowingly having that dream <laughs> of, yeah, it's not going to get much better for a couple of years at least. <laughs> okay. I think I'm, gonna, I'm not going to put the other one on, but okay. it gives you... Let's get it around the right way. So that is where the stem would go. Fab. And so you just attach the other one. On the top. Yeah. Oh, it looks lovely in this colourway as well, doesn't it? Does. It does, it looks great. So then your stem. Okay, so this is part of a stem. So can you see? Yeah, these are quite peculiar shapes, mm -hmm. aren't they? So I've done one side, and as you can see, the half square triangles also feature in that there again. Yeah, yeah, so this, these are smaller ones. So right. again, one of those methods from the PDF yeah. would be absolutely Fab. fine for this. And then, so to make the actual leaf shape, so there's the stem. Let's see if we can get the, the shape together. So this time I'm just going to sew on the lines. And again, it tells you the dimensions, everything in the pattern. So again, just slightly to the right of that line. Oops. Oh, Christine, I'll make sure I keep Maisie away from the rose bushes. That sounds awful. Thank you for your message, though. She said she used to have a lovely garden, but then her youngest daughter fell into the rose bush and scratched inside her eye. Oh, gosh. It's oh, terrible. There are roses, in fact, in the garden. I'll keep my eye on those. They'll probably be dead by the time she's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really not very good. I'm going to get into watching Gardener's World a bit of Monty Don on a Friday. I'll get into it. Right, okay. sorry. We yep. haven't got time to have chit-chat. Go on. <laughs> Just cutting off the, the seam allowances. Yeah. Keep those for your sweetie that quilt. One. Yeah, keep those for your sweetie quilt. Giving it a little press before I put on the other piece. So, so this time I've actually pressed it back towards the green because I don't really want any shadowing of my leaf. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. You might see it through the white. Yeah. another one so that you end up making a little pointed leaf it's really good that the pattern's got so many different options for this because it's not like you make the same thing over and over again yeah. each one is slightly different yeah. and that gives you more interest that's you know? it
We've got a couple more minutes, Ariane. Okay. So again, I'm just going to drop it off. Quarter of an inch. Just having to press that in. Okay. Remember which way around my... Oh. So again, all the cutting has already worked out for you. Oh, see, that's good, isn't it? Look, yep. yeah. So that's just gonna a jigsaw fit. then. Yeah, it's just a jigsaw puzzle. Yeah, it's very much like a big jigsaw. I bet you're very good at jigsaw puzzles as well, aren't you, Sally Ann? <laughs> I did the Festival of Quilts one. That's that, I was very proud on that on maternity leave. I literally sat waiting to have Maisie. I was week overdue. The whole week I sat doing nothing other than this Festival of Quilts jigsaw. <laughs> and then I wanted to frame it. And I came home one day and Kieran put it back in the box. I like, what have you done to my masterpiece? I spent hours doing this. <laughs> to do it again one day. I must admit, we've got a Christmas puzzle in our house and it's a bit of a joke really because we get it out, put it, well I get it out, put it on the coffee table. The bo my, my boys put in like one or two pieces yeah. here and there yeah. and eventually my husband gets so irritated he just does the whole thing. Oh, that's <laughs> it, yeah. He's like, this has been out for so long I'm just and he just it. does it. <laughs> Susan said, lovely to see you, Sally Ann. Oh, thank you. The main graphic is for the uh, the bundle that Sally Ann is using. Don't forget all of that fabric. It's a brilliant amount of fabric. Is there anything else you just wanted to quickly mention? We're just gonna have to, without doing sewing, you can just okay. place it into yep, position. So it, Thank I you. I can place it into position, and you can see how it's gonna go together. So I needed to sew an extra couple of pieces and a band in here, but that's just the top half of a yeah. leaf. Yeah, but it's then lots of repetition. Like you said, the leaves then the second part are the same shape aren't they they are yeah yeah lovely yeah thank you ever so much yeah it's really fun to make i'm sorry that we've run out of time that's right. we didn't sorry. think we would do we no we didn't <laughs> but anyway that's um, it's all there it's all there in the yeah. instructions and of course um Yes, message Sally Ann if you need any yeah. any help with anything. But they're brilliant kits. Uh, they come with loads of fabric, eight and a half meters of fabric, and your book for sixty nine ninety nine. Remember, a meter of the yellow, a meter of the orange. You also get a meter and a half of this really lovely. I'm calling it like brunette, but it's got the spray time colours as well. Uh, with all of your, it's called chocolate. It's called chocolate, chocolate flutter. Uh, a meter and a half of your green flutter and then three and a half meters of white as well. It's a lot of fabric, isn't it? 69.99. And the book, nine patterns, 69 pounds, 99 pence. There's the Riley Blake option, which is stunning. Do not let this pass you by. Even if you're doing another project, grab the bundle. It's a great bundle. Three and a half meters of your cream. You get a meter of your honeycomb in gold, a meter of your honeycomb in, I'm calling it like a corally salmon. You've got your queen bee, and that's a lot of fabric as well. That's a metre and a half of queen bee, and also a metre and a half of this um, lovely, it's like grass, it's really lovely. They're all gorgeous. Lots of applause for you on the Facebook oh, page thank you. as well. Thank you, Sally Ann. <laughs> um, right, final option is the one that Sally Ann made the block out of originally, which is your liberty. It features two colours of the iconic Wiltshire Liberty print in red and in yellow. Plus you've got your spot in green, brunette, and also three and a half meters for your background. All of that fabric and your book, 84.99. If you do have lots of fabric or you want to make your own bundles off our website, um, then we've got the book individually, which has been selling like hotcakes. Not surprised because it's been discounted for some reason. We didn't know about it. Paul saying this has nothing to do with me, but we'll, we'll, we'll take it. We'll take it. It was supposed to be 9.99. I don't know whether it's been as low as 8.99 before. Today, you can get the book at 6.99. Maybe they discounted it to put it in the bundles, but then it shouldn't have been discounted on its own. I have no idea. Maybe it was an early bird. We don't know, but take advantage because I've got a feeling that could go back up in price. This is lovely. That look amazing with the K fabric or Liberty. Oh, love it. Uh, six pounds ninety-nine. And there's the sunflower quilt that Sally Ann was demonstrating. Okay.
They're your bundles and the book individually. Lots of bits and bobs on the website if you need to stock up on your rulers, things like that. I know that Sally Ann used the uh, the square ruler, the creative grid, but also it, she was mentioning the rotating cutting mat. There's lots on the website. Uh, if you do want your wadding, this is queen size, which is plenty big enough, plenty big enough. Just very quickly, Sally Ann, when would you use a cotton 80 20 mix would you use it if it were running over the back of a, a bed a bed yeah. yeah because it's got a bit more drape in it whereas if you used 100 percent cotton it hasn't got quite as much drape 100 percent cotton is very good for wall hangings oh lovely so 80 20 yeah perfect for a bed yeah perfect 32 pounds 99 for your wadding um there are lots of different choices of waddings on the website though so have a look okay are you ready i'm gonna i'm gonna give you a twirl again because <laughs> i'm Honestly, lots of people have been messaging, and I absolutely love this dress. Yeah. Um, Sally Ann said, hang on, you made that, Dad. Yeah, it literally yeah. is like it was made to fit me. I love it. Um, it's coming up after the break with a Sew Over It pattern and lovely Adele. Don't go anywhere. Also, back in stock, the Pussy Bow blouse pattern and the shift dress, which Adele had last time, both completely sold out. We've got them back. Don't go anywhere. Lots of lovely fabric options. Uh, and of course, we've got lovely Adele. So don't go anywhere. We're back after this. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hi everyone, I'm Sally Ann Harrison and I am a patchwork and quilting fanatic um, and I've been sewing all my life. I'm currently based um, here in Bristol but I used to live in the USA and that's where I picked up the sewing bug big time. I suppose you could say that my sewing journey began when I was about eight or nine. I distinctly remember the first thing that I ever made um, and it was, I, I say I ever made on my own, obviously I did sewing at school. But I came home and I chopped up one of my mother's old uniforms and she used to work in a store. I cut up these little pieces of cotton and I made myself a bikini top and I can remember the absolute thrill of putting this little bikini top on and going out on my bicycle and riding up and down the road and that was the first thing that I ever made and I was totally, totally smitten. My claim to fame has to be um, demonstrating at the Houston International Quilt Show. Um, I am very heavily into wool applique and I developed a technique where you would use a perlay thread on the top of a sewing machine and they were interested in Houston I actually went along to demonstrate in open studios, studios whilst the show was on. It was really, really magical to have so many people that were interested in what I could do with a sewing machine. I am one of the longer running um, guests now on Sewing Street. Goodness knows how that happened. But I still get an absolute buzz every time I come up and do a demo and I love receiving your messages and the feedback after the show, it's, it's absolutely amazing. I'm hoping to bring you lots of new techniques and different ideas, so do stick with me and follow my Sewing Street journey. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Hello, 
welcome back, welcome back. Right, are we ready for madness? Last time that we um, had Adele here, everything sold out so quickly. So we've managed to get more of the pussy bow blouse patterns back in. We've also managed to get more of the shift dress, the ultimate shift dress. And we've got a brand new pattern which I've fallen in love with, the Georgia dress. It's gorgeous, it's so comfy. <coughs> Excuse me, it's got the lining on the centre. I'm just gonna have a sip of my water. I'll show you a picture of what it looks like as well. So, <coughs> I'm ever so sorry, I'm just gonna have a bit of a cough. Typical, isn't it? <laughs> sorry. <coughs> oh, I've got a real tickle. I'm gonna have to just, just have a cough for a second. Bear with me. Okay, if I, um, if you lose me again, we'll let Adele talk. So, <laughs> so the, um, the Georgia dress, we're gonna start with the Georgia dress, Adele. Yes. So, we've got two different sizes. The first one, six to 20, it is gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, it's lovely, and it looks great on you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so <coughs> impressed when you put it on this morning. Oh, it fits That's like that. a glove. Yes. It yeah. does. Um, and it's got, sorry, talk us through the features yeah. of it then. So it's not a ra full wrap dress, it's no. like a, a faux wrap dress. So it crosses over on the bodice. And what's so lovely is you've actually got some little pleats yeah. just there, which gives shaping along the bust line, which is yeah. gorgeous. And someone was just talking to me on Facebook. They were saying for a larger bust, would it, does it need a, a bust adjustment? But I don't think it does. And one thing you yeah. definitely mentioned when you put it on was yeah. that it doesn't come down too low. No, if I'm honest, when you held it up, I thought, is this going to be quite low and gaping? Yes. And it's not. And you feel no. very secure and very yeah. in. I'm not going to fall out of this. And no. it's also very flattering. If you do have a yeah. larger bust, I actually think that this is a really flattering style. But still with that crossover, yes, it's yeah. gorgeous. Yeah. And also, it's got the most beautiful lining. Oh, the lining now, is this gorgeous. something to be scared of, the lining? No, not at all, because mm. it's just a mirror image of the outside fabric. And so it's not lined fully lined. No, it's just, just the, the bodice. bodice which is actually really nice because especially with wrap dresses it's hard to finish that edge but with the lining and it's got some clear elastic in so it keeps it nice and flat and straight onto the bodice rather than sort of gaping open brilliant i'm ever so sorry about me having a cough um, right so the pattern is size 6 to 20 it's brand new you actually were saying because i've never seen the sew over it pants yes. before so Sew so Over It was the very first pattern company I ever <coughs> made. Um, it's an independent pattern company from Lisa Comfort down in London. And I just rave about them. I love these patterns. So I, th I think the size range is brilliant as well, isn't it? Yeah, they've only just released the big size uh, range, yeah. which is fantastic. So it's inclusive now. It's yeah. in two different uh, patterns. Yeah. And we've always talked about if you're finding it your um, sort of sat between the patterns, yeah. I would always go for the larger and then you can go down smaller. It's more difficult to, to go for a smaller size and grade, grade up. up. It's easier to grade down. So if you do sit between the measurements, okay. I would recommend the larger size. Pattern. And there's there's two different versions of the dress, aren't there? Yes. So what's the second version, sorry? So you've got version one and it's yeah. a gathered skirt. Yes. Yeah. And today I'm going to make version two, which is a three quarter circle skirt. Love it. So it flares out a little bit more. Fab. I mean, it's. So I must say, I love a jersey dress anyway because it's so comfortable. You can, I mean, I look like I could go to a wedding or yeah. go to quite, you know, a, a, a fancy event, but I feel like I'm still in my pajamas. It's yeah. so soft and so beautifully comfortable. Yeah. So we have got the the, uh, the second size range as well, which is size 18 to 30. Absolutely brilliant that we've got some of the larger um, patterns now. It says suitable for a confident beginner. There are some more tricky elements to it. Yeah. Um, but this is, yeah. Uh, this is the same dress, sorry. We've got the same dress, the Georgia dress, and this is size 18 to 30, uh, 17 pounds. And it's got all of your instructions, really yep. good quality pattern paper as well. Yeah, me and Sally Ann were talking actually, because she said uh, what puts her off dress making is the fact it's really thin tissue. Oh, no. This Whereas isn't. this isn't. And she was watching me cut it out. She was like, actually, I love this. I might try it and have a go. So I think I've got her 
dress oh maker now. <laughs> oh, well, we must say hello as well to all of your students who are oh, definitely yeah. going to be tuned in today because <laughs> they've all found out that Adele's on the telly. So if they're all up on a Saturday morning, 10 yeah, o'clock, to watch you, it's year 11s, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> Got to say hello, hello, hello. Because you, uh, you said it's a brilliant conversation, actually, when lots of your students ask you about your sewing. Yes. Because uh, I suppose, you know, we would presume that you just buy them in the in the shop. So Absolutely. it's brilliant that you can actually make a garment. Yeah, and it blows their minds when I say, well, I've made this dress. And they go, no, you haven't. And I'm yeah. like, yes, I have. <laughs> and like you say, I'm not sure if I've ever seen this kind of fabric in the, the high street no. because the bamboo that's on the lining is so soft. I haven't. No, and normally they scrimp and save with any sort of lining fabric. You're right. So with dressmaking, you can choose the quality of the fabric, you can choose the pattern, the colour, it's completely your own. And get it to fit you perfectly. Yes. We all know what it's like. I think a lot of people get into dressmaking out of pure frustration that they can't find things that fit correctly. Yeah. Whereas you can make sure the fit is perfect and you have made sure this fit is perfect. Oh, it's so lovely. I love it, absolutely love it. So, that's the brand new pattern, the Georgie dress. Can't recommend it enough. It's the one that I'm wearing today. And we've got some bundles. So the one that I am wearing, again, has got the bamboo lining on the bodice. It's a metre and a half of the bamboo bo uh, bodice lining. So soft, it's the first time that I've seen this. It's gorgeous. And it's enough to be able to make the largest size, which is a size 30. You then also have this beautiful, beautiful fabric, which is the first time again I've seen this. Lovely for autumn, isn't it? Yeah, and also what's really nice about this fabric is sometimes when you've got jersey and it goes over the bust, as you pull it, it goes white. But as you're wearing it, it doesn't go yeah. white as you pull. So yeah. it's really nice print, printed all the way through. It's gorgeous. So it's nice. Am I going to be able to do this potentially without an overlocker? You're yep. doing it on the sewing machine. I'm doing it today without the overlocker, so right. you can. And the bodice, all the seams are enclosed. Uh, with jersey, you do not need to finish your seams because mm. they won't unravel. So if you don't have an overlocker, don't let it put you off. It's a lovely length as well. I've still got my jeans on underneath because it was very, very early this morning when we um, did it. But it's, it's a nice length below the knee yep. that you can wear it with a pair of tights and boots. Yep. Or if you are going quite dressy, then you can wear it with a nice pair of like you, yeah. you, your heels. Or if you like to have your dresses sitting on your knee, yeah. you can just take Shorten that it. off. Yeah. That's what the beauty of dressmaking is. It fits perfectly for your body. Yeah, I suppose I'm quite short, aren't yeah, I? So but maybe I quite it like this length. Yeah, it's like I like this length. length. Um, and I wear a few of my dresses like that. Yeah, oh, it's lovely. And you, the dress that you're wearing as well is coming up later, yes. isn't it? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we are full on indulging in all of these today. So that's option number one. Um, the fabric that comes with it, you get a metre and a half of your bamboo green for your lining. And then you also get, and it is beautifully stretchy, but as Adele said, when I stretch it, you can see it's not losing the quality. It's not using the quality of the print. It's not going white. Uh, Geraldine says, I'm back, ready for more hints and tips, please. Oh yeah, you always get that with Adele. <laughs> um, okay, the fabric that Adele is demoing yep. with is the lovely cream. So this again comes with your bamboo lining. It's the first time I've seen this fabric. What's the composition of it then, Paul? It's stunning, isn't it? Mm. You've got three metres of your jersey. Now, if you're making smaller sizes, don't worry, we have also got these by the half metre. Haven't got the bamboo lining fabrics by the half metre, though. The only way of getting those is in the bundle, so it might be worth um, going for the bundles, fifty-four ninety-nine, and just having plenty of fabric to then play around with left over. So well, that's... Go on, sorry. This would be lovely as underwear as well. <gasps> oh, imagine. You know, like as... Like a little bralette. Yes. Really nice and soft. Oh, it is. That would be really nice. Really nice. A metre and a half of it as well. So you've got plenty to have a good play around with. Um, £54.99 for the second option. As I said, this is the one that Adele's going to be working with. We also have your deep navy blue. This is great for the autumn. Comes again with your bamboo lining. Oh, half the stock of this one already went on pre-order. If you haven't yet grabbed it, go for it. I think this is the first time I've seen this one as well. These are all new jerseys. They're stunning. That one is gorgeous. I didn't even know that one was on the show until I came in today. I, I suppose we don't need to worry about... Um, Direction. No. No, no, because those prints all sort of go everywhere. Um, it is slightly directional on yours because the tulips do go up. So just be mindful when cutting okay. out. Well, you, I think you should get into the habit of cutting it all the same way anyway, yeah. shouldn't you? Really? Absolutely. And you've got enough room to be able to do that. 
Um, the only time I've ever had to play, uh, play Pattern Tetris, I'd say, is yeah. when I'm trying to make something out of something that I've already got in my stash. Yeah. But you've got ample amount here that yeah. you can play around with pattern placement and all sorts. Brilliant. I really like that one. 54.99. It is lovely. The colours on it are gorgeous. Your deep navy blue. So it's 95% bamboo, 5% elastane. Gosh, oh. such lovely quality. Why did you say that's bad news? Did you just say bad news? Uh, at the start, what did you say? I thought you said, I've got bad news. <laughs> I was like, oh no, no bad news. I thought it was going to sell out. If you want it, good luck. It's there. Loads of you have got it in your basket. Don't wait till the end of the hour to check out on these. And always very popular when we have a down here. We've also got... The final option in pink. See, this is really pretty as well. Mm. Oh, do you know what? It's hard to choose, isn't it? That would be nice as a wedding dress. You know, like a wedding guest dress. Yes, it It'd would. Be It'd be perfect. That would be so beautiful. With a nice jacket and a hat. Yeah. Mm. Have you got any winter weddings to go to? No, I'm at that age, Ricky, where all my friends are oh. married. <laughs> It's, there's been so many of people, obviously, who haven't been able to get married over the last 18 months. So I've been to three weddings um, and also been singing at loads of weddings as oh. well. So it's so lovely to see everybody finally able to, to get married again. So if you are wedding guests at all, this is lovely. 54.99. But also for work. I bet this is nice, actually, to wear yes. for work, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I do love a crafty sort of secret pyjama dress. Yeah. Because if you put a jacket on with that, it looks completely smart. No yeah. one would ever go, oh, you're wearing jersey, which is like T-shirt material. No. It looks gorgeous. Love it. Love it. Love it. 54.99. Everybody, when I came out, even Elliot this morning went, oh, that looks nice. That's the dress. I said, this is one on the show. <laughs> you can believe it. Um, okay. Just very quickly, lots of people are asking about previous patterns. So the pussy bow blouse. Yep, yeah, that's the one that's behind you. Now, yeah. this is one of my favourite tops. I was gutted to have to leave this <sighs> here because I wore this when I demonstrated and I absolutely love this. Oh, um, it gorgeous. looks great with jeans. Yeah. But yeah. again, if you want to wear it as a formal wear, it would look beautiful in that. Yeah. You could also get more of a more delicate fabric. Yeah and make it like a dressy blouse that you can oh, go out with. It's but, gorgeous. And that's actually a lot easier than you think to make. Really? Yes. Because <gasps> so, it looks very fancy, it's stunning. Yeah. Now it comes in again, the two sizes, six to 20 is this one. Um, it sold out the first time we had it on air, uh, last last time Adele was yeah. here. And it does have your uh, three, uh, where well, it's got version one and version two, which are different, uh, Neckline. Neckline, so yeah. I've done the version where it comes down low, yeah. but it's not that low, don't be worried, but you can bring that keyhole up as like a high neck. They're beautiful, aren't they? All of your fabric requirements, um, body measurements are on the back of the pattern, £17. Back in stock for anyone who missed it. Also the larger size, uh, size 18 to 30. Again, this is a brilliant wardrobe builder wouldn't it for work it's really smart like you said as well christmas in some nice fancy fabric oh yes like but it also fabric. looks lovely with jeans yeah so don't think that it has to be an occasion yeah that it's going to be a weighing wardrobe and only brought out a few times you could wear that with jeans and trainers and it looks really nice this one of your faves this yeah is one of your faves just to leave it here. <laughs> Um, right, we'll come to the shift dress later on, but it is on pre-order if you want to grab it. Let's do some, yep, sewing. Let's do some sewing. So you so want to show the bodice. The bodice, yes, because it's uh, lined and we've also yep. got elastic all the way around. So I'm going to show how that all fits together. See, that's here. That's in the neckline. So as you can see, there's there's no sort of fastenings. There's no, no. zips or anything. It's all over your head, but this is yep. keeping everything all secure. Yeah, because I've made um, a jersey dress once before that was a wrap dress. And I found it just gaped here. Yeah. And I was gutted because I absolutely loved it. And then right. when I found this construction, I was like, it makes so much sense. Yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah, it's lovely. So we're going to have a look at the body. So I've already done a few little bits. Let's have a look first of all at the pattern. So I've cut out my pattern. I know some people like to trace. Um, I've cut my pattern out. It's really nice paper that's going to last multiple times yeah. i'm a firm believer in reusing my patterns again and again and yeah again. absolutely um so with the georgie dress we cut um identical 
outer as well as inner. Okay. Okay. So it does tell you on here, this is a pleated front, the right side as worn. Mm -hmm. So just put it up and be like, right, so that's going to go there. So it's not going to go that way round. Yeah. Just so that you get it all the right way round. There is a length and a shorten line. Okay. So um, if you want the, the waist, if your waist is slightly different points, yeah. Uh, you might want to bring it down or take it up. Oh, that's so you've good. Got so there's that different there. lines. Don't add on to the bottom here because that will change the dimensions completely. You cut the pattern here and then alter it. Yeah. Okay. Then here we've got pleats. Okay. So it's really simple. There's four <coughs> notches that we're going to take. And what we do is we fold these. So if I show you with the pattern paper, then you can see the shape that's made because there's no bust starts, nothing else. The shaping comes from these pleats. Right. So as I do those pleats there, as you can see, this doesn't want to sit flat now because yeah. we're creating a 3D shape yeah. to it. Yeah. So that is where our bust shape comes from. There's no darts here or anything like that. Okay. And we do that on the inside and on the outside fabric. That's clever, okay. isn't it? Really clever. So I've already stitched these along. So what I recommend is they're going to end up in a side seam, but you do need to stitch them first, but stitch within the seam allowance. Okay. So it's a centimetre and a half seam allowance. All I'm doing with this today is a zigzag stitch, and I've just done one centimetre in, and then I've pressed it. So you can see that those pleats are sitting nicely. And already, it doesn't want to sit flat. It wants to, to create that shape. Yeah. So we're going to, first of all, Put everything together at the shoulders. So I've done right sides to right sides. And we're just going to sew these shoulders here. Okay? Yeah. And then I've done exactly the identical on the lining. So that we can spend some time talking about this elastic that goes in. Oh, your navy bundles just sold out, Adele. Oh, I love that. Is it still on the half metre? Uh, yes, so it is. If you do want it by the half metre, yes, it's on pre-order. Grab it. We'll run through it at half past. That is a lovely fabric. Even Paul said, didn't he? He did. He and he's, he's a bit of a trendsetter. Even Paul said, <laughs> even Paul. <laughs> Paul was like, oh, that one's nice. Yeah, so I'm just doing these seams. Now, if you've got a very, very fine fabric, so if you're not going to use these bundles but use your own fabric and you've got more of a viscose jersey, yeah. what I would recommend is putting a bit of ribbon here mm -hmm. just to stabilise those shoulders or some clear elastic. Okay. Um, just so that when you're wearing it, it doesn't stretch out there. But it's okay with this fabric because there's quite a lot of stability in it. Um, now, I was thinking as well, could we make this in a thicker fabric. So like what you're wearing, for example. Yeah. So I think you could, but you would have to be mindful that the lining has to then be thinner so that it doesn't become too bulky on the body or too thick on the body. So it does suggest that you can use a thicker, like a ponty yeah. weight fabric, but just be very careful that the fabric that you choose to line it with is a very thin jersey. Okay. Because you don't want them to, you don't want double no. a thick jersey. That <laughs> wouldn't feel very nice. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to do, I'm just going to double check. Your lining needs so to be nice. stretchy though as well, doesn't it? Yes. Yes. Your lining does need to be stretchy um, because it's going to move with the body. Yeah. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add this elastic. So I've already, I'm going to lay this out so that you can see what I'm going to be doing. Okay, I've done the same already with my lining. Okay. I've, yeah. I've done it at the shoulders and we'll come to that in a minute when we put it all together. So because this is cut on the bias, uh, on fabric stretches at this mm -hmm. point. So we're going to use clear elastic to keep that stability. Okay, and what I've already done, it does tell you in the um, words I'm talking about, in the instructions, exactly the length that you need. And there is a little bit of adjustment okay. there as well. So the pack that we've given you here, is that suitable? Ample, absolutely Plenty. ample. 
and if you do the gathered dress there'll be some elastic around here as well to keep yeah. it lovely in okay so the first thing I'm going to do is find the back of the, the middle of the back and the middle of my elastic and I'm using clips for this Ooh. sorry okay, I'm trying to be all ambidextrous aren't I and I'm going to clip this on because clear elastic is actually a little bit difficult to pin so I'm going to clip this onto the middle okay now what you'll find is your elastic will just about reach but we are going to slightly stretch this as we go along okay if anyone's ever made uh, swimwear or made underwear you'll understand about attach an elastic and there is a slight tension that you add to yeah, it yeah. so that it kind of keeps the stability if i had it just flat it wouldn't keep it as flat on right there, so you okay? are giving slight tension so there is three centimeters either ends that you should be hanging yeah, off yeah it does also give you instructions of how much should be on the front bodice and how much should be on the back oh, that's bodice. good so there's Makes lots sense. of ways that we can do you sure clip it then with clips as opposed to pinning? I do because when I when I was making yours, I tried to start pinning, and it it's a little bit more trickier to get yeah. it through, and I don't really want to put too many holes into this elastic because I want it to stay nice and firm. So I'm just going to pin, oh well not pin, clip as I go along, giving it a slight tension. So, for version one, lots of people are asking about different measurements, how much fabric you're going to need. Yeah. So, if your fabric is 140 wide, um, then it says here version one, you'll need for the smaller size 2.6 meters, so three meters. And then um, for the largest size, it's 2.8 meters. So, for th with three meters, for the, for the sizes 8, 6 to 20, then you'll need three meters. For the larger size category, um, from sizes 18, you'll need, for version 1, 2.9 metres, uh, sorry, 3 point, yeah, 2.9 metres, and for the larger size, 2.9 metres, and then version 2, 3.7 metres. So that's in version 2, so that's why I've got it also by the half metre. If you do want to do the, the largest size in version 2, you might need a bit more fabric. Yes, because the circle skirt, if it's a thin yeah. fabric, it will have to be cut on uh, the flat. But I was able to get the circle skirt on this done on the fold. Um, Paul, out of curiosity, on the website, is there a photograph of the back of the pattern? I'm just thinking in the more details, you normally get the, but no, it's not. Right, so if there is a particular size, if you let me know, I can try and tell you, but it, obviously we, we'll have a lot of messages come through. So um, yeah, do let me know. But for any of the first sizes, six to 20, then you'll need three meters of fabric. Yeah. But you'll have leftovers and it'll be nice to use those scraps up. So I'm just clipping this as we go along. Um, and then I'm going to sew this in. Now this is within the seam allowance. So the seam allowance for sew over it is a centimetre and a half. There might be areas where you might need to take that seam allowance in very slightly, but it will tell you where that is. Okay. Okay. So it's a centimetre and a half. Right. There we go. So I've got all my elastic all in place and I've got slightly extra off here. Don't be alarmed with that. It does give you six centimetres of adjustment. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in the middle and go down here, then start there and go down there. We're not going to start up here and go all the way round yeah. because we want it to be even as we go. Okay. And it will shift and it will move. And if we move it here, we have repercussions when we come round to here. So start at the back and then go round. When you're sewing with your sewing machine, do you need to put a, je a jersey stretch needle in? So yes, a bell point needle. Ball point. Um, but if you've got um, a universal needle in, try it out first. Okay. So that's what I always say, trial and error. Try it out first. If it doesn't go very nice with the fabric, get yourself a new needle. I always say, I've read somewhere, I think it's 
eight hours of sewing means that you should have a new, new needle. needle yeah but sometimes if i've got a new outfit with really special fabric i just change put, it anyway yeah, i put a new one in okay oh sheila right so sheila's just said she says i'm looking forward to the demo she says i'm an apprehensive person when it comes to patterns she says i usually get them out look at them and think i can't do that and put them back so she says i've never managed it yet oh. right what is the worst that can happen it's only sewing at the end yep. of the day it's only sewing go for it because this is such an exciting new hobby that um, if you break it down, it looks quite complicated. I completely understand when you look at a finished dress and you think, oh, I can't do it. But break it down, even 20 minutes a day. Yep. You don't need to do it all in one day. I know, Edel, I heard you saying to, to Sally Ann, you do your cutting the one day yep. and then you leave it. And yep. then you do some the next day. You don't try and overwhelm yourself doing it all in one day. No. And even you, who 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 does this yeah. you know, all the time. I I I know my limits, and I know if I'm starting to get frustrated, I'm going to lose the love for it. So yes, I always cut out the first day, then sew the second day, and it, it really helps me approach it with a clear mind. Oh, I really hope Sheila that you have a go. Yes, do it. And the thing is, right. When you're finished, if there's any mistakes, don't tell anyone. No one will know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because well, it's a design feature, the isn't it? The first thing you say to someone is, I've made my dress, straight away they will go, no way. And then they'll be like, really? Like, I can't believe you've done that. And it, it, oh, you'll be just so proud of yourself. So don't tell anyone about your mistakes and go for it. Don't be scared. But also, there is loads of different patterns out there. Um, what I like about Sew Over It patterns is they don't just do dresses or they don't just do um, blouses. They've got a whole range Brilliant. of different patterns. And they don't presume that you know every bit of terminology. No. Quite often, if you look at the more sort of old school patterns, they're quite, um, instructions are quite basic. Whereas these, you get a full booklet with yeah. full instructions. Look, I mean, this is, this has got lots of lovely diagrams. Um, it's all numbered. Look at this. I mean, you've got so many. I have to say, I diagrams. love a diagram more than a picture. Well, you can, I think you're not distracted by the fabrics with the no. diagram. You can no. see exactly what's what's happening. Yeah, I can work out which side's right side, which side's wrong side. Um, it makes it so much easier. But like you say, the instructions as well are brilliant. They don't assume yep. that you've got this wealth of experience. Um, it's classed as a confident beginner. Yeah. And I'd say if you've done any kind of sewing, it doesn't have to be dressmaking, if you've done any kind of sewing and you're confident with um, sort of your machine, go for it. Oh, and so also, scary. don't be scared of jersey. As you can see, I'm doing it on a normal machine. Uh -huh. Don't be scared that you have to have an overlocker. I know when I first started sewing, like jersey was this big fear of mine. I was like, oh, no, I'm never going to sew with jersey. When you do it, I bet it's a whole new yes. realm of patterns that you can do. Yes. Fabrics. Some of my favourite fabrics are jersey fabrics. And that, like you say, it just feels literally, oh, it's so soft against your skin and so so comfortable and easy to wear, isn't it? Yes. Go and have a nice Sunday dinner and yeah. still feel comfy. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so I've now put the clear elastic all the way around, okay? And as you can see, don't be alarmed if there are some gathers, okay? Yeah. Because when you wear this, this will all stretch out. Right. And so it will have a tension on that elastic, like you say, that yeah. it sits flat. It does. On your neckline, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to attach the lining, okay? It's not tight at all. It doesn't cut no. in. You wouldn't even know that it was there unless you'd have said. And actually, I was like, oh, yeah, it does sit. It just keeps it in its place. It just sits nice and flush. Yes. Whereas, like you said, lots of these wrap dresses can tend to, uh, well, they just don't really lie flat. They can bulge and not look as... as yeah, as and especially um, I've still got dresses that I made many, many years ago. And I kind of want them to look as nice two years in, in time than they do when I first made them. So the quality of the fabric and having these little touches yeah. keeps them wearable yeah. for a long time. Um, just Sorry, Adele, just whilst you mentioned about the fabric, can I just quickly run yeah. the graphics through for these by the half metre because the bundle's going wild. If you want the fabric that I'm wearing by the half metre, um, there's only two metres of it left. If you've already got it in your basket, check out now. That is about to sell out. 
It's only 699 and a half metre if you are thinking for smaller projects. Brand new in today, out today as well. Two metres left, £6.99. The navy blue, Paul and Adele's favourite. Yes. Oh, is oh, it gone? Is it gone? It's gone by the half metre as well. Oh. oh that had happened well done if you managed to get it we have got the pink as well um so that was 7.99 we've got the pink bundle is still available at the moment um you get remember three and a half meters in the bundle sorry oh no 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 you don't ignore what i just said there's three and a half meters left of this one the bundle is three meter bundle with a one and a half meter bundle of your um of your bamboo lining. Finally, the white, which is Adele, uh, which Adele is working with, is this one, eight metres left. Enough for a couple of people to be able to grab it. Still time at the moment. Don't think you've missed out. It's always the way. I don't think you're here. I don't know what happens. I think we all just get so inspired, don't we? When Adele makes such beautiful garments and explains everything so clearly. I think, right, I could do this. Aww. Sally Ann, she's just said, I'm having a go. I'm having a go. Yeah, she's telling me she's got some dungarees that she wants to have a go at. So she says she's going to have a go at them now. And you made the shift dress as well last time, yes. didn't you? And the shift dress is a fabulous pattern if you've never made dress made before. Oh, okay. So it is an absolute beginner's dream. Brilliant. There you go. If you are a beginner, if you're messaging saying, oh, I'm a bit apprehensive, go with this one. Yep. So it's a sew over it pattern, which again is the one that Adele started with. They're, they're really clear with instructions. It's really lovely quality pattern paper, so you can make it again and again and again. The shift dress, the one that's behind here, and William Morris cotton as well. So you could do it in quilting cotton. Yes, absolutely. So that's the beauty of the shift dress. For beginners, um, cotton is a brilliant fabric to yep. begin with. And yes, that's a William Morris fabric, yeah. and I love it. It looks lovely. It's nice that you can do a top as well. It doesn't yes. need to be a shift dress. Yeah, and there's variations on the sleeves as well. You can have little ruffles on the sleeves, short sleeve, long sleeves. Lots of options that you can do. This one's size 18 to 30. Remember, if you're on the borderline, are you thinking, right, 6 to 20, 18 to 30, sorry. Um, then, of course, go with the large one. You can always take away. You can't. It's harder to grade up. Yes. Um, Valerie just asked, did Adele sew in the centre of the clear elastic? Yes, so let me just show that if I can. It's obviously quite difficult to show on camera, isn't it? Yeah, Valerie? well, I've got a uh, red bobbin thread oh, in so that you Thank can actually you. see it. So if we could zoom in there, I can show you what I've done. Right, we'll come really close. There we go, look. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, oh, so you've done a zigzag right through the yep. centre. So there's a zigzag all the way through that centre. That is then going to sit within the seam. So the seam is going to be a centimetre and a half, and that sits within the seam, because this right. will be folded in on itself. Okay. So we're not going to cut this edge away. It's all going to be in case. Right, brilliant. So that's what's so fabulous about this pattern. Um, it's a really nice feature, to be honest with you. And I'm just doing a zigzag everywhere. So with jersey, zigzag stitch is absolutely fine. I've gone 2.5 high and 3 with my length. Um, there's also the lightning bolt stitch that you can use. Or if you are super <coughs> confident, you can do it all on your overlocker. But even though I've sewn a few, uh, many times with my overlocker, I always get scared because it cuts. Oh yeah, smile. exactly, exactly. Smile. So yeah, it's great to know that you can do it yeah. on your sewing machine. But if you're really confident on your overlocker, it's a great yeah. one to construct it all on your overlocker. Yeah. And then when you do it on your overlocker with the clear elastic, you sort of catch the clear elastic, you don't cut it off. So I'm just going round the back. I just need to make sure that I'm catching. Hold on a second. I need to make sure I'm catching that. Yeah, I'm ca I've just gone slightly off. That's why it's always good to double check. So let me just unpick that slightly. Because the jersey, it does move, I would make sure that you've got lots and lots of pins in place. Okay. So that you can just make sure that it does stay where you want it to. Because you're putting two bits of fabric together that are different weights in different compositions so one will want to move slightly different to the other 
But it just shows, machine. look, if it's if it doesn't quite catch, it doesn't matter. Mm. Go back in and do it again. Yeah. I always have my own picker. Always. Yeah. And you don't need to do the whole seam, do you? You nope. just unpick the bit that wasn't yep. quite cool. So I've just unpicked, gone back a little bit further, and now I'm going to make sure that that's caught. Um, I have to go to the unpicker almost once every time. So don't think of it as, oh, no, I've gone wrong. That's it. I'm not very good. No. An unpicker, everyone has to have an unpicker. Right. So once I've done this, we're going to fold it over. And at this point, we do need to give it a really, really good press. I haven't really pressed much yet. OK. Um, with Jersey, I, I don't think you need to press as much. But this time I will. And I'll show you why that is. Okay, so again, because that clear elastic's there, you may have to give it a slight bit of tension with your hands as it goes through. Right. Okay, so don't be worried if you've got to just hold them together. Um, clips are good as well to keep it in place. There we are. But I'm not sewing on the clear elastic this time. I'm just sewing slight, oh, I've been putting my pins in with my clips. <gasps> Oh no! <laughs> Is that our tub? Yes! Fine. <laughs> I will sort it out on the break. Yeah, I need to put them in the pin dish, don't I? Right. Okay, and then just pulling that. There we go. And what we now do is we fold our lining onto the inside and give everything a really nice press. Both of these fabrics do press really nicely as well. They don't sort of bounce back. They do have a nice press to them. That's the thing I like about Jersey as well, is that you don't need to worry too much about ironing it. There's no! When you're, when you're wearing it after you've washed it. So if you... One thing I would be mindful of, if you ever do so with Jersey, Wash your fabric first okay. because you want to shrink it if it is going to shrink, but also don't put it in the tumble dryer. Right. Because there's nothing worse than you've spent all these hours making this dress. I sound all these hours, but all this yeah. lovely time, yeah. quality time making this dress for it then only to be able to fit you once or twice and then you've put it in the tumble dryer. So with... What happens in the tumble dryer then? It just... Because it's got elastic in, it will just constrict it and just shrink it. Okay. So what I would say is dry it on the line and just shake it out. Yeah. And then you'll be fine. You won't, won't need to iron it, and which is beautiful when you're rushing around first thing in the morning trying to find something nice to wear. So I'm just folding that in and just pressing it. I'm not using a hot, hot heat because don't forget we've got that elastic there. I don't want to melt that elastic and then what we're going to do is attach the rest of the bodice wrong side to wrong side okay so that it can all catch before you put the sleeves in so the sleeves are not um, inside the lining okay the lining is only for this crossover part here. yeah okay which is so lovely and soft against your skin, isn't it? Nice. It is very luxurious. It's really nice. Right. So let me lay this out again. So it's the shape that we've seen a few times already. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew all the way up here, round and then down. Okay. All the way up here, round and down. And also, also I'm going to sew these front pieces here. Okay. Just so that now it then becomes one piece of fabric rather than me then having three layers to think about. It's just one, one piece, piece of fabric. Yeah, that makes sense. So I've got enough time, haven't I, and we can have the whole bodice complete. Oh, yeah, we've got plenty of time. We've got about 15 minutes. Good. So this is a big seam to be doing. So plenty of pins because, like you said before, the, the bamboo is slightly different weight. It's probably going to wriggle a bit. Yeah, yeah. So, and also, when you do pin with jersey, don't stretch and then pin. Sort of put them together and then I sort of lay it down so that it's gone back to its own tension and then pin. Right. 
because if you're pinning and stretching at the same time then it's going to all come out of shape but there are notches to follow as well to make sure and you've got your shoulder seam to line up but what's really nice is the shoulder seam is all encased in the lining so it doesn't irritate you around your shoulders or your neck there we go. We all saw your lovely dress that you had on the Facebook, on um, on your Instagram last yeah. week. Oh, it's gorgeous. Now, this is what I love about you as well, is that you do make time to make for yourself, don't yes, you? Absolutely. Have you made your family Christmas pyjamas for this year yet? Not yet, not yet. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to get round to it, but I should, shouldn't I? Yes. I've got to find some fun jersey. Um, if I'm making Christmas pyjamas, I don't want to just go like red tartan or something. Yeah. I want a really amazing print. So I'm on the lookout for a really fancy, fun Christmas print. And then we'll be back in. The, the girls have been wearing them all year round. Have they? Oh, brilliant. <laughs> they keep appearing in the wash and I'm like, you still got your Christmas pyjamas on? Oh. See, yeah. the fabric that you're wearing right now, that would be lovely for Christmas party, wouldn't it? Just for, uh, you know, a casual, comfy Christmas party. Yeah. Because also, hopefully we're all going to get Christmas parties, but I'm so used to being in my pyjamas, and it actually terrifies me going out and getting dressed up. Yeah. So something like this is perfect. Yes, absolutely. And jersey isn't a casual fabric anymore. I think no. you can wear it to formal events. Well, there's lovely think. prints out there, isn't exactly. there? Exactly. And the fact that it's not just a t-shirt dress, it's a fitted bodice dress. Absolutely. Makes it look really special. So, like I say, I wear jersey dresses for work and I don't feel unprofessional or any way. No. They, they're still as smart as a fitted suit dress as such. Because I just put a jacket over and then I'm like, yep, I'm ready to go. But then I'm, I'm so comfortable. So nice and comfortable all day. And also, I don't have to worry about it creasing or anything like that. I can just go along. But these prints are lovely in the fact that when they're stretched, they don't go white, because some jerseys can do that. It's, it's quite, it is quite thick, actually. It's nice and warm, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Because it's dropped in temperature. You get out for your bonfire night last night. Was it freezing? No, actually, it was weird, oh. because yesterday was like minus one going to school, and I was even driving in my gloves. Then we all wrapped up, but when we got there, it sounds like hot, but it was eight degrees. Yeah. So we were quite warm. Yeah. Plus some old wine warm. That's up. it, yes. <laughs> so, right, I've pinned. So what I'm going to do now, I always like to show what I'm going to do before it goes through the machine, so you've got an idea which one I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to sew up, round the armhole, and back down. Okay. Then start again, up, round the armhole, and back down okay and then I'm just going to catch these two here okay because when I put all this together I want this to act like one piece of fabric rather than two layers and then I've got to consider others okay so just going around and I'll make sure I've put my pins in the right thing this time um, so with this, do you do a zigzag or a lightning bolt? You can choose. All the way round. Okay. All the way round. You don't need to change your settings at all. And it gives enough stretch to go round. Because that was one thing as well that put me off so in Jersey. I heard that I had to have an overlocker. No, you don't. You can do it on a normal sewing machine. There we go. So it's a centimetre and a half all the way around. And then this armhole is going to, the sleeve is going to fit into it. There we go. That's another thing that I find a lot of people are a bit scared of is setting sleeves. Yes. Now you don't need to worry about setting sleeves. Okay. All you've got to do is make sure you put your notches in first. Your notches are your reference point. And if you've got your notches in, then everything else eases in perfectly. There's a reason why those notches are there. So don't skip the notches. And that's one thing I do practice as I preach. <laughs> that is one thing I always put in, in my notches. Okay. We're about 10 minutes, Adele. Yeah. So we can get it so that we've got the bodice looking like a bodice. Because I think that's the only challenge on this 
pattern is this bodice. The skirt is easy to put on, the sleeves are easy to put in. Uh, the most of the time that you'll be on this project is on this bodice. Okay. Now, when I get to this point where I've got to turn, make sure your needle is down. That always helps anchor it and it gives you just a moment's breath so that you can just line things back up. Well, again. you can always stop, can't you? I think yep. I always get fearful of that. When I'm mid-seam, I think, oh, I've got to keep going, I've got to keep going. But actually, you can yep. stop. Your needle on these machines tends to stop in the down position anyway. Yep. So you can just reposition and check you're, you're in line. Yep, absolutely. And there is no competition of how fast you can make a dress. No, exactly. If it's going to take you a couple of weeks, seam at a time, absolutely fine. Enjoy it. Exactly. It's all about the process. And also, you don't have to sit down and do it all in one sitting. It can be that you spend one afternoon just on the bodice and then you put it down and then you come back and then you put your sleeves in the next time come back and then do the, the skirts. I think that's quite nice as well to make it a, a process and that's the reason we do sewing, isn't it? Yeah. You can go out and buy a dress, but it's nice to do it. That's the reason we make them. It's nice to have that process. Yes. And the sense of achievement oh, at the end. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So I'm just going to do these front side panels um, so that when I join them together, they're not going to fight as two pieces of fabric they're going to just act as one which is really important because what you do find now this is normal jersey does curl up okay so as you're, you've after you've cut it it will curl up that's just how the weave of the fabric is so don't be worried that it's curling okay. and thinking that you've cut it wrong no that's completely normal Right, so I've done all the way around, I'm just double checking, yes. Now we're going to do the wrap, okay? Yeah, do I need to finish any of those edges at all? Um, you can do if you want. What I would do is I would finish after I put it all together now. Okay. But with Jersey, don't forget, it doesn't, doesn't fray. fray. Yeah. It doesn't fray. So could I literally just go around it with some pinking shears to yep. make it look a bit nicer? Yep, absolutely. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cross over this bodice, okay? And again, we're going to be sewing our seams, okay? So I need to do, sorry, right side to right side this time. So the, the, uh, what's, the pleated yeah. wrap goes over the top, okay? okay? So you want to make sure that the pleated wrap is over first. We fold the pleated, and that's the one with the pleats on there. Yeah. We fold that one over first, and then this one folds over here, okay? And what we're going to do now is sew down here and sew down here. Now, that's why I said it's really good to put all the fabrics together, because now I've got one, two, three seams to sew together. Yeah. If I hadn't sewn all these uh, seams together or, or pieces of fabric together, I'll be battling with six pieces of fabric moving around. So do make sure that you've done all of that. So I'm going to just pin all these six together. Okay. And then we're going to just sew this seam. That same thing on the other side. And you've got to make sure you get your this part here in nicely and flat. Okay. Okay. That's one thing because this side, this wrap is in the middle. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just make sure that this um, bamboo flat. is sitting flat and it isn't rolling out or folded. Okay. Okay, so I would make sure that that's in place, then put this one on top and pin that point first. Could you top stitch it to keep it? So, one thing rolling. about top stitching on jersey is you've got to be mindful that that top stitching, will, if it's a, a straight stri stitch, as you stretch the fabric, ah. it will pull them. So if you do do any top stitching, we'll talk about top stitching when we get to here, yeah. you do it as a zigzag. Ah, okay. So don't do it as straight stitches because um, you don't want it to, as you're wearing it, to pop. Okay, 
So I'm now just going to sew both sides of this, then we'll pull it out and we've got our finished bodice. Amazing. Okay, so again now I've got quite a bit of fabric that I'm going to be sewing through here. So like these machines have, they have sort of a toy toys and a hat, you can slow the machine down to make sure that you're catching every piece. You have you got a ballpoint needle in there or is it universal? This was just a universal of what I had um, already on the machine but I would recommend testing your fabric first, go through the machine. Also that will help you with tension and also size of your zigzag. Yeah, I was going to say, so what is it that you're looking for? What, what, so how yeah. do I know if it's the wrong needle basically? Okay, so with the wrong needle when we've got our zigzag, it will miss stitches okay. and it won't give that zigzag um, shape. Because the way that jersey is, is it's woven different to woven fabrics. Yeah. And if we use a sharp needle, it pierces the fabric, whereas a ballpoint has a sort of a blunted edge. And as it goes through, it kind of pushes the, the, the fibres away from each other rather than piercing through. Yeah. So we've just got to be very mindful of how, well, how your machine behaves with different fabrics. What machine is this that you've got? So this is the 550 and it's coped with this jersey perfectly. That It hasn't struggled with it or stretched it out. But again, get a piece of scrap before you start and just make sure that everything's set up before you go. There we go. And let's turn this through and we've got a lovely nice. finished bodice oh and look at the pleated edge as well yeah. that's gorgeous i think that's going to look really nice in this color actually i think so too that is nice <laughs> really nice but yeah it's it's really nice and cozy brilliant so that little pleated edge there gives a lovely shape across there and then the next thing that we'll do is put our sleeves in yep next thing we're going to fold our sleeves up, post them in. We put them in as um, we ease them in. It's not They're not done on the flat. And then the circle skirt yeah. goes on. Bit of clear elastic during this circle skirt. I add the clear elastic after I've done that seam just to make sure it stays. Stitched in exactly yes. otherwise. That's lovely. Thank you yeah. so, so much. As always, brilliant demo. So clear and so thorough. Mm. I think we've all got the confidence to have a go at this now, haven't we? And it's, honestly, I can't recommend it enough as in, as a finished garment. It's so beautiful and so comfy. It Love is. It. Um, you're back in an hour with the jumper dress you're yeah, wearing. Yeah, the heather dress. And look at these pockets. Oh, they're great, aren't they? Yeah. That is so all nice. Sorts of scissors in love. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they are deep pockets, aren't they? <laughs> they are. Brilliant. And I love the back of it as well. Turn yep. around and you can see, oh, I love that. So the back has princess seams and the front princess seams have got the pocket inserted in the seam. Yeah, which you're going to so, go through in the show, yep, aren't you? Yeah, that's where we're going to concentrate on next. Fab. 12 o'clock with Adele. Be back with us now. Quick round up of all of these. What have we got to round up? Because a lot are sold out. The pattern's very, very limited now. If you do want the wrap dress in uh, the size. 6 to 20. This is designed for confident beginner, but uh, I mean the most time consuming or the most difficult bit was probably the bodice, which you've just seen on on uh, on the show, so you can always watch it back. £17, and that's sizes 6 to 20. You will need three meters of fabric that is 140 wide. Uh, there's two versions. That full circle skirt as well would look amazing, wouldn't it? Uh, size 80 to 30. 18 to 30 is this one. Again, really flattering. If you do have a larger bust, it sits so lovely and flat against your chest, which is um, it, it's brilliant. That's such an amazing technique with that elastic, isn't it? It's really, really um, quite flattering. 17 pounds for your pattern. We've also got bundles to go with this pattern. The green one that I'm wearing, oh, it's gone. Sold out. The blues sold out. In fact, there's one bundle left. There's one just become available. The cream that Adele is working with, um, you have enough fabric to be able to do the largest size uh, up to size 20. You may need a bit more of the fabric by the half metre 
for the a size 30. This is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Four and a half meters in total, meter and a half of your bamboo and three meters of your pattern. Then with the pink, again, three meters of the pink and a meter and a half of your lovely bamboo lining for the bodice. Enough to be able to do the size 20. 54.99, loads of the pink in baskets. So pretty. We said this is going to look really lovely in this dress. Then, sorry we're flying through these, but we've got loads to show you. The Pussy Blow uh, blouse back in stock in two different sizes. 6 to 20, 18 to 30, 6 to 20 um, is lovely. This is Adele's favourite. 17 pounds. Great with a pair of jeans, lovely and dressy. Also, size 18 to 30. Have a go, have a go. 17 pounds, great price for a lovely pattern that you're gonna use time and time again, time and time again. Beginners, go for it, no excuse. This is the one that um, Adele recommend to anybody who is new to sewing, new to dressmaking. Uh, because you can use your lovely cotton fabrics, which are a lot easier to work with than do machine. £17 for the size 6 to 20. Also comes in size 18 to 30. We'll just run the graphics through for you. So it's there. Underneath is on the website. Just £17. I mean, this is going to look amazing. As Adele's made it with William Morris fabric you can see here. <gasps> Imagine in a K4 or Tula or something. Oh, it'd be incredible. There are some of the fabrics available by the half meter also on the website. Do have a check. Also, any ballpoint needles, have a look on the web shop. Don't go anywhere though. Sally Ann is back. Those of you that have seen these on her Instagram, how fab are these for Christmas gift? Then make really lovely little um, makeup bags, toiletry bags. We also said these would make really lovely sewing boxes. Nice for gifts, aren't they? Coming up with Sally Ann. Already selling very quickly on pre-order. Uh, don't go anywhere, Sally Ann's going to be joining me right after this. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well our family run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. 
So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our website, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Hello, welcome back. Me and Sally, I'm just having a little chin wag here. Um, I can pass you the clasp in a minute. So, um, these have been so, uh, already lots of people have been talking about them on Instagram. Love them on pre-order as well. I don't know if you've managed to get them. Please, can we start with the Kiss Box Sewing Box kit, please. Kiss Clasp Sewing Box. Um, the one that Sally Ann has made up in this fabric is Gorgeous, half the stock's already gone on pre-order. Had lots of people messaging in saying you could put a little mirror here, couldn't you? Um, it's got uh, lovely little compartments at the top. Whether you have this as a sewing box or a little uh, makeup bag, so many different uses for it. I think this would make a beautiful gift for somebody. Fill it with some little treats, uh, chocolate treats. Price is brilliant, 19.99 and you're getting your pattern. You're also getting your templates in there. You have your fabric, which we cut two fat quarters, and this fabric is stunning. Isn't that lovely? It also comes with your tan lining. Um, you've got the gold clasp, and you've got your twine, which sits inside the clasp. So, I mean, that is a brilliant price, isn't it? And then, once you've got the pattern, if you had a look on the, the website earlier on, we did extra clasps. You could buy multiple and then uh, and make loads of them, but this is stunning. Less than £20, 19.99, and the pattern is, uh, the fabric is Henry Glass. Very achievable. We'll go through it with Sally Ann. Anybody who loves it on her Instagram, absolutely go for it. It's really, really lovely. Really lovely. So we also have it with one other fabric, I believe, this one, with the gingham. This is so girly. This is so, so pretty. Not only do you have the lovely gingham. Oh, which one would you have as the lining? Which one as the outer? You could do either, couldn't you? Because you have a fat quarter of each. It's up to you which way round you do it. You've got the fat quarter of your floral, fat quarter of your gingham. You also have your Kiss Clasp sewing box instructions. Lovely attention to detail with the extra pockets there as well. You've got your gold, rose gold uh, clasp and then the little bit of twine that feeds inside the clasp. It's just 19.99. It's a matter of which fabric would you like, the Henry glass or the lovely girly girl uh, posy pink. Just 19.99. So that's the one that we're gonna be focusing on first, but we've also got, I mean, there's loads coming up in this show. This is jam packed. We've got the glasses case as well, which, this is brilliant. It's the first time I've seen these clasps on the show. We've had similar ones, but with the, the smaller clasps like this. But this has got that actual pinch clasp included in the kit. So you have your hardware. You've got that there. You've also got your Hydrangea Moda print. Whole fat quarter. Now, I'm presuming 
you will have lots of fabric left over. You will not use a whole fat quarter for this. So you're going to be able to make multiple glasses cases. Obviously, you might need more of these, or you could use a zip. You could use smaller um, clasps as well that was in the bundle earlier on. We've got the lovely lavender or uh, purple lining for this one. Uh, and you're also getting your squeeze clasp glasses case instructions. It's got everything that you need to know in there from your cutting instructions, your construction, making the lining, and inserting your frame as well. £17.99. We've got it in another colourway, which hasn't been made up yet, but I can just imagine it in this lovely tropical fabric. These would make great gifts for people, wouldn't they? Because quite often when you get new glasses, they're in just a, a boring little case, aren't they? It's nice to have a really lovely fancy fabric. This is new fabrics. In fact, both of them are new fabrics to me. £19.99 with your instructions, two fat quarters, and your um, and your squeeze clasp for all just £19.99. This one is Anna Maria Horner. How lovely is that? I've not seen Anna Maria Horner fabric for ages. That is beautiful. It's a whole fat quarter. You get loads of fabric here. Just £19.99 for the whole shebang. That's really good value, isn't it? Really good value for money. This is why we cut them in-house, cut our fat quarters in-house for you. Uh, right. I've got some purse ki uh, kits as well. The bubble purse kit, which looks like this. Now, Sally Ann's also been making these up. And they're a really lovely shape. She's also added some lace detail, like on the front here, which is so, so pretty. So you've got all your instructions, your templates there. You're also getting the bubble clasp. Bit of twine as well to put inside. And then your fabrics. You get a fat quarter of vanilla and a fat quarter of moda. This would look lovely with a lace trim. Raise your stash. What about adding some little buttons and things? £19.99. I do like a little point, a coin purse. I think it's, especially at the moment now, we hardly use um, cash at the moment. I'm always doing a contactless. But I always need some for the trolley um, at the supermarket. Or you always need a couple of pounds maybe if you're going to the, the uh, car, if you're paying for your meter on the car. It's always handy to have a bit of change, isn't it? This is really lovely with your boutiques. These are boutiques. They're moda. Ball fabric, they're lovely. You've got your bubble clasp, your instructions, and your fabric, your barley beautiful. I think they're Hoffman's, 19.99. And they're lovely, aren't they? They're gonna look very different again. Told you, we've got kits galore today. <laughs> Something for everybody. Get stocked up, ready for Christmas. We've got the bubble clasp instructions on their own. So the one that we've just seen, you get, if you do want to make multiple, maybe you're just going to get more of these. They're only £14.99 and you get the, the clasp, but you get another set of instructions, your templates, your twine for £14.99. We've got the Kiss Clasp Sewing Box instructions on their own. I mean, all you need is your two fat quarters. You don't even really need that much uh, fabric. It's a good one for your scraps, isn't it? $14.99 for your sewing box. Oh, it's been so popular. In fact, it's been the most popular item of the day on pre-order. We've absolutely loved this. It comes with the clasp. Your instructions come with the uh, the rose gold clasp as well for just £14.99. Finally, the squeeze clasp glasses case. It's good that it comes with the squeeze clasp as well. It's £12.99 with your frame included. Fantastic. It gives you all the instructions of how you insert it. Multi-bar on that one. So, right, we've got loads to talk about today, Sally Ann. Yeah. These I, are lovely, aren't they? I loved making this. I must admit, I haven't made any for years. And so when I saw this, oh, ooh, yes, I haven't made any of these for years. That's, that's just lovely, isn't it? Yeah. It's nice to take, uh, just have your little hand sewing bits or, or a, a little hand sewing project that you've got on the go by the side of the sofa. A gift. We said this would be lovely little makeup bags. Yeah. Absolutely. I am definitely going to be squirrelling that one home. Yeah. Oh, I don't blame you. Well, you've put your name in it now. Yeah, exactly. That's what I it. thought. I'll claim it. Yeah, you've claimed it. So how much fabric am I actually going to need for the sewing box? Well, not very much at all. So, I mean, you can see all the pieces that I've cut out there. So that's about... There you go. What's that? Yeah. Uh... Well, let you, you, you're going to have some left over from your fat quarters, which oh, is Oh, definitely, yeah. Fab. 
Oh, oh, hang on. Yeah, I mean, look, this is a, what is it, a 12-inch square, so you're not, you're going to have some yeah. left over. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, the graphics are in for the, the kit that Sally Ann is using. So we're starting with the sewing box. Yes. yes Do you need the clasp? <laughs> I will yeah. shimmy it over to you. There you go. The first thing I wanted to say about the, the, kit, the kit is because um, I've fiddled around before and I expect other people at home have, that you can draw, draw off and try and make things fit. Okay. And I always sort of like worry whether things are going to fit. But because you know that goes with that set of instructions. That's it. They will fit together. Yes. <laughs> that unless, is good to know. Unless you do something crucially wrong. So that's the exciting thing about that, making this bit is you know it will fit. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. So. To start off with, the first thing you're going to need to do is it's got some templates inside. So, full size templates. Oh, nice. I don't need to worry about upscaling them at all. No. Like full size. So, you've got a body template, a lining template, a pocket, and a side template. So, you can draw, draw these off using template plastic. Yeah. Or freezer paper. Okay. Um, entirely up to you. I mean, if you're going to make lots, perhaps template plastic. Um, but freezer paper, if you're going to make two or three, fine. Brilliant. Yeah. So I've just, as you can see, mine are just all... And freezer paper, for people that don't know, um, freezer paper, basically, you can iron onto fabric, cut round, and then peel it off, and you can use it at least two or three times. Yes, so it's always, it's this shiny side yeah. works as... It's not sticky at all, is it? No, it's not going it to doesn't leave, leave a residue. No. no. Nice. Okay, good to know. So, so here are all the pieces that I've readily prepared. Prepared. So I'm going to start at the beginning with the interior pocket. Fab. Okay. Basically, I'm just going to. I've turned over. Um, that's the bottom edge, just about a quarter inch on the bottom edge, and this one twice over. And I've also um, put some interfacing in it, some lightweight interfacing. Could you use like an H640 or something? Yep. So on the actual panel itself, I've used, this is fusible fleece, but you could use H640. Um, you need both um, interfacing and the um, H640. Yep. You need two layers. Okay. So, and it does describe that in the pattern. Brilliant. Check the web. Yeah. Um, and do think about what you're using because you don't want to make it too bulky. No, I wouldn't use like a bosal foam or anything like that. No, exactly. You don't want to make it too bulky because you'll never then get it actually into the class. True. So, yeah, H640 is fine. Um, and, and would I, I mean, you haven't gone right to the edge of your, your fabrics. Can yeah. I do it sort of uh, slightly in? Yeah, so this one, as you can see, I've actually gone a quarter of an inch in with both the interfacing and the fusible fleece. You could, and I've seen this done in other places, and I did it on that one as well, you could just cut them the same and compress the edge okay. with a zigzag yeah. if you're not using... Um, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. But it's that reduces the bulk a bit yeah. anyway, doesn't it? Exactly. So this is my... Here we go. This is my lining piece. So I've got nothing on the lining piece, just the lining piece itself. Okay. And so I'm going to work out... Transferred all the... So you can see these are all the, what do you call them, notes from the pattern. All the notches. And it's good to yeah. transfer them over, isn't it? Yeah. All of the different notes. So it actually shows you where to put your pocket. So I'm just going to put a little mark on here, either side, where I want my pocket to go. The one that Sally I was working with, there's five left. There's only five left and it comes with the, uh, oh, the one that she's made up, sorry. The one that she's made up, there's only five of those left. Oh, we do love that. <laughs> That's the Henry Glass fabric. Is that, um, is that Tarry? Is it Tarry Town? Tarry Town, in the name of the fabric? Yeah. Oh, is it? Is it? I'm not you sure. You know more than me. Oh, I don't know. We'll find out. Paul's finding out. You're right. You know your Henry Glass. <laughs> I actually bought loads of Tarry um, Town this week from Sewing Street. Oh, is this launched then recently? This just been on? Yes, yeah. Oh. Oh, that's new to me. So it's I've lovely. got the whole collection. Oh, gorgeous. I had to succumb. I couldn't resist it. No, I bet. <laughs> it is stunning, isn't it? It's got yeah. a bit of a, a retro antique sort of feel to it, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it has. I love that with the rose gold clasp as well. It's gorgeous. You couldn't get it by, you, you can't get it in fat quarters. We've cut this especially for this project. So if you do want to try it out, definitely be quick, be quick. Oh, no, there's over 20 of you who want it and there's five remaining. Okay, we'll go back to the pink. 
Okay, so I'm just going to line this up with the marks for the pocket. This is my lining. So have you gone for the gingham as the outer? No, this is the inner. Okay. Yeah. This is the lining with the... So I've gone for the floral Floral outer. as your outer. Yeah. They're nice size pockets actually. If you're doing it as a little sewing box to fit um, to fit a little um, set of pins or some safety pins, a couple of bobbins or, or, or whatever you want to keep in there, it's nice to have by your sewing machine with a quick and pick in there. Right, I'm just going to base the edges in position, stop them moving around on the pocket. So I'm just going to take it up to I don't know 4.5. And is that within the seam allowance? Yeah. And there's a little sub pocket, isn't there, in there? As well, the divider seam. So I'm just oh, so I suppose it depends on what you were making it for. You could choose what it is that you're going to store in the pockets. Um, I'm presuming there are instructions of, uh, of you to divide it, but you could divide it however you yeah, wish. Yeah, exactly. You don't need a divider there if you don't want to. <coughs> Excuse me. Whoops. Yeah. yeah, all good, just making a mess. <laughs> Ignore me. Seems to be lots of treats, chocolates, cakes, all sorts from Yarn Lane's birthday leftover, which is dangerous <laughs> when you walk in and there's biscuits, cake, chocolate cake, everything. <gasps> okay, I'm trying to be good. Okay, so that's that pocket in position. So this is my outer mm -hmm. with the uh, fusible fleece and the interfacing on and I'm just going to place one on top of the other. I suppose that holds the structure doesn't yeah. it? So put some pins through the middle, stop it moving around. Right, I'm going to sew all the way around the edge, leaving approximately a four inch opening. So I'm going to use a quarter, the, the pattern actually uses a quarter inch seam. Okay. So. Lots of people multi-bind these, I'm not surprised, good idea. All right, so you're going to need to sort of try and get a nice curve on your corner. Completely off sewing related subject, but is that your engagement <laughs> ring? Is it a sa pink sapphire? What, this one? Yeah. Yes, it is. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah. I've never noticed that before. <laughs> I don't wear it very often. It's I was going to say, I don't think I've seen you wear it. No. I've thought, well, is, you, it, was that, is that your engagement ring then? Sorry? Was your engagement no, ring? No, this one is my engagement ring. Right. The blue sapphire, but this one was um, for our wedding anniversary, it's 25 years. Oh, good congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's gorgeous. Your husband's very good, isn't he? He comes easy <laughs> roadie as well. Yeah. <laughs> so if he's getting a sewing, if you're getting a sewing room in the in your in your new extension, what what does your husband get? Does he have a workroom or anything that? Oh, uh, probably a, a flat screen TV, TV with all the sports <laughs> channels. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 
again, you want to keep lift, sort of working with a needle down and trying to get a, a nice smooth curve, sort of a couple of stitches. If you've got a knee lift, it's perfect for this. Do you use your knee lift at home? Yes, all the time. <laughs> oh no, it would be uh, quite I'd fall over. It would be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Not you falling over, just to be funny. <laughs> all the way around. Okay. Just going to press those down. So that's where the opening is. Just right. And then I'm going to turn it through. Just makes it easier. Right, so clip the corners. Is that going to reduce the bulk? Yeah, so, yeah. you're just reducing the bulk out of the corners. And then I'm going to snip the curves a little bit as well. Oops. I always get scared I'm going to be snipping to my stitching. You've just yeah. got to do tiny little... You've got to have a nice point pair of uh, Pointy scissors. scissors. Yeah. Okay. Right, so I'm going to turn it through. Hi Sandy, Sandy's just said good morning, I do oh, like hi. sewing box, uh, could it also be used as a makeup bag? Yes. Oh yeah, absolutely. The case on the table, did you make that? Yes I did. Yes. <laughs> morning Sandy. Look Sandy, it's got Sally Ann's name in it as well, so she's <laughs> claimed it, it's hers. What are you going to use this for? Is this going to be a sewing uh, related or is it going to be makeup? What's it going to be? Um, not sure yet. It's lovely, isn't it? It's quite special. Not sure yet. Well. It is lovely. I think that one's now sold out, has it, Paul? The Henry glass. It's like pretty much. There's a lot of you who want it. Lost my. Oh, there it is. Don't know what these are called. Sometimes I call it a dibber. What's it called? Do you know? Dibber or a dobber. Dibber or a, or a dobber. <laughs> yeah. Something or other. <laughs> Doesn't just go call it Derek. <laughs> Derek the dobber. <laughs> Yeah, I think we all come to different things. A pointy tool. A pointy tool, yeah. Not your scissors. No. Okay. Oh, is that why you slip into the curve? So then you still get yeah. that really lovely curved edge. Yeah. So you just want to give it a little wriggle so that it sits. Okay. Give this a little bit of a press. So we've got new corners today, all galore. Oh, everyone's loving these. Do make sure you're uh, checking out on any of the kits with the fabric. They're brilliant value for money at 19.99, aren't they? Okay. Encouraging that to sit down. So that's where the opening was. I hear as well, Adele's going to get you into doing a bit of dressmaking. Do you like a pair of dungarees? <laughs> yeah, that's what she said, did she? Yeah! Uh, it was the green. You know, when you put the green dress on, I thought, I've got some green needle cord at home that I've it's just sat there ready to make some dungarees. Do you do dressmaking? Yeah, yeah. sort of in fits and starts. So okay. I told her I'd loathe the cutting out. She said, go for it. Oh, absolutely. And it's like with anything, with a big project, with your quilting, often do it on another day so that's your project is that you're just doing the cutting you don't need to worry about trying to, to to do it all in one day and it makes it a bit more manageable doesn't it yeah it just does. do your cutting on an afternoon it's done okay i'm going to put in some i'm going to put in a line of stitching about an an eighth of an inch in all the way around here so it will oh, effectively on, let's just see that Sorry, it will Robin. effectively so around here yeah so it will effectively close that opening and also down here. Okay. And part of the reason for that is to compress it slightly for, to get so it goes into the clasp. So start around here. So again, I might use a bit of a bigger stitch. Well, you're going through quite a few layers here now, yeah. aren't you? No walking foot required, though? No. No. Managing. So 
remember it doesn't have to be that neat because this is going to disappear into that clasp so don't stress too much about as long as it's about an eighth in it should be fine Oh, Julia, she just said, I love watching Sally Ann. She says, I'm no quilter. <laughs> she says, but I just love watching her sew. <laughs> well, that's very nice. That's relaxing, isn't it, watching people sew? It's funny, it's the exact opposite work of what I get at home. My boys are, oh, Mum's sewing again. I get fed up with seeing you sew, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> We've just got the pattern. Uh, but don't forget, you get the clasp as well in the pattern, which is brilliant. The uh, the Kiss Clasp sewing box it comes with the pattern and the clasp. You always get the twine. Is that two put inside the clasp? Yeah, so that yeah. sort of goes, helps you wedge in the, the fabric. fabric. Yeah, brilliant. Okay. There's my... So also on your pattern, you have some fold lines. And that helps you place the sides. I don't know if you can... I'm going to stitch these in a second. But these are going to be... So you're going to have side pieces that go in and then it sort of comes up round the side pieces. Right, can you so see that's how I'm going? This. Yes. I'm with you. So I'm going to make those in a minute. But I need to know where they attach to this piece. So... I said mark on with a friction pen. Yeah. Good idea. We had a bundle of friction pens earlier on in the first hour under £15, which is crazy. Really good value. And they are fab because you can just erase it so easily and quickly with an iron. Uh, just check that you're happy with how it erases, but on your cotton fabrics, I've found it's fine. But anyway, Sally Ann's doing these parts here around the, the, right. the, uh, the box. With me, yeah. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah. Just about. <laughs> okay. Paul's saying he can get you another colour if you want, but you're all right. You I'm fine, yeah. Okay, let's make the sides. So the sides you make, again, they're fusible fleece, a little bit of um, fusible interfacing on the outside piece. That's the lining two of those and you're going to make them to go on the sides in exactly the same way as you made the body. Yeah. Um, Geraldine, I have got your message. Right, so I've obviously thought of this as well because she's put, I'd love to make loads of these for my <laughs> nieces, but I would need more string and more clasps. Please could you tell me, Victoria, where I could get them from? Um, so we have got clasps in the show. They were on at eight o'clock in our under 15 pounds hour. They are this size. Um, what size were they? Eight, nine, and it says they're eight, nine centimetres, not 9 a.m. Nine, eight centimetres, nine centimetres. I don't know why it says 9 a.m. And 13 centimetres as well. Mm -hmm. So this is what they look like, Gerardine. So if you did want to make them, I believe that the largest one that we're looking at here is the same size as the largest one in there. So that's a bundle and it's only £8.97. Um, if you did one of them work out and, and do smaller ones, of course you can. But I think that's the only real option. Or buy multiple, because these are on their own. You don't need to get these with a um, fabric. So I did raise that with the, with the team. Uh, and therefore they put this on individually as well. So you can get this for $14.99, which includes your clasp and your twine. But you would be getting the pattern again and again. So I do know what you mean, Geraldine. So I, I, if I were you, I'd go with probably the bundle. It's cheaper. Hope that helps. So again, using a quarter inch seam. So do make sure that you stick to the quarter inch seam um, and that you follow all the markings because this is obviously you want to get to the end point and be able to fit it straight into the clasp. And if you haven't used the right seam allowance, then you're going to be... <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> going to be a bit stuck. You are. You're welcome, Geraldine. I 
don't know if you can see what I'm doing. So I'm actually physically taking it out to ensure that I get a quarter inch seam mm -hmm. rather than just sort of saying, oh, well, that's just a little stitch over or whatever okay. and trying to pivot around the corner. Yeah. I'm actually taking it out so that I make sure that it's bang on quarter of an inch. And do you just eyeball it? Do you know quarter of an inch with your eye now? No. <laughs> so what are you following on there? Is there a mark on the machine? Yeah, I set it up okay. deliberately so that it's a quarter of an inch. So. So again, same sort of process, you're going to clip off those corners. Just for your reference, Ali mm -hmm. um, we're at halfway through the hour now. Okay. So, I mean, we could do another 10 minutes on this because we've just got the other one as well that we yep. want to show the bubble purse. So much going on today. So again, I'm just going to turn it through. This is where you do need your little <laughs> pokey tool, or need to not do it on the telly. You sit in front of the television and, um, and do it not on the telly. <laughs> Although it's not too fiddly, it just takes a minute to. <laughs> to do it. I might throw it over to you in a minute. What? Yeah, I was going to say, if you pause it to me, I'll carry on doing it. Or get your dopper. What about your dabber dopper? Would that help? No, it's, it's okay. It's coming through. Some of the reason is a bit difficult is because my fusible fleece was beginning to fall off so I had to try and keep that in position at the same time to get my gist. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Just a little bit of patience. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. I've got to find it now. <laughs> there it is. Okay. I'm going to go into the corners a bit. Have you fussy cut these on purpose? The flowers <laughs> no. are literally in the perfect corner position. <laughs> there you are. So here is a, a learning opportunity. Go on. My fusible fleece has come away from my, so I didn't obviously stick it down enough. And I think because I haven't got it in the seam as well, that means that's giving it free reign to go on a little wander. <laughs> so, can yeah. you wiggle it back into place yeah. and stick it down again with your iron? Yeah, it'll be, it'll be fine. But um, yeah, so when you get to that point, make sure you stick it good because you, you've clipped away that quarter an inch. Look, yeah. there's nothing to hold it to that fabric. Ah, I'm with you, yeah. yeah. So make sure you've given it a really good fuse with your yeah. iron. Okay, so I'm going to follow the same sort of process and put in a line of stitching just about an eighth of an inch in on this side piece okay and the other one would be exactly the same so right away along the top effectively closing that opening your instructions on their own i said instructions on their own there's so much more than instructions on their own you get your clasp as well and it's a lovely rose gold clasp as well uh, so if you are multiple oh brilliant Somebody's bought 12 of these today. 12? Well done. It's one PP. Go for it, yeah. What, all the same? 12 of these. <laughs> wow. All, all the ones without the fabric. So you can choose your fabric ah. from your stash, which is good, isn't it? Because a great, a great stash buster, actually. Like you said, you don't actually need that much fabric well, no. to do it. It just makes you think of your, the sort of calf facet stuff and the Tula pink. Oh, the, yeah. Um, oh, the one with the... Alice in Wonderland. Wonderland. Yeah, the curious you and curious arranged. Fussy cut that to go in the top, couldn't oh. you? <gasps> oh, there, yes. yes. <laughs> that would look amazing, it wouldn't, would, it? wouldn't it? You could also, oh, what about classic William Morris ones or Liberty ones? They'd look stunning. They'd look oh, so Liberty expensive. would look great as well. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, let's know what you're making. <laughs> if you've got 12, let us know. Who are you okay. making for? So I won't go ahead and make the other side. I just wanted to show you one side 
and how they go in. So there's obviously you've got two sides like this and they actually fit in like this. So you actually sew them physically, hand stitch them into position. Right, so you're following the lines that you've drawn. Yes. That's it. So it would go in like this. I'm with you, yeah. Yeah, and then it would go over like that. Nice. Okay, so I just wanted to show you just a couple of stitches how you would. So we're hand stitching these in? Yeah. Okay. So I would use a really strong thread. So I've got some quilting thread here. What weight is that out of curiosity? It's still 50 weight, it's yeah. just waxed. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting, I've not seen it before. So it's just extra strong. I'll probably just cut some off actually because that's way too long. Always learning, Paul, aren't we? Okay, ordinarily I try and bury my rather fat knot in the seam, but I'm just going to go for it so you can see the stitch. So you want to come, let's get this right way around. Thank you for your patience on the phone line, there is a queue, stay there though, it's busy, busy, busy today. You want to go through the lining fabric only, and you want to use a whip stitch. So I'm just picking up. Oh, just can we come really close to this, Robin, please? Just the lining. Yeah. Yeah, into the next bit of lining. And then pulling it tight. Same, either side. So the stitches are probably about an eighth of an inch. Just over and over. So it's quite tight. Okay. Just so that you can see. So on the outside. You can't see the stitches then because they're all on the inside. Makes sense? Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, so then it's going to come up. You're going to do so along this side and along this side as well. Yeah. And then your flap's going to go over that way. I can't even see your stitching in here. And just to give you some idea, so your. Right, so this is what we're gluing. These don't. Be, these aren't stitched in. No. If you've got the HT2 glue, I think it's sold out now. Lots of people have taken it this hour. What, but the glue? Yeah, it's got a really nice long nozzle. Yeah, I said to you this morning, didn't I? Yeah. I, I was like thinking, I'm going to have to get toothpicks out, cocktail sticks. No. no but the nozzle fits straight in. Brilliant. Just, psh, but use, you know, plenty of it. Um, and the other thing I would say with the glue, I got it, you know, obviously over my fingers, and I got it over the clasp, but it just came it off. It wipes off. It came Fab. off, yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So don't sort of stress and think it's not going to come off. I just picked it off with my fingernail. It's yeah. Fine. Oh, good. That's good to know. Brilliant. Okay. So we'll move on to the other one. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. So that's the Kiss Clasp Sewing Box. Just while Sally Ann gets her next bits and bobs, let me quickly remind you. Um, the, um, yeah, the squeeze. So which one are we going on to? Sorry, the bubble clasp. Yes, the bubble clasp. Um, the bubble on its own comes with your frame, with your instructions. You've got templates in there. Uh, similar, exactly the same as, as before, it's a, not a sewing one, it's a gluing one, so if you've got that HT2 glue today, brilliant, well done. And I love this one, because look, it's got the bubble tops. It's designed for this one, it is designed for this uh, pattern, so all of your measurements there are um, all included. It's got photographs, it's got diagrams, it's got all your construction steps. It's very clear instructions actually, Sally Yeah, they're it? really good. Really good instructions. Plus, you've got all of your full-size templates included as well there for $14.99. Now, we do also have two kits with the bubble clasp. Um, we've got it with Moda, which is the one that Sally Ann's using. And we've also got it with Batik Subale. Uh, so you have two fat quarters. They've already been pre-cut for you in-house. Your clasp uh, comes with the instructions as well, but this time we've added in the fabric for just just $19.99. So for an extra fiver, basically, you get in your fabrics and it's Moda fabric as well, which is amazing. Uh, finally, the batik option. That looks really nice with the bubble clasp, actually. You can imagine this one. That's with your blue. 
um, with your Hoffman Blue, 1999. With your instructions, your clasp, you choose which one you want as your outer or which one you want as your lining. They'll both work, but I definitely think that one outer, this one lining, they look lovely. Plus, you're getting your instructions all under £20. You've added like a nice lace trim on yours, like the photograph as well, haven't you? Yes. Yeah. That looks beautiful. Got overexcited. I thought, yeah, that got a piece of lace that would be perfect for that. Yeah, yeah that is perfect. lovely. It's a nice shape, actually, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah. Does this have a pocket inside as well? No, so there's, this has got a pocket on the front. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, should we jump in? Yeah, go jump for in. it. Okay, so, first of all, same as the other one, you're going to need to actually trace off your templates. So, I've mine are all traced off onto freezer paper using exactly the same process. Okay, so you've got, and this one, you've actually got pockets. I don't know if you can see, so there's a flap oh, at the top. Oh, that's lovely. And a flap at the bottom so that's your pocket on the front and also this one has a, a gusset so this is the gusset so this is the lining mm -hmm. gusset okay we'll just take a few backward steps so i've assembled the outer for this one i'll just show you is that, that. with the fusible fleece again yeah so this is um no this this is h640 i okay, think yeah, yeah this is h640 can you sort of see that there um and with this one, I've actually compressed, so I've let it go right up to the edge, but I've compressed it a bit with a zigzag stitch. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yep. And I've also clipped. Clipped your curves. curves. Yep. Lovely. In both sections. And your gusset is um, with H640 as well. Yep. Right, okay. So, just turn it right way out. They'll feel lovely and plush then, because lots of um, yeah. pocket bags like this aren't um, with all of that uh, interfacing, and it does add a really lovely plush feel. It does. Okay, so, so your lining is it the same? Yeah. So size? my lining is the sa is the same size, and I'm going to um, sew that. And then we, the outer is exactly the same as the lining. So we're just going to put one inside the other and bag it out. Okay. Brilliant. That's the plan. <laughs> okay. So I've actually marked a midpoint. So I would pin. So it's important that you actually transfer off the midpoint and all the markings on the gusset because it's got a couple of, can you see I've got a couple oh of yeah, red dots? Yeah. yeah. And they need to meet up here. There we are. So I'm just going to clip a little bit around here. Gonna sew from that point. Do you believe it, my thread, Kelly? Oh no, <laughs> typical, typical. Just while Sally Ann's just re do you need to rethread? Yeah. Um, the bubble clasp instructions come with your clasp. They're individually. You can see that forty ninety nine. Again, it's been so busy. Everything's really busy. The squeeze clasps, don't forget about those as well. I know we're not necessarily having a chance to, to demonstrate those today, but these are great for glasses cases. Um, we've got it in this lovely hydrangea mode of blue, which is gorgeous, and it comes with a purple lining, and it comes with your squeeze frame clasp as well. All of the fabrics. Another fabric I've not seen before. I love that moda. It's gorgeous. Plus, it comes with your frame. Your purple lining is going to look gorgeous with this. And how perfect is that for your glasses? Really lovely gift for somebody. Um, that's plenty of fabric. I mean, more than enough. You're going to have loads left over to play about with. And then, once you've got the instructions, it obviously, um, you would probably need some more squeeze frames. Or you could put a little zip. You could put like a, a flap with a magnetic snap on it. You can adapt it as you wish to make more of these. £17.99, which is great value. Seeing as how much is the instructions on its own? 
instructions and clasp on its own is £12.99. So for a few more pounds, you can get all that fabric as well, which is brilliant. Just £12.99. Thank you. Back to you, Sally Ann. Okay. show today lots of tips from both guests really enjoyed seeing the demos that's a lovely message from Fletcher mm -hmm. Merseyside it's been a lovely day still got another hour still with Adele don't worry okay. right going around this curve do you kind of have to ease it yeah I don't think I've got it quite in the right place but we're going to ignore that so just so that you can see the different techniques so I've yeah I've got I would use a knee lift at home and a shorter stitch. So this is not going to be the best lining, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, looks like I overshot the, the lining. one side of the gusset in so you're just going to put the other one in in the same manner match up your dots yeah try and match up your dots i suppose that you can put plenty of pins in to keep this all in position can't you yeah or you best to pin center either end and then just ease it on the machine yeah so i actually cut it that time whereas when i actually made that i cut it as i went under the machine okay but I don't know whether I can do that. So I think I'll just go with the best I can manage. <laughs> Still going to clip this a little bit. We've got about five minutes. Okay. Oh, Geraldine, that's lovely. She said, it's been so lovely to have the time to watch today. I've been so busy for weeks. Aww. Oh, thank you for your message. I'm pleased that you've managed to spend this morning with us. Yeah, it's been lovely. It's been lovely having you. Yeah, it has <laughs> been lovely having you, Geraldine. Thanks for all your messages. Okay. Get you around the corner. What are you trimming here? Just a few clips into the corner. So this is the gusset. going to match up this side yep believe it or not <laughs> <laughs> I think you just got to take it steady haven't you yeah. going around you don't need to race around at the stop and, and like you, you've done pivot around yeah okay there we go okay so that looks like your gusset Okay, so if you turn this right wrong side out and put both the right sides together. So your lining is the right way around. Yeah. So I would if I was home give this a little bit of a press and also a little bit of a trim so that it falls the best way you can get it. We've got a couple of minutes, Sally Ann. So 
this would be good to clip as well, wouldn't it, actually, because you've got quite a few layers around the top. Yes, if you've got some of those clover clips. Yeah. Yeah, they would be excellent. Sort of try and match up your seams. Did you leave a gap in your lining? Do you leave a gap in the lining to turn through? Yes, yeah, so I, that would be the next bit. So oh, okay. So what you would do is you would actually sew, so just put one more pin there and I'll stop it wandering around. So you'd leave a gap of about a couple of inches okay. and then you'd sew all the way around. So sewing the two pieces together right? and then going down into the V and up all the way around this way, down into the V, up and then back to the beginning and then you turn it through just like you would with bagging out. Yeah. So then you've got a nice clean edge to put into your clasp. And when you're gluing it, um, do, you, do you put it and then leave it to get tacky or how does it work with the glue? So I did it sort of straight away really. So okay. this is the glue. I won't, don't worry, I won't get it out and waft the fumes. But here's the glue. I, mean, I was really impressed by the glue. So the yeah. glue just goes straight. So you do it one side at a time. So Just bring it towards you. That's yeah. It. Thank you, you do it one side at a time. Mark the midpoint and the sides. And then you, you can see you can actually put the nozzle oh, right in. Oh, fantastic. So it's not messy, is it? No. So you can just go all the way around, putting the nozzle right in as far as you can, and then back up the other side. And then grab hold of your edge and push it in. Brilliant. And then do the other side. Nice. Yeah. Thank you ever so much. Thank you. It's been a lovely day. Oh, are we going to see you before Christmas? Yeah, I'm back next week. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> there you go. Uh, do you know what you're doing next week? Um, I'm doing a quilt and some of my own patterns. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Look forward to it. Thank you ever so much, Sally. It's been a lovely day. Um, right. Shall we have a quick recap on everything? Because we've got a lot of kits, haven't we? We'll go back to the KISS clasp. So the sewing box that Sally Ann has made up, this one. Yes. It has sold out. We've also got it in the pink, which is the one that Sally Ann was demonstrating with. In this kit, you get your instructions, your clasp, your twine, and two fat quarters in the lovely pinks. And that will create your gorgeous kiss clasp sewing box. But we've thought of lots of different uses for that. Little treats, you could put little hair bits and bobs, you could put uh, makeup in there, little toiletry on the go bag. How do you stop the top of the glue sticking to the tube once it's been opened, please, Sally Ann? It Does it ever seep out? No. No, it didn't. It, I went. I've used it and put it away. It's clean. It's fine. And I just got it out then, and it was fine. There you go, Geraldine. There we go. Oh. Fine. Sometimes glue gets very messy, and I know what you mean. It, it is a little bit messy, on. but it's not crazy. It's a bit white before, maybe. No. Yeah. Uh, so that's the pink colourway. We do also have the pattern on its own. So if you've got plenty of fabric in your stash, um, you don't even need two fat quarters. I mean, it's, it's it, within a 12 inch square. I know that Sally Ann um, managed to get it. The instructions on their own uh, come with the clasp. Don't worry, it comes with the clasp. So if you have got fabric in your stash, nice to add a little bit of ribbon um, and buttons and embellish it. Lots of people multi-buying. Go on, Sally, what are you thinking? Nothing, I was just thinking a great place to store buttons as well. Yeah. Just imagine opening it and having loads of little coloured buttons. It reminds me of, you know, the little chocolate box on Matilda? Obviously, that's a, a wooden box, but that's what it reminds me yeah. of. I can just imagine it on the side with a little posh chocolate yeah. in it, or little buttons. You know, they're, just as, they're just special treats as well, aren't they? Um, yeah, Christine, you're right. That is the glue that Lisa Lamb recommends for the clasp um, bags. It is the same glue. Okay. So that's your kiss clasp options. We also have your bubble. Now the bubble, sorry, or bauble, it's called, isn't it? The bauble. So the bauble comes in two kits, also on its own. We've got the mode, which is the one that uh, Sally was just demonstrating with. It's got the lovely red floral. It's got the cream lining. I say that, you can do whichever way you want. You get a fat quarter of each. You also get your bauble clasp with the lovely little pom-poms. And you get your twine. It gets you have your full size templates, instructions, all included for nineteen ninety nine. The batik option is this one. It comes with your frame, your twine, your instructions, your templates, and two fat quarters of batiks for nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence. You can get it on its own if you wish. 
Um, we're just running all of these quite quickly, but they all are available and the leave is on the website. Just a quick recap. Um, the Zaka workshop instructions are really nice and thorough. They've got plenty of diagrams as well as full photographs. Look at that. Really, really great instructions and full size templates, which you can use time and time again. You do get a clasp as well to make the first one and the twine in there at 14 99 Finally, we haven't done a demo on it, but I feel like we might have done a demo before. Um, I, I'm not entirely sure, don't quote me on that, but we do have also the squeeze clasp glasses case. Great for gift ideas. This has been very popular. Um, with your lovely Moda hydrangea print and the purple lining instructions and your squeeze clasp, $17.99. Also comes with a different variation of fabrics. You could get it with the Anna Maria Horner bundle. And that comes with two fat quarters cut in house, ready to go. Two lovely prints with your instructions and your squeeze clasp, all for £19.99. I do love them all. I can't choose. Let us know which one you go for. They're all very, very popular, aren't they, Paul? All very, very popular. Uh, we have instructions by themselves. If you do want the uh, instructions on their own, you still get your clasp as well. But if you've got your own fabrics maybe to try out, go for it. Just £12.99 for your squeeze clasp instructions, templates, and uh, and also you get the clasp. Okay, everything is there underneath us. Thank you ever so much, sally -Ann. Thank see you. Yes. Uh, do not go anywhere because did you see the address, the dress that Adele was wearing? The gorgeous sparkly jersey jump dress with the big princess seams and pockets. That is coming up. It's another sew over it pattern. Very, very popular indeed already on pre-order. We're going to see the demonstration with Adele right after this. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hello, I'm Adele Rowland. You may have seen me on shows already. My passion is in dressmaking. I've been sewing now for about four years, completely self-taught. I've actually learnt a lot from the mistakes that I've made. In my normal day job, I'm actually a secondary school science teacher. And one of the things that dressmaking has brought is the conversation starter with my students about the dresses, the tops, everything that I've made. I have two young daughters and a wonderful husband as well. One secret or surprising fact about me is that I actually have a silver world medal for Irish dancing. 
My dressmaking tip, top tip is, Always remember your notches. Don't skip that part with dressmaking because those notches are very important to line up all of your seams. I can't wait to bring more dressmaking projects to you and get more people sewing. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hello, welcome back, welcome back. I can't believe it's 12 o'clock already. Where did the time go? Uh, we're back with lovely Adele. Very excited about more so over at Patterns. Um, and this one, the Heather dress is a beauty. I know how many people are going to love this because it's so easy to wear. It's going to suit every, uh, every size. It's going to be great for loads of different fabrics. In fact, I would multi-bar and kits on this one. I'd make it in a sparkly jersey. I'd also make it in like a plaid or the, the dog tooth check, um, in a plane, it would look lovely. I love this one as well. I wouldn't be able to choose, so just get multiple. Now, first thing you need is obviously the pattern. Uh, as always, with the Sew Over It patterns, two different sizes to choose from. This goes right from size six to 20. Uh, we then have a second size range from 18 to 30, but this is fantastic. It says Confident Beginner, we will talk to Adele about the difficult part. It's got princess seams at the front and at the back and hidden pockets as well in the front, which are a gorgeous feature of this dress. Looks amazing in the jersey. Great over leggings, nice with the jeans. But also, if you're going out for, for Christmas meals, Christmas parties, got a bit of sparkle in some of these fabrics, so it'll be perfect for that as well. Just £17. Looks like you could do it with a, a lighter weight jersey. I think we've got some of the lighter weight ones as well. A um, bit more casual, isn't it? So it's £17. I've got a feeling you'll use this pattern time and time and time again. It's going to be one that you bring out. Oh, whenever you see your new favourite jerseys, this is going to be another one that you'll bring out to, to do again. So that's the first size range, 6 to 20. Sizes 18 to 30 are here as well. Now, on version 1, um, which, oh, so version 1 and version 2 are just different colour placements. So you could do panelling if you so wish. Yeah, oh. Ooh, exciting. Okay, so um, version one or version two, depending on whether it's 115 wide or um, 140 wide. If it's 140 wide, for the largest size in this pattern, you need two metres of the first colour and two metres of the second. Um, but have a look on the back of the pattern and it will tell you all of your different sizes. For the larger, for one colour, oh, you need to turn your microphone on. Sorry. For the uh, for version one again, which is all one colour, which is what Adele's wearing, uh, you'll need two and a half metres or three metres if you're doing, uh, if you've got narrower fabric um, and three and a half metres again for the narrower fabric, but only three metres for 140 wide. Two colours, you obviously need a bit more. Um, so, right, we've also got a lot of fabric to get through. Let's do the lovely pink that Adele's been wearing all day. This is so lovely. And it's got the, the lurex running through it, but it's not itchy. In no. fact, it's the opposite because the reverse of this is fleece. It's super, super soft on the inside against your skin. It's gorgeous. Now that's a two meter bundle. Enough to do, I think then that's the largest size in yes. the... Um, what uh, is that in one colour if you were to do it in one colour uh, so out. in the one colour i haven't got my measurements with me oh no here we go look so in the one colour um 140 you, wide yeah 142 meters yes brilliant so you've got enough to do up to a size 20 in one colour brilliant 
$29.99. If you do need more, have we got any of these by the half metre? We'll have a look and see if we've got it by the half metre as well, because look at that. It might have all gone into bundles, to be fair. I know how popular this is. It's super, super sparkly. It has got stretch to it. Oh, yes, brilliant. We've got it by the half metre as well. Oh, we said no. Oh. 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 But if you do want it, that's two metre bundle. I suppose you can always multiply the bundles if you do need more. Just be aware that it will come cut into two metre bundles. Oh, the gold. So this is like a nude colour with a gold glitter running through. Isn't it beautiful fabric, Adele? Yes. I, as soon as I got this fabric through the post, I did instantly think of like Christmas Day. Yes. So you want a little bit of spark, a little bit of special, but you, you're running around eating chocolates, yeah, yeah. mince pies, and it's just got the comfort with it as well and like you say the inside is fleecy yeah i've got an um i've got this fabric actually in a jumper as well yeah brilliant so it is really versatile oh it's lovely two meter bundle this would be really nice for for loungewear actually i'm thinking like fleecy bottoms <gasps> they fleecy could be my christmas pajamas absolutely oh these right. would be lovely for That's christmas it. pajamas so. <laughs> oh they would be absolutely perfect wouldn't they 29.99 loungewear but also this dress is gorgeous it'd be perfect for this 29.99 um don't go by the picture on the web. It doesn't do it justice. It's absolutely stunning and it's lovely in the gold. We do also have the the one that Adele's working. Oh, sorry. No, no. I've got the jewel colours. That we'll come back gorgeous. to that. This one is lovely. It's navy. It's a navy blue and it's also got the silver lurex running through. This again has got the fleecy. Fleecy against your skin. It's gorgeous. $29.99. That's like a night sky, isn't it? Twinkling away. That's going to look beautiful under the lights on Christmas Day. Okay, finally, in the sparkly lurex, we've got the ochre, the gold. And this, again, has got silver uh, sparkles running through. Is it, how is it to sew with? Because it's quite weighty. Yep, but it went through the sewing machine perfectly. Okay. And it's got stretch, but not too much. Um, so it's really easy to go through a normal machine. Great, brilliant. Twenty nine ninety nine for two meters. If you are multi buying, it will come pre cut into two meter bundles. Don't forget. So Adele's doing an option where you can uh, mix and match and do a bit of colour paneling. Yes. Okay, so the one that Adele's working with is this one, and you've got it just with a plain black as well. Yeah. This is lovely. Uh, still get got a bit of stretch, but not not too much stretch to no, it. No, and this is lighter than the other fabric. Um, it is a thinner one. And I think this makes a jersey dress look smarter. Yeah. So you could wear this for the office yeah. or for a more formal place or event. But it's and lovely. because those printer seams are there, yep. with a check like this, I think that was a really sort of clever idea actually doing the colour panelling because would you have to think about placement of pattern? Yeah, or I think if you did do both, it would, it would go out because... Even though you've got the dog tooth, you've got a green, a, like a dark green grid, really, running yeah. through it. So it would look a bit off if you had your princess seams not quite matching. Right, okay. Twenty nine ninety nine, and that is for a two metre bundle. So you have got enough there to be able to do um, the whole dress yes. with that bundle. But if you wanted to have a go with what Adele's doing, then you could add plain black jersey with it. And this is so soft, isn't yes. it? This is fleecy on the back, but not as thick as the other. No. It's still suitable <gasps> to go alongside this other fabric. Oh, I love that. This is your <laughs> soft touch jersey. It's £6.99, half metre, by the half metre. How much are we going to need then? Just uh... Uh, So it says on the Sorry. pattern, it's fine. Um, the colour. If you're doing two colours. So colour two, two. Um, a metre and a half. Yeah. If it was 1.15 metres wide, if it's... Um, if it's 140 wide, then it's 1.3. Yeah, so a metre and a half still. Yeah. Great. Um, and for the larger size, colour two, 1.8 metres, so two metres for, for yeah. both width. Brilliant. Thank you. Can we please do my favourite, which is this one? And I'd add this with the black as well. I really like this. It's a grey soft knit. It's stunning. I I'd like a big... Um, like chile coat with this because it's um or do you know like a a wrap sort of shawl style jacket that's lovely 
$15.99. That's gorgeous. And again, it has got stretch. It's got a stretch to it. Probably a bit more stretchy actually. Yeah, than more this. stretchy than the others. But still will go perfectly for this dress. Yeah, absolutely. Fab. Uh, we've got two other patterned ones which we'll go through and then we'll jump into demo. But there are loads of the plain soft jerseys that are only six ninety nine and a half metre. There's navy, mustard, the uh, the wine colour, the white as well. They'd all look lovely with these. Paul, he's on it. He's like, I like that one, I like that one with that one, this one with this one. This is lovely, isn't it? I, I think he told you he liked this one, didn't yes, he? Yes, yeah. And I know this is quite strange Go to on. think about, but... My daughters have really got into Mean Girls again. Yeah. Like the oh, 90s. Is it a new... It's all come back. Oh, so good. So the 90s sort of fashion of checks and blocking is all back in. Oh, brilliant. And they like, she, she calls it preppy. Yeah. yeah. Preppy. I know exactly yeah. what she means, though. Yeah. But yeah, like little check skirts. Um, but this dress would look amazing. So if you've got like a teenage daughter or something one like that. Yeah that you want to sew for, I think that would be the colour. Like you said as well, it's same with the check. This is quite smart, isn't it? If you want yes. to make it for the office or for a yep. smarter occasion, that one's really nice. We do also have the floral. Um, this one feels really plush, really plush indeed. It's got a beautiful flower print on it. It's a two metre bundle for 29 Sorry if that's strobing your screen slightly. It's quite um, a small print, but it's, it, it doesn't strobe your eyes in real life. It's just on the telly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, so we're going to be doing option two. What is that, sorry? Oh, I've got loads. Do you want, do you want to whiz them through them all now? He's going to whiz them through whilst we're chatting to Adele, but all of those are the soft touch jer jerseys. In fact, I was going to say six ninety nine. That one, for some reason, is five thirty nine for the um, for the navy. Just go for it. Get what you can. Yes. Right, so this is option two. Yes, so we're doing option two, which is the same um, pattern, but we're colour blocking, okay. which I think gives a really nice feature to it. So it's got princess seams, so I've got it on. So princess seams on the front, where our pockets are in the seams, and then there's princess seams on the back. Does that okay. mean there's no bust starts again? No bust starts again. Um, Princess seams are a little bit tricky to do, so that's why, again, it's a confident beginner pattern. But it shouldn't worry you if you've never worked with jersey before. Please don't, please don't be worried. So let me talk about what princess seams are. What we've got here is our two panels, okay? Now, when I lie them next to each other, the lines match up. But I need to sew right side to right side and this is where the worry comes from because here I'm trying to put a curve in that way into a curve going the ah, opposite way. Okay. So our notches are so important here because they will help us to distribute that fabric in the right places along this seam. So make sure you transfer all those notches of the pattern. Yes. And there's a variety of ways that you can transfer notches. You can do, um, like I do, a little snip in, or you can make a little triangle on the outside, um, a little tailor tacks, or you could get a, a pen and just mark it, or some chalk, like a chalk pen. You can mark that down there. So be very careful when you're putting this seam in because you are putting curves in the opposite way. And the fabric will try not to fight against you, but it would just feel like it's wrong that it's going in that way. Um, again, I'm going to do it on the normal sewing machine. It doesn't need an overlocker because um, the fabric won't fray. But if you want to finish your seams off with an overlocking stitch, you can. So you've gone right back to the other side as well and started pinning there. Is that yeah. so that you don't stretch it and then yes, end up Yes, I with... don't want to stretch it and then end up with a, yeah. a large amount here. So I get my sides. I've already made my notch here. There's a notch just there that I'm coming up to now that I'll also make sure. And then I'll just keep pinning along. So again, I'm going to use a zigzag stitch. So there is a zigzag or a lightning bolt. I did this one completely on my sewing machine. I didn't use my overlocker at all. Oh, wow. So, so don't be afraid of jersey fabric no. if you haven't got an overlocker. No. And then after I've done the back, we'll talk about the pockets because I think the pockets are the best. 
Is there a saying place. that's from office to bar or something? It's doing Paul's head in. He's saying there's a saying <laughs> that goes, there's a phrase that everyone uses about wearing it to the office and then wearing it to the bar. Oh, I don't, I don't know. know. But just as uh, Sally Ann was leaving, she said, Adele, I've just realised I've got your dress that you've got on now. I've made that three times. Oh, wow. And she's made it in different colour fabrics, different blocking and everything. And then her husband was like, yeah, yeah. I do recognise it. Oh. <laughs> there we go. So it's the, and also, I must say, behind Adele is the dress. You've just finished that in the last show, Yay, haven't you? Yay, I finished it. I so. know. In the last hour, Adele has finished it in my size again. Yes. <laughs> I said to you, oh, you should put it on and then see if anyone notices that you've changed. Yeah. <laughs> we had a quick turnaround. I will try it on after the show, though, definitely. So... Now, because, again, I've got lots of pins in here, but as I take the pins out, the fabric will want to move. So don't be afraid to take this seam slowly. And each time you take a pin out, just readjust the fabric to make sure those seams and those notches and everything else is lined up. You don't sew over pins, Adele? No, I'm too scared. I once sewed over a pin, by accident this was, on my overlocker, and it snapped <gasps> the blade. Oh no, yeah, pins in an overlocker are no-no, aren't they? Yeah. So now what I sometimes do is I tack it on my machine and then take it to the overlocker because I'm too frightened. So let's just sew this big seam and then we'll look at the front. Now, the pattern, when it comes out of the packet, the pattern pieces do look a bit of a strange shape, okay? So don't be alarmed thinking, oh my goodness, what on earth is going on here? It all comes together beautifully. There we go. There we are. And then just, where have I put my scissors? There we go. Okay. And there we've got the back completed. Right, so that's okay. not too scary. No, no, it's and just And I think really princess lights, princess seams are really, again, very flattering, aren't really they? Really flattering. Um, they fit really nicely. Now, if you need to think about a bust adjustment, um, again, I would always go the larger size and then grade down into where you want it to be. But there's ample room around my waist and around my hips. Okay. And this is a size 12, which is my, my usual size that I wear. So, right, that's the back done. And now we're going to talk about the front. So the front is a little bit trickier because of these pockets. Okay. Yeah, because they're hidden, aren't they? Yeah. And they're good sized pockets. I love a pocket, I do. They're deep pockets. Deep pockets and just at the right height as well. Because you don't want a pocket that's all the way down here and then you're walking around like that. I kind of just, yeah. just want to sit it's with cash. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So one thing actually, before I do take this pattern piece away, there is a pattern marking that we need to transfer over. And that's a little circle. And that is where the pocket is going to meet with this side panel. Ah, okay. okay, make sure you mark that there. So I've just marked it with a pin today, but you can tailor tack it, chalk it, whatever way you normally do your pockets, okay? So the front does look very much like the back my front panel. Now with this check, what I would recommend is that you get the line in the middle. Okay. Okay. So just be very mindful when you're folding your fabric over that you fold it on one of these lines and then everything will be even on either sides. Good tip. Okay. So this is what's going to fit. This is, is the side panel. Sorry, yeah? is it actually the same as the back? Or is it a different? No, it's size? a different one. I'm sorry. I meant it looks like it's, the same no, shape. No, it does. I was it wondering. Does. It is a no, different A piece different of that. pattern piece because the back comes down here, whereas this front, we've also got the pocket ah, to include. Right, okay. And then this is the piece that has the side panel and, and the, pocket. the pocket. So you can see the shape of the pocket there. And then this is our side panel. Right, okay. with you. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to match up there. And then I've got my two circles, they marry up. And I've also got a notch there that are going to marry up. Yeah, that looks like that can fit. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to sew this. Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to sew any of the rest of the seam. Okay. Because what we're then going to do is put the pocket bag on 
and then we will finish that seam off. Do you leave your pocket, your pattern pieces on your fabrics until, yes, until the sewing I point? come to do it because um, I, I always worry that I forget what one piece looks like and then yeah. I don't know if it's on the right side or the wrong side. So I always leave my pattern piece on until I get to that piece. Okay, right, so I'm going to match up my little dots. That's the dot that I'm going to get to. That's my dot place. And then my notches. So let me find where my notches are. My notch is there. Pin up my notch. And then I'm going to pin it the other end as well. Do you remember we said earlier to make sure that it doesn't all go out? There we go. And then pin along. So we're going to do it on one side, then do it on the other side, and then that's the dress done. Had you seen the Heather dress sleeves. before? Pardon? Had you seen the Heather dress before? Yes, before this. I actually made it two years ago. Oh, right. No, it was about three years. Well, when they first released this yeah. um, pattern, I think it must be three or four years ago now, I made it yeah. out of almost like that one that you said this was one. fabulous. Mine had my more I of a brown that. tinge on. Yeah. I wore it so much that I wore it out. <laughs> it like... <laughs> It had worn too much by the time I, I finished with it. This is what I love about patterns, is that you keep them in your stash. Years later, you can say, oh, I remember that pattern. I made that years ago. I can make it again, different fabrics. And just, especially ones that you know fit you very well, like this, yeah. for example. I want this in every fabric going. I <laughs> love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I think the thing is, people are worried that, oh, you've got to keep up with certain trends or styles. If you really look at it, it's the same dress, maybe just a different fabric. Yeah. So please don't think, oh, I'm only going to be able to, be able to wear it this winter and then it will look out of fashion. I've never considered fashion as being something. I think you make your own fashion. Absolutely. And I think these these um, designs, yeah. they are completely timeless, aren't they? Absolutely. I think they're good for any age. I think uh, they're really good for uh, lots of occasions, lots of different fabrics. You can really have fun with those princess seams and colour blocking. But also, they really aren't going to go out of fashion. No. You always need tops and dresses exactly. like this in your wardrobe. Exactly. Everyone needs comfortable clothes, yeah. don't they? So what I've done, look, is I've sewn this front panel, but I haven't sewn it completely on. So I've got... Yeah. I don't, there we go. You've got half off, okay? Now, what we're going to do is put our pocket bag on, okay? So our pocket bag looks like a normal pocket bag shape, and that is going to fit onto this, okay? So we're putting the pocket bag on before we put all this seam back together to then do it all up. So let's just make sure I've got this the right way round. There we go, is that the right way round? No, like that, so it's the other one. There we go, because you want right sides to right sides. Yep, and then I'm just double checking on my instructions because I don't want to do this wrong. Yes. So lovely instructions with lots of diagrams, aren't they, as well? Yeah. Absolutely. Um, I love a diagram. Absolutely love a diagram. Just making sure I've got this right. Oh no, let me t make sure this is right. So the first thing I'm going to do is sew that pocket onto that side seam and then it's going to join with there. Just double checking because I don't want to get it wrong in front of everyone. Oh look at everyone on the bottom of the screen. Well done all these people who are purchasing today. Oh. Lovely. It's brand new in, brand new in today. If you managed to get it, well done. Uh, if you've got any of the other sew over it patterns, I'm sure, like Adele, you'll be a great fan. Really clear, really thorough, lovely quality pattern paper, really good instructions. And just real clothes, clothes you're actually going to wear and enjoy. I love that. Yeah. I know when I first started dressmaking, I did um, make all the fancy sort of tea dresses, big circle skirts. But what I found was I didn't have occasions to wear them. Yeah. Whereas something like this, I know I'll be able to wear it every day. Yeah. So have you got jeans on with it or leggings or what yeah, have you got on you with could. it? Yeah, you could. I've got my tights on. Yeah. Today, but you could put leggings with it. You could put jeans with it. Um, anything. That's what's so versatile about this. I keep putting my scissors down. I need to put my scissors over here. Okay. Right. There we are. So, I've put my pocket on. Now my pocket is going to join here, OK? 
okay. I'm going to double yep. check that I've got this right. Hold on. I'm really sorry, Vicky. No, don't be silly. It's, it's good to things. just triple check. This is, no matter how many times you make it, it's good to have your diagrams to the side of you just so you are triple checking, especially with the pocket bags like this. Um, they are more tricky, aren't they? Yes, definitely. Right. Are you in the right, right way? I think so. Oh, this has made me all flustered. No, <laughs> have a good look. Let me sorry. just recap. It's all good. Um, the patterns, we have two different size options. We've got size 6 to 20. This is what I love as well. Real clothes for real women and real body shapes. Right up to size 30 today, which is fantastic. So inclusive of, of, of all sizes. So this is size 6 to 20. Um, this is 18 to 30. Absolutely brilliant. It's going to suit all shapes and sizes. And you can make it to fit you in your favourite um, fabrics. Oh, Amanda, right, we're going to watch this bit and demystify it as well. So don't worry, because she says, I've made this dress. She says, I've really struggled with the pocket. So yeah. we'll have a good look at it. Don't worry, it is more tricky. It's not necessarily for a beginner uh, dressmaker. But if you have confidence, and don't worry, you've always got an picker there at the ready. If it goes wrong, it's fine. You can then just re-sew it. Um, yeah. The fabric that Adele is working with is this lovely check with the dog tooth pattern. It's got that green check running through it. As Adele said, when you're cutting it out, make sure that uh, central line is running through the center. There's some lovely fabrics you're gonna be able to use um, for, this, for, for this project. In fact, there's only two bundles of this left. Only two remaining if you do love that one. And if you do want to do it as Adele has with the jersey black for your color blocking, go for it. That's 6.99 and a half a meter. Or is it not? Yeah, six and a half metre. Your lovely organic soft touch. I don't know why the other ones have gone lower. The other ones, for some reason, the navy, you've got at five pounds something. So, but the, the black is six ninety nine. Um, right, do you know where you are now? Okay, Dad? sorry about this that. This is for Amanda, who um, struggled yeah. with the pocket as well. Yep, yeah, so sorry about that. Don't I put sorry. it on right wrong side to right side and i should have put it on right side to right side you did say so, that though you yeah, said it needs to be right side together oh. do as you say not as you do yeah oh, me okay was it the black that the um you weren't sure which was the right side of it yeah it was fine it was and because what's going to happen is we're going to manipulate it so that this then folds over and becomes the pocket bag okay, okay? so i've done right sides to right sides now what i'm going to do is almost fold it over so let me put it from this angle i suppose you've got to imagine what it's going to look like when it's finished yes that's exactly what i just had to do i had to think right where would that bit go there so then i've got these parts matching up okay ah, yeah so these are then going to be right side to right side and that will be your pocket bag that will be my pocket bag okay yeah so i'm going to pin this now Remember where we put that little dot? Yeah, We I are do. then going to join up three parts there, okay? So that's where, let me double check. So that will be in my pocket bag. And then we're going to be sewing from here. I'm trying to get it round. Right. Okay? And then that will become in case. Where am I finishing my stitch? So. If I, yeah, there we go. If I hold it so that it's finished, there we go. That's what it's going to look like. Yeah. Ah. So that is what it's going to look like. Okay. There will be our pockets. So imagine that's the finished part. I'm going to flip this so that we can see what's yeah, underneath yeah, it. Okay. Yeah. So as I flip that over, I've got my pocket bag there. Uh -huh. And this is the point which we measured. We. Um, Put our marker on that's where our circle we is start, that's where and start that is where the three points match up okay so if you want to look at this dress here look i've got three points i've got my front my side pocket and my pocket bag yeah. all matching up in a three right okay right so sorry about that little bit of don't be daft a lot. I think you're brilliant. You're so clear and thorough and it, it makes sense, everything you're doing. Sometimes, you know, I can watch you thinking, right, I just couldn't do this. This, I, I could do. Even if you get it faster, it's fine. Because then you just stop, <laughs> break it down, go back. Where yeah, and that's it. Um, an unpicker, have it to hand and sometimes pinning it and then 
checking that it's in the right place by flipping it over. If we do that, actually, that might help. So once I've pinned this... Amanda, is this helping? Is this demystifying it a bit for you? Did you get it in the end? I know she says she's made this dress already, so I'm presuming that you got it. Okay, going around like this. And then we're going to go up here as well. Right, so I've pinned it. So let's see if it's worked. And it has. There we go. And there is my pocket bag on there. Okay. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah. So, so you that's see? Right. And then this seam will have one, two, three panels meeting at this one point here. Okay. okay. Do I need to do some reverse stitching or is there anything I, I need to do? I would. Yeah. I would. I would reverse stitch here just to stabilise it and make sure that that stays um, secure because you don't want it coming away. That is going to be a stress point because yeah, yeah. you're going to be putting your hands in your pocket or whatever. That will be a stress point there. So let me go over again. I've got my pocket bag now. I've already sewn this seam here. Flip it over and we're doing the round part of my pocket bag now. Okay. We're going to go round here. Okay? Yeah. Right. Oh, well, Amanda said yes, it seems clearer now, thanks. Good, thank you. Sorry, I, I put it wrong side to wrong side. Okay, so we just go round. Again, just it's a zigzag stitch. There we go. And I match my notch up. And then we're going to end at that point of three. There we go. Just back stitching, and there we go. And this is where a press will really come into it. Okay. Wine is almost sold out in the soft jersey. Let me just show you that colour. That would look nice with this actually as well, wouldn't it? Yeah. I suppose you could put that with any of them. So I'm just going to press this, and then we've done this seam, and we can actually have a go at the other one, so that we can have a double try. <laughs> Yes. We could do it, we could do it. Five pound thirty nine and a half metre for the wine colour that is about to sell out. Would look nice with, with lots of these actually. What about that one? These two together. Quite Christmassy with feeling. Oh yeah. And this is the soft touch again. It's lovely. Are you all ready for Christmas? No. <laughs> No, I, I, honestly, this year it's just crept up so fast. I am really the most. I started. I think I bought a present in um, in Ashby de la Zouche, In fact, actually, oh, you came my way. I did come your way. Um, this was this was a couple of months ago now, and I felt so smug that I'd started my Christmas shopping, and that's where it ended. So, oh, no. but did you go to the fireworks last night in in Conkers? Conkers. Yes. Oh, brilliant! Yeah, it was lovely. Um, we had a little mulled wine, a hot dog. It was just really nice. I've done my ABBA tribute show there before. Oh, it's lovely there because they have the little um, sort of uh, canopy yeah, outside, don't it. they, with the, the steps stage. going up. Yeah. yeah. Mm, you have to tell me when you're there next. <laughs> okay. So what I'm also going to do is I'm going to tack these side seams together. Okay. So I'm going to tack the front, the pocket and the side together okay and the reason why I'm doing that is like we did earlier I want this to act as one piece of fabric so once I've tacked it then when I put the front to the back everything is already lined up so there we've got our lovely pocket Go, look at how my hand goes down <laughs> so good pocket okay so I'm just going to tack this when you say tack do you lengthen your stitch how do you do it so a no. tack stitch is a lengthened stitch, but what I would do is just a line of stitching, but within mm. the seam allowance. So okay. the seam allowance is one and a half. I would take it just to one. Right, so you're leaving them in, they won't come out. No. They're going to stay in, but it just ensures that that stays all together, those layers stay together. Okay. Okay. There we go. And we've got our front panel with our pockets together amazing there we go right let's, let's go let's do the other side we can we do can it we can do this so again i've got my point which we are going to sew up to that's going to match with the point on the other side you can feel which is the right and wrong side with this can't yeah, you yeah one side is furry yeah. well right. i say furry but fluffy 
and soft. <laughs> um, but sometimes your eyes deceive you, don't they? And you're like, oh. But it's easy to work out. So I've done the point that I'm going to sew up to, my notch, the end, and then I'm going to just pin everywhere else. Again, with it being a pin princess seams, they do kind of want to fight against each other. Okay. So is that what a princess seam is, when there's a convex against a concave curve, yes. basically? And then it gives you that 3D structure. Yes. And that's what I love about sewing. Like, all of this was just flat piece of fabric, and we're going to make something 3D out of it. Yeah. Something so fabulous. Okay, so I'm going to start at that spot and then go all the way back up. There we go. Have you been dress making a long time, Adele? So I started, so... Isabel is now nine, so gosh, I started about eight years ago. Right. When um, she was a little baby and I made dresses for her, little pinafore yeah. dresses. Oh, cute. So that was cute. And then um, my dad passed away sadly and I needed something to keep my mind occupied. Yeah. And sewing came into it. Yeah. So I set myself a New Year's resolution to make my own wardrobe yeah. and I've never looked back. Oh, brilliant. So, so everything you wear virtually is... Virtually everything. Yeah. Um, Have you ever made a pair of jeans? So I've made a pair of jeans and I found it really difficult because yeah. um, they were brilliant when I first made them, but denim shrinks. Right. And then I got really annoyed that yeah. they were too tight. Or was it that I ate too many mince pies? I can't remember. <laughs> um, so jeans are the one thing that I do buy. That's really tricky, isn't it? Yes, yeah. but coats I've made, jackets I've Brilliant. made. So like the jacket I've got today, I've made that. Dresses, trousers. I've got some really nice, like, purple cords. Oh, fab. I love them. No, they're back out for winter. And everything, really. Swimwear. Fab. Um, yeah, the only thing I haven't done is, like, bras and underwear. Yeah. I kind of just, no. Do you but, still uh, make for your girls, then? Not so much it's now. They, they, yeah, it's different when they're so little, isn't it? Yeah, because <laughs> now they kind of want their own right. style yeah. and they, they want it very particular. But they'll let me make them pyjamas. Yeah. So Christmas pyjamas yeah. will we make them. <laughs> right, I'm going to do this one with no mistake whatsoever. So I've got my pocket right side to right side. And again, I'm going to sew up to that point that I've sewn up to there. Okay, that will become my pocket bag. Now, I've chosen to make the pocket bag out of the check. You can choose either way, because it's going to be inside anyway. If you want a full, cosy pocket, you yeah. can do it out of the black jersey. Or I just did it out of this one so that if you if saw it, 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 it would look seamless as such. So we're going to sew this pocket, and then this is going to fold in. There we go. But this is a lovely dress. And this is what, again, I could do on my overlocker if I've got one. Yep. If you've got an overlocker, you can do it on that. Just be mindful when you're coming up to this edge where they all meet. Just be careful that you're not going to snip the fabric. Yeah. Okay. So, let's get our side panel and let's flip that in because we're going to have right sides to right sides here. Okay. So I'm going to fold that over and let's get it looking like it should to then help me where it's all going to line ah, up. Ah, yes. Okay. Oh, I love that. So I'm going to put that up and what I'm going to sew is from there all the way round. Seamless. Okay. Yes, we did it. So from there all the way back up to meet that point that you've already sewn two of the panels into. And then that's all done. And then all it is is sleeves. So let me see if the sleeves are put on the flats. No, we put the sleeves in, we ease the sleeves in, um, and then there's a neckband to go on. And then it's complete. So it's a nice, quick, simple pattern, really. If you do want the size 6 to 20, there are way more of you that have got it in your basket than we have availability. How many are left, Paul? Four. There's four left if everyone checks out. Please do make sure you check it out your basket. If you want it, you need to check out now. Hate to pressure or to rush you, but I know that a lot of people will be waiting for the end of the demonstration. Don't wait, don't wait to check out now. 
There's 36 of you who've got it in your basket. Right. Okay. There's a lot of you who want it. Just be aware um, that that will sell out today. We're presuming everyone's buying one as well. You never know. People might be buying more. For friends. Great Christmas gift. Get involved. Start sewing. Oh, yes. We did um, a wellness day on Monday at school. It was our inset. Oh, brilliant. And we did a wellness day and we held a craft session. Oh, fab. Did you run it then? Did yeah, we, it? alongside with the uh, textiles teacher and um, our reprographics manager, our librarian lady, oh. Shelley. Um, we did makeup brush rolls yeah and i tried to teach people to crochet as is well is this with the teachers or is this with the with kids the teachers. teachers oh i yeah. love that so there was lots of events on all day i didn't know you crochet as well adele yeah yeah and oh, knits. Wow. oh yeah, i'm gosh. knitting a jumper at the moment um it's going really well i'm doing some circular knitting which i'm quite enjoying actually i was always worried about circular knitting i don't need to be it's easier there we go and we've got our pocket bags that is brilliant, isn't well it? Well done. I love that. So I'm just going to sew down here and then we're going to have time to get the front attached to the back. Fab. And maybe one sleeve in. You've done so much. This is always, honestly, I'm so pleased that we've got extra time to do some more. Then I'll have to get it all done so that I can... You can wear it. Yeah, I can wear it. Like, woo. Okay. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to attach our front to our back on the shoulders. Okay, so right sides to right sides, shoulders together. Now this is fairly stable fabric, but do you remember what I said, that if you've got that more stretchy fabric, just put a piece of clear elastic or ribbon within this seam here just to stop it stretching out. That's quite a common... Um, sort of uh, instruction that it gives for uh -huh. jersey on, on shoulders. So it talks about it in there that you just need a bit of a ribbon. Oh, it does. It actually says you need 30 centre of ribbon, stay yeah. tape or clear elastic. Yeah, just to stabilise this. But if you've got this jersey, it's yeah. not stretching. I think it'll be absolutely fine. OK. It's more if you've got that checkered one that does have more stretch. You don't want it to stretch out and droop at the shoulders. Okay, so do these. Again, it's a centimetre two and a half seam allowance. And then we'll put the neck bands on. So we'll have a little bit of discussion how to get that neck band on nicely. Because that's always a struggle for some people with jersey, neck bands. And you've top stitched, uh, we did talk about this in the yes. last hour, top stitching on jersey, you've got a few tips. Yeah. So, there's my shoulders to shoulders. So that's the difficult part done. Yeah, all that the difficult great, parts now. I love that. That is, done. it's a really flattering illusion doing it with the black, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. It gives that sort of slimming. Silhouette. And also, yeah. I think that looks really smart for the it office, does. doesn't it? Yeah. That looks a really smart dress. Is that a size 12 as well? Yes. Oh my gosh, Adele, <laughs> just kidding us all out, isn't she? <laughs> Kid me out, I should say. <laughs> right, so I've got my neck band. Okay, you cut the neck band on the folds. Right. Now, as you see, as soon as I took the pins out, it does want to curl. So just be very careful that we do get our seams nice and flat next to each other okay and pressing will come in here so we're going to make a tube so a circular tube and then we're going to fold this in half I'll just put that in there we go oh, oh my bobbins just ran out but it's oh, okay difficult. don't worry oh have you got another one ready yeah. spare oh there's a little bit left in there don't know why it caught out there we go. Let's try that again. Oh, it's coming. Oh, it's. I think it's you. Yeah, yeah. it's you. Mis needles come and threaded. There are literally a handful of the six to twenty patterns left. Um, I wonder whether, just so you know, for anybody who missed the show before, we do have back in stock the pussy bow, uh, bow blouse uh, pattern and the shift dress as well. They're both 
um, available in stock at the moment. I said at the moment they were so popular the first time around and they've been very, very popular again. Um, we've got the blouse uh, pattern in your screen now. Thank you, Ada. Yeah, so I've just got my tube and what I'm going to do is fold this wrong side to wrong side to then create half the width, okay? So I'm going to press this really well. Now this is important you press this because you want this to be really neat. This is going to end up being your, your collar, okay? So really press that nice and neatly and then we're going to attach this to the top, okay? Now, earlier when I was talking about adding the elastic, we talked about the fact that, that you have to kind of pull slightly to make it all fit. Yeah. That's what we kind of need to do here as well, okay? There will be a point where I do need to sort of give it a bit of a tug to make sure that it fits, because this will be slightly smaller than that hole that it's going to go around, okay? So match this seam up on one of your shoulders it can be right or left okay and then we want an even even distribution so i get halfway and i go to the other shoulder okay and then as i go around this neckline as what you can see here if i just take that bottom Are the raw part edges out, to raw edges it is yeah so i've got the raw edge up here I've got the fold and then we've got three raw edges. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to first of all pin at the center of the back. Okay. So I've got the same amount either side. Yeah. I'm with Otherwise you. it could pull and then it will all be distorted. Then I'm just going to stretch it out slightly and I've pin had it. To ease it. Yeah. Right. So as I stretch it, I'm pinning it as well. Okay. But if you've got those four points, so but each of the sides, let's do it again on the front. It's a bit more obvious at the front because it comes down. So I'm going to find the middle of this and that is going to match up with the middle of the front. Okay. Okay. And then we can ease it in nicely with the others. So just give it a stretch, a very slight stretch hold and pin okay hold and pin and then we do this side just give it a little stretch so we're stretching more the neck band than the bottom mm -hmm. so like when we ease the sleeve in we're stretching one bit of fabric and the other bit of fabric stays okay now, another thing, if you're doing this on the overlocker, what I recommend is you've got to keep these pins in as much as possible. Tack, Tack this it. first before it goes through the overlocker, otherwise the stray pin, gone. Yeah. Okay, so just be very, very mindful of that. Okay, and then just... Now, at the shoulder, it will be quite chunky because you've got all those seams. Is that where you start? Okay. That's where I start so that I don't... Catch, well, I catch it at the start, but I'm not going to get stuck there because sometimes when you go for a big seam, your machine might want to just stick there. Okay, right. So again, it's a centimetre and a half seam allowance all the way round, and then this is all going to fold in. And again, pressing is going to be my friend here. I'm going to press, press, press. There we go. Now, it does recommend, if you're doing the, the neck bands, you do it with the shoulder, the same colour as the shoulders and the side panels. I think that's so that the majority of this neckline is from that second fabric rather than the first fabric. Right. There we go. But have your collar on the top because that's the one that you're slightly stretching. If it's on the bottom, it's difficult to manipulate, but if it's on the top, you can feel the tension and then the bottom isn't stretched. Again, is this going through all right here with your yeah. universal needle? Yeah. Great. Absolutely fine. Not skipped any stitches. And then we're going to press that all in. Okay? Press, press, press. Whoop. 
I bet the textile teacher at your school was very impressed that you um, you come on the telly and do so. Would she like to come on? I don't know. Does she I'll do so? Ask her. Yeah, she's um, actually a trained costume designer. Oh, is she? Wow. Yeah, so she did her um, degree all in costume design and th like sort of fashion yep. design and things like that. Um, but when we were doing the crochet, she was like, oh, I want to come and sit with you on the table to do crochet. Oh, nice. <laughs> so it's so nice. got a very crafty school there. Yeah, and people brought their own projects along. So we had more crocheters, more knitters. Oh, brilliant. And they were all sat on the table as well doing their own projects. We had cross-stitch. So maybe I'll try and organise another sort of week, maybe not a weekly event, maybe each month that we could all match up, uh, meet up. For a sort of a stitch event that would be nice yeah but we got complete beginners doing it do they teach sewing at all at textiles yes at yeah it's oh, one of the brilliant. um specialisms within technology so they yeah. all get a go um but at our, at our school i don't think we do a gcse in textiles yet no. maybe in the future we will yeah um but it was nice to see, see the teachers get involved oh absolutely it was good okay so i pressed that in now it does recommend to do a top stitch because okay. you want this seam to stay flat and by top stitching it, it remains flat. Yeah. Now, do not do a straight top stitch because this is going to go over your head and as soon as it stretches, those stitches are going to pop and you're yeah. not, uh, it's not going to look good. So again, a zigzag stitch would work on there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I've only got blue thread, so I don't really want to spoil it by putting that, I'm afraid. So no, I don't you can do that, do that at home. Yeah. So the next thing that we do is we do our side seams and then our sleeves go in and it's done. I mean, that is brilliant, isn't it? We've got two minutes. If there's anything else that you wanted to mention, we had a lovely message that came in from um, Christine saying, lovely job, Adele. She says, are any of you year 11s watching? Oh, I don't know. But we I'll were find saying out Monday. On. That's it. Uh, you must take a picture of this being um, of this being modelled, like the one I'm wearing. Oh yeah, I know. I love this dress. <laughs> this is it. Uh, and Geraldine, this is exactly what we were saying. Very slimming in the the colours that you're going for there. Mm. It, that gives that perfect illusion sort of silhouette, doesn't it? Yes, definitely. Anything um, else you wanted to mention with this one, Adele? Uh, no, actually, just while I'm thinking of it, when we match our side seams up, okay. I'm trying to find where oh, we you are want to match here. the princess seams. Yeah, you want to match because we're doing different colours. You want to make sure that the black matches at the right point. Ah. So I'm trying to think where my seams are. There we are. Look. Yeah. So my princess seam there uh -huh. ends as this princess seam is. You can't see okay. it as much no, in that can't. one, which which you can. I can see it, but you are really going to notice it if it doesn't quite match on that one, yeah, aren't you? Yeah. So if I just quickly pin this, and then you'll notice what I mean. Um, be really careful at this point because you don't, especially with the black and the check, you don't want it to, to, yeah, there we go, look, so, there's there, our front, yeah. there's our back, we want that, there's the seam along there, it doesn't quite pick it up on camera, but the seam is along there and you want that to remain there yeah. and that will be really nice and flattering. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. I can't wait to see that made up as well. Thank you so much. What another amazing show, Thank as you. always. When are you back with us? Um, after Christmas, between New Christmas and New Year. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, after long Christmas. Way away. That is scary, isn't it? After Christmas. Right. Uh, we have no idea who's going to be here then. So I'll, I'll, I'm not sure whether it's me or whether it's John or Bex or who's doing Christmas New Year. Um, we don't know yet. Have you got your Christmas rotor yet? No. No, we don't know what we're doing. Uh, but we'll see you then anyway. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Me. Have a lovely Christmas then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Have a lovely Christmas. Merry Christmas. Uh, so, patterns. Da -da -da. We've got two different sizes, 6 to 20. Just checking availability. We ordered hundreds of these, by the way. There are 17 left, but we've got 37 in baskets. If you want it, so if my maths are right, there aren't enough to go around. There are people missing out. If uh, Oh, please don't miss that one. Plus the larger size, 18 to 30. You're all right on that one. You're okay for stock at the moment. 17 pounds for your sew over it. Gorgeous head dress pattern. Fab, fab, fab. Right, fabrics. The one that Adele was working with, the check. It's going to look great. Oh, in fact, that one's gone. 
Uh, we've got the lovely pink, which is this sparkly jersey, the one that Adele was wearing. It's $29.99, and in fact, it's sold out. Have we got the nude? The nude with gold. Yeah, we've got that. And that's exactly the same as the one that Dale's working with. It's got the fleecy lining and it's also got the most beautiful, beautiful Lorex sparkle running through. Which isn't itchy, is it? No, not at all. Oh, Gerard just said, brilliant demo. Lovely ladies, take care and Merry Christmas, Adele. Oh, thank you. How strange is that? <laughs> Merry Christmas. Uh, the ochre with the Lorex again. That is so gorgeous and sparkly for Christmas Day. Adele Challenger is set now. You've got to make you all your oh Christmas pyjamas, yeah. cosy pyjamas. Two whole metres, $29.99. We've got the navy. Yeah. Navy sold out. Navy is sold out. How about this lovely stretchy knit? This is the one that I picked out. It's gone. Oh, oh. sold out. My word. <laughs> Run one with the flower. That would look nice as well with the black um, yes. blocking. That would look really, really nice. And then finally, oh, I'm going to see again. Excuse me, um, is this one, which we're calling the preppy. Yeah, yeah. Preppy it's nice, isn't it? Yes, few of these left. You've just got to start checking it out. Please do not miss any of these. Uh, they're all absolutely gorgeous. 29, 99, two metres of your jersey. Um, right. Tomorrow's show. Uh, I'll show you. Who's on tomorrow? Oh, it's John. I know why, because so crazy girls are here. You're <laughs> always going to have. And a whale of a time when you've got John Scott with Lisa Lamb and Jenny Jackson. So that's coming up at nine o'clock. Before then, eight o'clock, you've got fabrics. Um, you've got a crazy pavy tote with our lovely crazy um, So Girls. Um, and then, oh, so crazy. Not, they are crazy. They are crazy though. At 10 o'clock, Alice Caroline, I've just unpacked those pieces and they are absolutely beautiful. The Over the Rainbow Blocks with Anna from Alice Caroline is here. The stunning Liberty Tana Lawn kits are beautiful from Alice Caroline. You've got a zippity tote with the So Crazy Girls again at 11. And 12 o'clock, Anna's going to be back with more Liberty. Um, enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'm back on the 15th. I'm not here now for a little bit. I'm going to go and have a bit of a lens. It feel a bit coldy today. So I'm going to go and wrap up in the warm. Enjoy your weekend. Paul's having a curry. Enjoy whatever you're doing this weekend. Stay safe if you're having um, bonfires. Go and enjoy the nice firework displays. Um, there's still patterns available. Have a look back on the, the, the rest of the show. Anything that's available is listed underneath us on the website. And John Scott will see you bright and early Sunday morning at 8 o'clock. He'll see you then. Bye.